Oh crap, I didn't change the titles. Oh boy. Time to scramble. Cause we're already live. All right, edit stream info. And then we edit stream info here. Ooh. There we go. Should be good. <laughs> People are freaking out in chat already. Dude, I can't even describe in words how annoying of a process this was. I should probably specify somewhere in the title that I don't mean the entirety of the game. Just a, a single skill. Maybe, maybe at the end of title, I just put in all caps, not quitting. There we go. It's a very stupid stream title, but it'll do. <laughs> You're echoing? Wait. I'm echoing? I'm echoing? Hold on. That time I heard myself only because I was listening to my own stream. Chat, am I, if I, am I echoing? You're not echoing. Okay, so it was just someone trolling. Love it. Are you guys ready? All right, let's do it. Hey guys, I'm back for another stream and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. And today is a monumentous day. I've been waiting for this day for, <sighs> without knowing it, a year. I didn't know it at the time, but when Garden was released, the whole next year of my life, or at least a large portion of it, would be spent AFK, essentially. Wait. You're muted. I'm not. I can literally see my the waveforms. Stop it. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, some updates. My headset broke again. I guess my cranium is just too large because every time I go to take off a headset, not every time, but like several, three or four times now, I've gone like this and then right here, here cracks breaks off snaps so i ended up getting the odyssey maxwells look at these and i got some some third party ear cups that are like apparently cooling oh i accidentally pressed the noise suppression button also look what i have in the background here i i saw this on um on Facebook Marketplace for like a quarter of the price it would normally be. So I got myself a piano. We'll see if I start actually using it. It's good for the, it's honestly, it looks kind of cool. It's just a background piece. But anyways, with that out of the way, I think it's time to, uh, to get into the game. Let's do it. I, I we're Max and Garden today. Wow, big surprise. Hello, welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. Man, I've been waiting for so long, dude. All right. So, the title is not clickbait. Your essay tweet was hilarious. Oh, it was necessary, clearly. Um, <laughs> but, yes. So, right now, it is time to finish what I've started. So, to get everybody up to speed on what's been happening. Oh, I should probably also turn off Shadow Play so that stream performance is better. There we go. Um, so, here's what's been happening. 
the reason I haven't been streaming very often, honestly, the past like six months to a year in general has been Garden. I have 10,000 visitors, as you can see. You go into the uh, Skyblock XP menu here. And then you check. 90 out of 90 for offers accepted. That is a th 10,000 visitors right there. Absolute insanity. Uh, we also have all milestones maxed out. Absolute insanity. You go into bestiary. Maxed. The only thing that we have left. Sorry. Oh, oh look at this little crap. I got him. I got him. That was a fruit fly. Get wrecked, idiot. Anyways, uh, the only thing... is this it's cost reduction in the composter this is the last upgrade required before i never have to step foot on the garden again yeah if anyone says oh 30 virus would never hurt a fly well i just killed a fly so there you go <laughs> whatever that implies i guess but no it's over. It's so close to over. And you're probably wondering, oh, wait, hold on. You have several upgrades left. Not This isn't at level 24, almost 25. You got a few upgrades to go, 30 virus. Well, don't worry about that because I have this prepared. <laughs> this is all of the enchanted red mushroom block required, all of the nether wart. And like, we're 16 enchanted brown mushroom block off from being done. This is all the fermento needed. So, let's get to business, shall we? We'll switch our pet to Mushroom Cow. We already have everything tuned for strength. And all we need is to get this 49 to a 64, I believe. So we are very close. Uh, one last thing. I have to set my controls. There we go. And we're off. This isn't the most efficient. Um, this is, oh, we do. Oh, Aaron, thank you for the raid, bro. Hey, 55 people showed up on, uh, on Twitch. What's up guys? Also, we just got a 10 gifted subs. Oh my god! Alright, while we're farming, let's catch up on all the stuff that's been happening. Holy crap! Well, thank you for that stream, my guy. That, much appreciated. And st Streamy9212, thank you for the prime, but a special thank you for the 10 gifted from I Grind Diana. <laughs> you know what? That is that is the name out of context that would be seen anyways. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness, man. Huzzah! Thank you for the T1. Uh, Otin, thank you for the T1. 12 months, that's a year. Uh, good luck. Wait, good ending of the weekend. Yeah, not a bad ending of the weekend at all. We're streaming. Um, I don't know something. 1539, thank you for the prime. No, we are not quitting. I... I should probably pick a better title. On YouTube, I did put... Okay, so for those, for those that don't know, I'm multi-streaming to three different platforms right now. The only chat you can see below me here is from Twitch. But I can see all of the platform's chats, including Kick. So if you're on Kick right now, I will see your chat messages. Don't worry about that. Um... Also, since my farm is not the ideal design, we're kind of forced to do this. But, um, hell yeah, it did. But yeah, all three platforms, YouTube, Twitch, Kick, I can see all you guys. Let's see. There's a YouTube chatter asking, what are you doing right now? Farming mushrooms. A Twitch chatter is asking, what's the end? Farming. Kick streamer says, we are kickers or something. Are we called kickers? I don't know what you're called. Shrooms. <laughs> what's up, Fearless? Yo, how you been, man? How you been, Mr. Fearless?
Do you know for farming in BLC, there's a crosshair lock? Yeah, they just added it right as I'm not going to need <laughs> BLC for farming anymore, ironically. Oh, not an ocelot. Thank you for the prime sub, by the way. Congrats, though. I can't imagine how long this took. I mean, I'll show it later. Like, we'll get all the details together, but it's absolutely disgusting. Diet MXNN. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Farming is for losers. Well, that's why I'm about to get it out of the way and never do it again. <laughs> Best centennial. Uh, 36 months a member, bro. Three years? Congrats on Axon Garden. Many thanks all around. North Dragoon has been a member for 20 months. Phantoms Gamer for 44 months. Four years is very close. It is. Real Chris, thank you for the prime sub. And I are we caught up now? We are caught up. I am officially not a bad streamer. I've read everybody's donations thus far. Very good. Now let's let's talk to chat. What's up, chat? Why are you quitting? I'm not. I am finishing what is literally an era of content. And that's the... You missed my prime. Oh, did I? Let me go. Let me look. I don't see it in the feed, but I believe you because it says next to your name. Uh, thank you, uh, Atonks, for the prime sub. I don't know why it's not showing anywhere. Weird. Farming fortune check. Oh, we'll do all of that after we get this last bit here. Actually, we might already be there. All right, once we reach the end of this row, let's see how many enchanted blocks just the three rows is because it might be that close. And then we're going to have to immediately change the title for all the streams because obviously that's not what this whole thing's about. What's a briefing? Aiden Jeffrey, they give it the $2 Australian. Currently, worm fishing on Iron Man is 3 a.m. Oof. I would highly suggest Frozen Blaze fishing for membranes because at least you get all the other crap too. And you get like five times the amount of it. How long will this thing take? Not long. I intentionally prepared a lot for this moment. As a matter of fact, recipe brown mushroom. Enchanted brown mushroom. Oh, this might be it. This is it. Chat, this is the moment. Oh God. We are here already. When I said I prepared a lot for this, I wasn't kidding. We're, that's it. That's the last of it. Oh my god, dude. I don't think I need to farm anymore. I think that was the last moment. Also, where the hell is the... It's probably the last time I have to type that. Ah, it's, uh, it feels like a weight already, and I haven't even done it yet. It feels like a weight's been lifted. Okay. Let's put all this away. Let's put my hot bar here. Just so that I have space. All right. Here we are, chat. We have arrived at the moment that I, <laughs> I have been envisioning this moment since the garden has released, had released over a year ago at this point. It's been an entire year of sitting and pressing two buttons while not paying attention whatsoever to the game. Literally a thousand hours. If I do slash PT detailed. What's the command? Slash playtime. Is it not playtime detailed? I thought, it oh, wait, wait, wait. It's the full word playtime detailed. There it is. 1,101.6 hours on the garden. More than the Crystal Hollows. <laughs> Over a thousand hours. And the last, uh, again, every last visitor 
has been redeemed that is necessary. 10,000 is the maximum you get Skyblock XP from. And I thought it'd be funny, since I maxed visitors before everything else, if I just kept denying them until I only got good visitors, so we have three legendaries. We have Maeve, which is the only mythic visitor in the entire game. And I was trying to get a, a fourth legendary here at the end, but Goldforger showed up. But right before I denied him, I noticed this. <laughs> and here's the problem, chat. I already have 10,000 visitors. I can't redeem another one. 10,001 would look awful. So it's just gonna stay here forever. This green bandana, it's just gonna sit there. There's no reason. <laughs> There's no reason for me to, to need it anyway. So it's just gonna stay there. I'm not declining him. He's just going to stay there forever. <laughs> now, before we do the actual upgrade itself, I want to I want to do a little activity here for you guys. I want to I want to put it into perspective how absolutely insane this milestone is. So for starters, what does 10,000 visitors mean? Well, what it means is it takes 15 minutes for a visitor to spawn, right? If you're actively farming, it takes five minutes. So at an absolute minimum, unless you redeem offline visitors, but that wasn't a thing for like 99% of this process for me. So let's ignore that. Five times 10,000 is 50,000 minutes. I have a calculator open on another tab. Divided by 60 is 833.3 repeating hours of gameplay. Just for the visitors. Now, that's not the full story. It's 250,000 coins on average to actually redeem a visitor, right? It's 250,000. If you add up to all the variety of every rarity a visitor, how rarely they spawn, whatever. If you combine all that together, it comes down to 2.5 billion coins with a B 2.5 billion coins just on visitors now if you go to the Hypixel Skyblock wiki here hold on let's go to the Hypixel wiki page for the composter Just a little bit of money, yeah, just a bit. Composter. See that number, chat? This is the number that represents how much it costs to fully max out the composter. All the materials, including crappie, squash, fermento, wheat, carrot, potato, pumpkin, sugarcane, all of it. That's not even including the copper, by the way. I have a hundred. I have a hundred thousand copper. Literally, look at this. A hundred and nine thousand copper. I just wanted to point that out. But this is one point six billion coins. One point six billion. So let's let's add that. I guess. So we're gonna add it to the total plus one, five, seven, eight, nine, 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 six, seven, two. We're over four bill right now. And then if you count spaceman, I don't know if we can count spaceman. Can we? yes, we can count spaceman. Up, uh, oh, th yeah, a thousand percent, a thousand percent. Because I just remembered, I spent the crops on him. So that's another billion coins plus one bop, 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 bop. that is five billion coins it's five billion so that's a pretty good um number to have five billion coins in value that i could have kept but i chose not to because of this stupid goal 
Five billion coins is enough to like literally beat the entire rest of this game. Oh, by the way, even re regardless of the fact that I spent five billion coins, I still have 2.6 billion left over. Still, let's go. I still have it. All this money is overflow because of how annoying getting the milestones are is. So yeah, like all in all, dude, this is an insane process. <sighs> My goodness, man. All right, I think, I think it's time. I think it's time. We're gonna show some stats of mine after the fact so that you guys can see what Max Garden actually looks like in the field, like performance-wise. But for now, let's do the thing, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. So we're gonna start with I believe this. And then Red Mushrooms, Mutant Nether Wart. <laughs> that was two out of three. Dude, this composter upgrade requires so many items that it fills my entire inventory minus two slots. <laughs> Boom. Oh, there it is. And that, my friends, is the entirety of the composter maxed out this is what max garden looks like ladies and gentlemen it doesn't look like um it doesn't look like it because it says 1482 out of 1551 but i can guarantee you that that number is only because it is bugged and the rest of that xp is garden unique garden visitors served and there aren't any more of them in the game so we truly are maxed Look at that. 305 out of 305. 120 out of 120. 460 out of 460. 90 out of 90. 90 out of 90. 140 out of 140. 250 out of 250. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <sighs> it's a weird feeling. Never having to do this again i never have to step foot on the garden ever again not even for money because if you look here i have more than enough mutant nether wart saved up for any inferno minion shenanigans and i even have some enchanted baked potatoes for hot potato books now i might have to come back for like an hour at a time once a month for like some random thing but like this is it it's done it's over so to celebrate it being over one last time i'm gonna go out into the field and i'm gonna show you what max garden looks like rate wise fortune wise so we're going to go and call up maxwell we're gonna make sure that i have all the highest amount of strength forceful all tuning points into strength and we have all enrichments on strength. And then on top of that, of course, we have Mossy Fermento Armor recommed with Pest Terminator 5. And unfortunately, it is not truly maxed because of the stupid gemstones that came out less than a week ago. But we ignore that for now. And of course... Recombed rooted green thumb five lotus armor with 10,000 visitors served. Whoa. So, what does all this translate to? We're about to kill this uh, pest and then show you. So, we'll kill that. Head over here. We have more than 40 pests in the vacuum. So we're going to uh, right click on Philip. 
Oh, before we do that. Fessy, we need to do some time travel here. I just realized this is a, a really important clip for the video. So chat, you want to see what it looks like loot wise when you max out the garden? Do you want to see what the loot is like? First of all, um, well, that's disgusting. <laughs> Keep in mind, pests came out when I was 75% of the way done with this process. So imagine four times everything you're about to see. So there's that. There's that. Just a casual 13 bookworms favorite books overflow on top of the five I already put on my maxed out vacuum. And then there's this absolutely ridiculous page. You are, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is an Iron Man profile that has nine overflow. All of this is overflow. Every last purpose for these items, I've already maxed out. Again, maxed out vacuum, so I don't need a chirping stereo, but I have five extras for some reason. Overgrown grass, I already have it on five pieces of armor. My mossy fermento whatever, my fermento armor and my rancher boots. Nine green bandana, bandanas technically 10 if you include that one i haven't redeemed yet on top of every farming pet in the game having a green bandana so if you want to be technical we got one two three three green bandanas plus the nine we have here plus the one in the visitor so 13 we have eight clipped wings <laughs> We have a sixth wriggling larva, five chirping stairs, and we have Sunder Six. Again, overflow, so this is my fourth book. I got two, three cultivating books from uh, Librarian. Uh, harvest, Harvest. Harvest harb Harbinger, five potions. We have six overflow, but I've already consumed like another six of those. Four atmospheric filters three slug pets overflow from the two i already got one for myself one for george and then of course the six rats <laughs> so it's just absolutely ridiculous how many items i've gotten what about rabbit pet what about rabbit pet bro have you seen the amount of overflow farming xp i have 557 million overflow farming XP. <laughs> I'm ranked 359 on the network. And then if you go to collections, all the farming ones, I'm placed on cactus. I knew I was placed on cane, but everything else, I'm in like the top 0.01% if it's like a crop, other than nether wart because people macro that. <laughs> but like brother men. And what was the other thing? There was there was something else that I was gonna do. That I was gonna showcase that was farming related. There was something else. What was it? I don't remember. Oh! I do remember. <laughs> By the way, chat, everything I just showed you is pretty crazy. That's, that's a lot of items to get from just farming in Skyblock, especially for an Iron Man profile. But you won't believe me if I didn't show you. But there is one last thing I did get. I actually dropped one. Aren't you carried? <laughs> It happened right before I finished farming. Literally like less than a day of farming before the end, before now. And we dropped the dedication four book. Now, some of you might be wondering, what does that make your rates then? How many librarians have you had show up on your island? I'm about to show you. Let's go to the desk. The visitor's logbook, logbook, library. Librarian. 
154 times he showed up. Now, I believe it's a 1 in 200 chance. Right? It's a 1 in, one in 200 chance. So I got it at 154. Actually, technically, I got it at like 150 because he showed up a few times after that. So 150. 150 librarians. Now, here's the cool thing. We can actually figure out, based on this, my overall whether or not I'm lucky or not. <laughs> whether or not... I, based on this number, I'm lucky. It's a 1 in 200, right? 1 in 120. Oh, hold on. Oh, maybe it isn't. Hold on. Hypixel Skyblock Wiki Dedication 4. Uh-huh. Where does it show it? One in a hundred? It's one in 273? No, but that's one in 273 if you're like on a bingo profile. That's, I can see that. Oh, here we go. It's a one in 200 chance. Yeah. Yep, one in 200 chance, that was right. So one in 200 chance for a dedication four and 10,000 visitors. And the librarian only showed up 150 times by that point. So if you want to figure out that math, then go for it. Anyways, I think it's time to show off what max farming looks like. So let's, uh, let's make sure our armor is correct. Well, first of all, what are we farming? What's the most impressive farming fortune I could muster? Uh, we got to put dedication four on something. Hmm. So, ah, uh, chat, what do we put the dedication four on? I think we should pick a farming tool. Which one is the best to put it on? My plan has been melon dicer because it makes the most money. But the problem is that opinion is outdated because we added Peridot to the game. Which isn't that massive a difference in fortune, but it's either going to be Melon or Wart being the best for money. I, I'm going... Kane's your favorite? Yeah, but I'm not. I don't... <laughs> I, that, no. One more fortune buff. Melon more. Wart because it looks nicer? No. I Alright, you know what? That is a good point. That, mm, well, is it a good point? Wart because Blaze Slayer. Yeah, but I already have so much. All right, you know what? Let's do Melon Dicer. Because this is the best for money, right? So we're, I think this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna have a Melon Dicer with Dedication 4 on it. Oh my God. Oh, this is gonna be gross. I'm actually spending a dedication for book. Oh. And what does it do again? It grants one farming fortune for crops multiplied by milestones. So 46. Wow, that's plus 46 farming fortune. <laughs> wow. There it is. Dedication four on a Melon Dicer. All right, since the Melon Dicer is the one I just maxed out essentially, minus the Recom and the um, Gemstones, it ba barely makes a difference. It's like 20 fortune, maybe 30 max. Yeah, this is, okay, here we go. Now let's see what the rate is. Might as well set my spawn and everything since I'm not going to need to come back for any other purpose. Fifty eight point five. And then we. Right there. Perfect. TB2 plot form. 
All right, chat, you ready? Watch this. Fill up, boom. We're gonna get that effect. We're gonna get Harvest Harbinger 5. We have our pretty much maxed Melon Dicer with max gear, max stats, everything. Mushroom Cow, all enrichments to strength, the whole nine. And then we set our controls again. Wait. Speed. So, based on this, you can see, wow. That's 1900 fortune on melon. That's crazy. Whew. Now, obviously there's like temporary perks that would make this better. For example, the atmospheric filter. Yep. Yep. Twitch chats, right? Um, and Anita's artifact, but like, bro. Look at that. So if you wanted to include like the theoretical maximum, you would you would include those two into that. Jacob's contest with the setup would go hard. I think it's safe to say I'd get diamond bracket, right? I mean, that's a lot of fortune. Let's see what the other crops are like. Uh, we're not going to just make this a farming stream. I want this to be entertaining. So we're going to... Oh. Daedalus Axe doesn't go there. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, pumpkin Dicer. Obviously, it's the 3.0. Would you expect anything less from 30 Virus? Pumpkin used to be like my thing back in the day. Now, how do I... How do I get in the water currents here without... There we go. On Pumpkin, it's slightly less... It's still insane, though. It's like 1,800 and like 64, 66, something like that. That's still very impressive. Eighteen sixty-four. That doesn't look right. Anyway. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what the stats are on Kane. Sugar Kane, my beloved. Oh, wait. It doesn't matter. I'm approaching this from the wrong side, but it really doesn't matter. This is a test. We're not actually, like, farming, farming right now. Three, two, seven. So on Kane, this might be at my highest. Oh my God. Chat. That's over 2000 farming fortune. That's, yeah, 2008 Farming Fortune chat. We have <laughs> the great housing crisis of <laughs> Farming Fortune. That's so insane, bro. And that's without dedication for, yeah. With, like, all the other buffs, it could go up to, like, 2100. The housing crisis as Farming Fortune. <laughs> Let's keep on going. Let's see what else 30 virus can manage. Cocoa bean. Let me do this. Four to five. So on cocoa bean, it would be. 1850-ish. A little less than 1850. 1847. Wow. Anyways, I think I've seen enough. The other crops I don't care for that much. Actually, all that leaves is cactus, doesn't it? 
And mushroom, but we don't care about mushroom. Oh no, it leaves all the crop. It, it is what it is. You mean 1857? I don't know. You know what? Okay. Let's do a few more. Let's do these. The uh, 93 speed ones, I'm curious. So instead of cocoa bean, let's... um. How, how are we doing with wheat fortune? I'm curious about that. Let's make this angle five. And then this one. This is the most finicky. That should do. So on wheat, we have... That's another one that's like over 2,000. This might be the highest because of flies with the... Actually, no, the highest might be... My highest milestone might be melon. I'm not sure. 2004. That's still really good though. 2004 farming fortune. So then let's switch to nether wart and see how we're doing there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, wart face is the other way. All right, you know what? Before then, before that then, potato. That's pretty good too. Another one that's, is that 2015? Am I seeing that properly? That might be our highest yet. 2015 fortune right there. For, uh, for potato. That's weirdly high. I don't even have gemstones on that. What? Why is that so high? Hmm. Alright. The only one I'm really interested in checking now is nether wart. Everything else, I don't really care. All right, so let's set that angle up again. Uh, might as well set it like that. So that one is 2006. Hmm. Well, there you go, chat. That's a pretty high fortune overall. Oh, I also forgot to mention every tool of mine, except for pumpkin dicer is cultivating 10. <laughs> well, and the fungi cutter, but we don't talk about fungi cutter. Well, chat, this might be a little sad to say, but I think that's it. I don't have a reason to do farming anymore. It's over. It's not sad at all. It really isn't. It really isn't that sad. Let's get the hell out of here, man. We're done. See ya. Here, hold on. Let's set our speed at least to something that's usable once I do come back here for some reason many months from now. Ooh. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, garden. It's over. See ya. Controls. See ya, garden. I know we've been together for a year and two months, but I think it's time that we see other people. <laughs> I think it's time. Uh, I've been looking at dungeons lately. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, chat, we gotta change the titles now because we're done with that. I made all my clips that I have to make for the farming video, it's over. So um, let's change the title to Dugans. Dugans. That. Now, what thumbnail could I put on the YouTube stream? I 
there's a part of me that wishes that YouTube streaming didn't require thumbnails because this is just obnoxious. Mm. Oh, perfect. There's this old thumbnail for dungeons. So then we're going to change the title to just Nugans. All right, now I should probably catch up on donos. I was in content mode for a long while there, so I apologize if I missed it. Uh, let's read them off now. Uh, best centennial, thank you for that T1. Oh, another, another T1 sub? Very good, 17 months. Start of the Cat of 50 era, yeah. Oh, you know what I should do? Um, oh, let's let's party Rexu, actually. And have if, yeah, let's transfer party to you. Wait, P transfer, it didn't work, what? Oh, slash P all invite. What is going on? Is it P settings all invite? Yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's catch up on them donos. Uh, Valen, thank you for the prime. King Nexus, thank you for the T1. G Horn Poppy, thank you for the prime. That's a name. Oh, what's up, um, Headbang? What? What's up, Peach? I still don't know how to say your your full username. Second P first, your first ish. <laughs> thank you, Peach, for the the prime sub. Uh, behave, dude. Thank you for the T one. Welcome back. It's Hammer. Thank you for the five. I don't know what's going on. I just joined, but I was here. Yeah, that was thirty minutes ago. My bad, my guy. Thank you for the five. All right, we're caught up. How's our party looking? I should probably actually like start setting up for dungeons now. All right, let's do it. Oh, by the way, all the gemstone slots are unlocked now in my dungeons gear. And they have uh, Epic Jasper, whatever the word is. I can't remember for some reason. Uh, all right, so we're going to be doing some master mode. Now, this might be a stupid question. But master star, first master stars, what floors do you get them from? Is it only M3 or is it M1 and M2 as well? If it's, is it, if it's, it's only M3, oh, brother, I need to get my stupid scarf grimoire. I need to get my scarf grimoire, man, but I don't know what's more important that or the master stars for all my gear. I guess we're doing M3s. This is just what we have to do. Oh, what's up, Noodle Place? I'm stuck on 3 fourths Necron and Warden Helmet, and I haven't been, been able to afford anything else for months to a year. Uh, if you don't play often, I guess I'll reluctantly recommend the Slime Minion with Corrupt Soil thing. If you don't play often, it's not the worst thing, but if you play a lot, then it's just wasting your time. But if, if you don't, then might as well. Might as well just have that set up. Here, I need to get to 100 XP, I just realized. There we go. Um, so I'm going to be using my Terminator for obvious reasons. So let's set this to Fortuitous, right? Fortuitous. Uh, tuning points into... Hmm. Crit chance now. Uh, well, it depends. If I use Golden Dragon, I'm going to get a lot of bonus attack speed. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. We don't even need to use tuning points on that. I just want an armor set that's actually good instead of exploit exploitation. I mean, mage setups are relatively cheap for how powerful they are in general, but I would still go for Crimson Armor and just buy using money from the slime minion thing. Cause like, that's just how it'd be. Uh, why am I here? Beacon. Is it even on? It's not. Let's turn on the beacon. It's a good thing I have a few of these. 
Mm -hmm. There we go. And the stat, uh, instead of ability damage, let's do crit chance, right? Yeah. Because we're going to 100% going to hit 100% bonus attack speed while in dungeons. We don't have to worry about that. Have you tried Windcraft? I have. I didn't really like it. <laughs> no offense to Windcraft. It's just I don't like my inventory getting absolutely annihilated with stuff. I guess I have no other... Well, hmm. Hold on. What is crit chance at? It's almost at 100 without tuning points, bro. That's insane. <laughs> Wait, I might have to. Um, hmm. I have a question, chat. Oh, I have unassigned points, too. And the, equi the equipment's wrong. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Big, big thing there very important ah uh, yeah farming equipment we're not gonna need that for a while so we might as well put it um i don't know where would i put farming armor mm, probably just here okay here, um, you can have it. I don't want party leader. Uh, Sully, they give her the prime. And Super Miso, they give her the prime. Much appreciated. We're getting close to that 250 subs goal to catch us back up to where we we were. All right. Uh, let's check my stats again now that we have the proper equipment There it is crit chance is now at a hundred It's gonna be it's gonna be over the threshold while we're in dungeons So the question is do I balance my stats? I have enrichments and tuning points to still allocate Oh, yeah, let's refill arrows as well Good call good call There we go. And then let's make sure that we actually... You, know, you never know with this crap. Crit chance for overload, maybe. Put it on speed. That's not even a terrible idea, actually. I think we might want to do that. That's out of dungeons, though. Well, it's going to be even better in dungeons, is my point. Okay, so I guess tuning points would have to go into crit damage then, no? I mean, they don't have to, but it would make sense. What's the incentive for the sub goal? For now, there isn't any. Because we're really just trying to catch up to where we're supposed to be because I haven't been streaming. But once we get to like a real, like, like a stretch goal, like 500, then we'll start doing stuff. But we'll figure it out when we get there. Well, not when we get there, but when we're cl closer, we'll think about it. Uh, okay. I mean, what do I put the enrichments on? I don't know. I put enough on speed, I think. 45? Maybe not. I don't know if that's enough. Alright. I guess let's just put it on crit damage. Or crit chance then. Sure. Whatever. So we're going to be overflowed by quite a bit. But in dungeons, that's good. That'll give us a lot of damage. Alright. I guess we're good to go. Oh, hold on. There's a few, few little things. Um... We need Spirit Leap. Instead of Super Boom, we have Explosive Bow. And we're also going to need our Pickaxe. Yeah, is that it? We're not going to need Wither Cloak Sword. I keep on looking at the chat on the left. I need to stop doing that. You don't know what I'm talking about, but I have a YouTube chat on my left and I have the combo chat on the right. I need to read the combo chat. 500 subs for the Standmaster challenge. I don't know what that is. All right, we set up. I think we're good. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but this is this is a pretty goaded archer setup. We're, there's two things missing though. What the hell is it? What would I put there? I'm not really gonna need healing because it's only M3. With a cloak sword. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. I just go. Go into the Dugan. I, I'm not really sure what we're. I don't know if there's anything we're missing, to be honest. Might just be fine as is. You need more speed in tuning? I'll suffer through one run and then we'll fix it if that's the case. Oh, I should be. Huh? No! Wait. What class am I? Where does it say? It doesn't say. I wasn't ready! I wasn't. I don't I don't know what class I am. I'm mage. I also didn't unnick. <sighs> is my speed good at least? Is that 370, which I think is fine. Alright, so we don't have to worry about speed. As a matter of fact, our setup is fine. I just need to switch my class in the next run. I guess I'm just gonna be an archer or I'm gonna be a, a mage with the terminator cursed as hell but don't worry about it you need 400 speed bruh you're really gonna make me go back and do it all again reallocate all of it oh and then there's the other part now I have to actually like use my brain uh for zombie sword one of the why am I dying Okay. Terms the perfect weapon for mage. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty useless this first um this first run here because I am discombobulated. Hopefully by the end of the stream I will be recombobulated. I'm so sorry. That was the worst joke I think I've ever made. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was like the worst joke I've ever made. It was so bad. <laughs> uh, where is the stupid exit door? There it is. Oh God. Okay. Why are we stopping at 270 score? Why why is this a thing that we are doing? You need to get milestone with mage damage? I'm in milestone seven. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, meter. We have to do that too. No need for S plus an M3. Bro, you don't... No. <laughs> That's not how it works. I want the increased meter. I want the increased chance. Like, what are we... What are we even doing, man? There's like 17 different things I need to do. Hold on. Give me a chance. Let me downtime one moment. First of all, chat's never going to let me just play if I don't do this there we go that should be enough actually maybe not let's just put all of it in the speed screw it my damage is high enough there unnick and then I need to change my class once we go in, and then I think we're fine. So I think we're good to go into the next one. Oh, wait. The meters, the meters, the meters. Uh, all the meters. They are not correct. Actually, those two are correct. 
This one is not. I need to set it to Master Stars. Where is it? Oh, those are... Oh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, all right. Let's make sure that these are set correctly. This we're going to set to Master Star 1. There we go. And then this we're going to set to Master Star 2. And so on. All of the RNG meters are going on Master Stars. Perfect. All right, now we're good to go. I am ready. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, Archer. There we go. Now we're set up. Now we can actually play game. Let's do this. Very good. Also, for a second, the map wasn't working. Okay, I believe I should be going this way so I can help my fellow mine men. Hello. I'm so helpful with the blood rush. Oh boy. Also, now that we have General's Medallion, I guess technically we can benefit from getting secrets. This chest is locked. I love that. All right. What room is this? Teammates already doing secrets in this room. Do I have to just start being a secret goblin again? I think I do. Because trying to play the way everyone else plays, it just doesn't work, man. Like, this run would have been faster had I just started getting secrets in the first room I saw. Ow. How to get more HP in dungeons? Higher cattle level. Cata level's a multiplier for all of your stats, and it's so essential. Also, the route just straight up isn't useful to me right now, because I cannot for the life of me find the start. Yeah, it's going to take a few runs to warm up as per usual. I'm so not used to dungeons. It's been forever. Are you just going for recoms? Actually, for once, no. We're going for Master Stars only. I mean, obviously, I'll grab recoms if I see them. As a matter of fact, I love recoms. I'll take every single one I get. But, Derpy's coming up in a few days. And in order to, like, get really good progression in dungeons, the general advice is to participate in dungeons during Derpy. Which means I need to get stronger. Hence, Master Stars. Wisdom Ultimate Wise combo. I'll take a Wisdom Ultimate Wise. Probably important to say I'm a tank. Oh, I can't help you then. I have no idea. <laughs> All the tank equipment I own is for the museum, essentially. I don't even play tank. All right. At least for the time being, I'm going to be a seeker goblin. I can't help it, man. I'm just going to start getting secrets in the first room I see. Otherwise, I'm just going to be completely useless to this party. The runs are too fast. Hello? Oh, there we go. I don't know what that was.
and then the route just stops? Like what? Oh, never mind. It's eight out of eight. Oh, is that because my secrets got yoinked? Also, those aren't real mobs. You're dying because you take all of your teammates damage. I'm not a tank. <laughs> Unless you guys are just having a conversation without me, which fair enough, I guess. I love dungeons. <laughs> How was your day yesterday? <laughs> um, well, let's just say I celebrated 420. <laughs> um, I got invited to an outing, uh, a bunch of a bunch of people are going to be hanging around the campfire and all that, but my my roommate invited me, but then went to ask the host, and then the host said no, so I got uninvited because I'm a stranger to that group. So that was fun. <laughs> I don't take it personally, though. They don't know anything about me, so I, I that's fine, I guess. Uh, ooh, a fuming? I'll take a fuming. I have so much money now. I can just buy whatever drops I want. This is great. A campfire. No, a literal campfire. But there'd be, you know, other little fires around the campfire, if you know what I mean. Oh, I hate this room. Get me out of here. No. Unless there's a route. Oh, but I remember the route sucking for this. This chest is locked. Yeah, screw that room, bro. I hate this room. You didn't see me just fail that two times in a row. Never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Your skill issuing so hard right now? Yes. I mean, what do you expect? It's a 30 virus dungeon stream. I mean, this is... <laughs> nothing has changed in the past three years. <laughs> I've never been... I don't think you guys understand. Dungeons from the start was designed to be anti-30 virus brain. Everything about this activity is something that I am not good at. Navigation. Short-term memory. <laughs> Those are really the two biggest ones, to be honest. Searching for things. Can't search for things. I'm terrible at searching for things. I'm terrible at navigating. I need GPS to go everywhere, including within miles of my own house. Like, this mode is just so not what I'm good at. <gasps> oh, recom. Cherry. That is good. So far, a fuming and a recom. Not bad, not bad.
Where is the route? There it is. What? Oh. Faster clear, more boss kills, more fun. I don't think you understand, man. You'll never understand. Dungeons is what happens when people get suckered into playing a mini game that is something they naturally would never go out of their way to do. Like people are like, they try to go, oh, Dungeons is the best part of Skyblock. It's all I do. And it's like, yeah, it's because you're playing a different game. When I signed up for Skyblock, I didn't want Dungeons. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is an activity I have to do. I I wouldn't be doing this for my own enjoyment if I'm being 100% honest with you. Like Dungeons has never been, oh, let's just, hey, here's a fun thing we could do today. Like, no, it never has been that way for me. <laughs> Chest is locked. What? Farms for a thousand hours instead? No, like literally, I'd rather sit there and press two buttons while not paying attention to the game than play dungeons. I'm not even kidding. I, I, I don't even have to argue my point. You could see it in the playtime hours. Like, like literally, if you, where's catacombs? Oh, that's dungeon hub. I spent not even 200 hours in a dungeon. Not even a fifth of the time I've been on garden. Not even a fifth. But no, I've always been a dungeon hater. Always will. It's not my time. It's not my type of game. Never was, never will be. And once I have it done and out of my life, I'll be happier. And I guess... Oh, first Master Star. Let's go. There it is. I guess um, there goes all the built-up RNG meter. I have to reset that now. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it automatically... Wait a minute. Did they... Did they change that? Did they change that? Because I didn't have to reset it that time. Or is that only for Slayer? Maybe that's only for Slayer. Huh. Nice. But yeah, no. Once I'm cat of 50, I'm... <laughs> once I'm cat of 50, by then I better have an absolutely ridiculous amount of recoms and fumings. Such that I never have to... Go back. Because... Just no. <laughs> I don't want it. How am I expected to reach that far? What does it want from me? What is this? I clearly did it wrong. I don't know what it wants. I don't know how to do that. I don't know what it wants me to do. You're supposed to be on the other side. Why am I supposed to be on the other side? <laughs> I thought I was following a route. Or did I fish brain and like wander i probably did that i tend to do that too. that's the other problem i have a dungeons is i tend to wander and like my attention just doesn't stay on the thing i'm trying to do it's, it's awful i love lag it's so not disorienting at all What am I supposed to? I hate this. I hate this. Why? Why me? Why? 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 Why must I suffer? Why do I suffer? Why am I supposed to suffer? Ah! I hate this. It's so annoying. Uh, no. Dungeons. I hate it. Stop acting like a victim. I am a freaking victim, bro. I got locked into Skyblock against my will, and Dungeons is the only thing left. 
you're all victims. You just don't know it yet. Dungeons is a freaking travesty and none of us should have to suffer through it. Another fuming. Hey, at least the RNG is good though. Remember when we were excited for dungeons to come out? Yeah, real honestly. All right. This is a very easy room to do with the secrets properly. So if I fail at this, then I there's no hope. All right, let's do it. One. Ow. Just teleports into a crowd of mobs. <laughs> Did you add a hashtag in between the letters and what are you talking about? You guys are having your own conversation. I'm trying to butt in and I'm confused as per usual. Hi. Whoa. Well, I almost missed that last one, but we did it. We aren't talking to you, 30. Oh, okay. Don't mind me then. On my own stream. <laughs> it's 35 a scribe block profile on bad line. Uploaded 14th February, 2024. The one you're using. Bro, just look at the author. Here, I'll make it easy. I'll actually, I'll upload it now again. Make sure the author is me. Sort by most recent. Because there's a fake one that has like 22,000 downloads. Because VLC hasn't figured out how to get their profile sharing system to show mine for some reason. Will you ever stream? Do you ever stream while on the green stuff? Uh, it's not very often. And to be honest, you're probably not going to see that for a while. Which is probably for the best. Because um, since yesterday was 420, I figured I might as well go crazy with it. And I didn't get my loot. Nope. You know what? Nope. I'm going to be difficult. Sorry, not sorry. I'm going to be difficult. If I get warped out, I'm going back to get my loot. I'm sorry. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> Knowing me, I will 10,000% forget it. So I need to get it now. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Looter, what are you talking about? Thirty virus, you non. You do know we're gonna do more than forty runs today, right? I will forget. It's not a. It's not an if. It's a when. So you're saying you may be a tad bit high right now? No. I mean, there, sure, there's THC in my system, but my tolerance is so high that the amount left over from yesterday isn't even enough for me to feel it at all. Like 0%, trust me. I am a thousand percent sober right now. <laughs> at least in terms of what's actually affecting me. I mean, yeah. I don't know if the definition of sober is nothing in the system or nothing impacting your faculties. I'm not really sure technically. 
Because they are two different things, kind of. It depends. But no, I'm going to be going on a really large tolerance break. To a month. Which is longer than it has to be. But I'm also pairing it with a few other things I need to do. For example, getting my fitness set up back. Getting back in the habit of going to the gym. Now that farming's over, I actually don't have as much of a reason to just be a zombie and sit here at my desk all day every day. I don't know why the bow is bugging out there. I don't have to sit here all day and press three buttons anymore. I could play dungeons. I could stream. I mean, that's the big thing, right? Is if I'm playing Skyblock, now I can stream it without worrying about people getting bored because I don't have to go back to garden no more. Thoughts on pendant and corpses plus keys? I'm here for a rant. Well, they already fixed the issue with keys being too expensive and taking too long to forge. But yeah, pendant is just alloy V2 at this point, which I hate for obvious reasons. Key should have multiple uses. I don't know about that. I mean, they did recently make it take a lot less time to make. I, I think they should be a bit cheaper. Speaking of, I actually dropped one from a corpse. I got a number key. I didn't even make that. Thoughts on battle nerf? Check my Twitter. You'll get a good idea of what my thoughts are on that. I am a bit proud of myself though. I feel like had I not done that, we would have just been screwed. Just like with Armadillo. So there you go. We saved Battle Pet, ladies and gentlemen. It happened. We got two pieces of adaptive armor. Bro, these chests are so garbage, man. I guess it's fair. I've gotten two Fumings, two, or, um, two Fumings, a Recom, and a Master Star. So let's let's not be too complainy. <laughs> Do you think Skyblock's an addiction? In my life, no. It's my job. For other people, maybe. No, not maybe, definitely. Balner for scrapped? Not necessarily. It was delayed. But the admins now are aware that, you know, what they did was bad and that they need to balance it in some other way. If I'm being honest, as long as Mine of Devon Gold is still a thing, like insta mining with um, blue cheese, then I don't really care if Val gets nerfed that bad. Obviously, I'd be sad for my rates, but like, it's absolutely devastating for the game to get rid of that. Like, there's so many interesting intricacies with that part of farming using the heat system and all of that. Like, it would just be a shame to watch it just all get annihilated just because the admins thought a pet was too powerful. It's kind of a part of the culture of Skyblock now. Let's get the hell out of this room. That's trap. <laughs> get wrecked. Did you change your player name? Nope, not once. In my entire time playing Minecraft, I have always been 30 buyers. Ever since day one. I <laughs> That was a big flex. Before they, they wiped the name servers, I managed to get the screenshot showing that I had not changed my name, not even once. Oh.
Did you see the new items getting added to Dark Auction? Bro, why are they doing this to us? Like, do they want us to suffer? <laughs> like, why do they keep adding more items to a system that scales with inflation and then require players to get it when their money-making method does not scale with inflation? Like, it doesn't matter. I'm rich now, so I don't really care. Like, I have so much coin. I could buy whatever the hell. Another recom! Speaking of... <laughs> recom... Mmm, delicious. Yes. What the hell? Oh, it's facing the wrong way. That was weird. Oh. Oh, I should probably turn, um... Leave me alone. Let's turn the mining speed boost thing off. That can get annoying. I just got a beating heart. But yeah, all of this, um... Oh, ow, ow, pain. I guess it's a good thing I have healing in my hot bar. I didn't think I'd need it. Also, the routes aren't working anymore. I don't know why that is. Probably because I got them out of order or something. How are we at four out of five? How did I miss one? Where's the one I missed? That nah, doesn't matter. Oh, um, thank you for the two euro super chat there. I missed it. I'm sorry. From Faye and then a QE added at the end. I don't know how to say that properly. Um, without sounding like a, a goofy version of the F word. Turn off mod vanilla font in settings. It looks better. I'm good, actually. I've tried the other font, and I don't like it. I like the vanilla font. Personal preference of mine. Does he only see Twitch comments? No, I see all of them. All the platforms. I can see all of your messages. Do not feel left out, YouTube and Kick. I don't even know if anyone is chatting on Kick. But if you are, well, actually, I could just look. There are the anti Iron Man update. That is a good way to describe it, essentially. Uh, let me try not to be awful. There we go. Facebook gaming. Yeah, that's that platform was then on arrival. <laughs> Even me. Yo, feel this. You want a VC? If you're just gonna chill in my kick chat, we might as well talk. So we could catch up, it's been a bit. Error setting up your skyblock session, what? That's a new one. I haven't seen that error message before. <laughs> like he hasn't responded I guess he wait what just happened what happened did crazy LF 30 bonzo I don't know what LF means they keep forgetting What happened? I'm not claiming that beast here in Milestone. 
I'm saving it for when I get a, a pet. Looking for... Looking for 30 Bonzo? I don't know what you're even... I don't know what's going on. I don't... I don't know. I'm just gonna keep playing and not question any of what's happened in the past minute and a half. TPS was dead? I was fine. Either that or I wasn't paying attention, which is equally possible. Do you think Primal Dragon's going to release? Unfortunately, I do think they're going to do it. I'm not happy about it, but I do think that's what's going to happen. Although I'm holding out hope that they're going to make the recipe a bit less insane and terrible and power creepy. Power creepy. <laughs> but you know what I mean when I say that. This is a shadow assassin. He's dead. What's wrong with it? Everything. Like, the whole concept. It just shouldn't exist. Like, straight up. Like, that it should be out. You know what I will say? Spawning multiple dragons in, like, waves is kind of cool. But, like... We didn't need another dragon armor. We really didn't. And don't get me wrong. I am a huge fan of content. I like new content being added to Skyblock. I request it nearly every day. But like... Dragons did not need more content. Like, come on now. For the amount of effort that went into Primal Dragons, they could have completely redone Nucleus Runs. And it would be beautiful. But they aren't. Because they... I don't know. I don't know why. They just... The admins do what they do. And there's not much we can say about it. It's very sad. Saddening. I feel like they should have put that effort into the forging update. I'm pretty sure they have, like, a team set up for foraging updates, so I wouldn't worry about that. Like, they... They're allocating their resources in such a way where these little updates is a separate person involved. Ooh, a Master Skull? Okay. I'll take a Master Skull. Would be nice to be able to dump my items. I know what I need to do. Solver's a bit dumb, but I, I remembered the spot. See, I didn't talk, and then I actually did a decent job of clearing the room. Well, the secrets. Not clearing. Would you look at that? Is the railroad pass permanent? It is. The thing about the pendant was, did the admins do the math on how long it would take? Clearly not. But to be fair, they did make it so that mineshafts appear more often. 
they did make it so keys are cheaper they did make it so that keys take less forge time so they're they know what we need they're slowly working in the right direction when it comes to that i'm very confident in terms of the pendant and like the mineshaft system i think that's gonna be fine the thing that really scares me is the bow change like, how are they... Go I, I don't understand their logic at all. It's like, oh, we need to not have a multiplicative stat for future content. Like, bro, you just added Heart of the Mountain 10. What mining content is there left to add? And even then, it's not going to be in the magma fields. Like, what? <laughs> Bell's buff only applies in the magma fields and as far as I know they're not planning on adding more content to the magma fields so like Bell pet isn't going to ruin any future content even if it was 30% multiplicative boost it's like okay it's just the best for money with like it's just the best for money ruby routes and topaz routes whatever like sure but that doesn't mean that people are not going to play the new content like I don't get their logic at all I don't know. The the bow pet change was pretty insulting. I'm not going to lie. It was like, oh, you, you see this item that is the center of like 17 different mechanics that are like kind of interesting and cool. Let's just break that because we don't like how it's overpowered by a little bit. Like, really? And it really isn't overpowered. That was a recon, by the way. You could tell I'm mad because I didn't even reply, respond to that. But like, it's just annoying men future content is not threatened whatsoever by the bow pet you can't even use it in the new area well i mean you can but it's like why would you the perks don't work unless you're in the magma fields i don't know rent done for now Yeah, I, I was a bit insulted when I saw that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, how many recoms are we at already? We're going to make this... Um, this is going to be our good loot chest right here. That master star. Okay. Okay downtime Yeah, I don't think Bow Pet needed any changes whatsoever. It was perfectly fine where it was. Do you think Skatha will ever get a buff to compensate? I mean, Skatha as a pet kind of sucks overall. I, I do think the, the perks need a buff. The only reason people use Skatha is because it's just the best for outside of Magma Fields, which isn't saying much because like... Bow's like the only good, good mining bet. Like, 100 mining fortune and 125 mining speed is like a, a little underwhelming. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That's like 5% of your overall fortune if you have maxed fortune. 5% from your pet. And then if you look at Golden Dragon, like 30% of your damage is coming from the pet. Like, okay. Glacite Golem's best mining pet now? It's not even in the game yet. It's still on alpha, which has the battle chain, so I wouldn't trust that. And bunch of garbage. What's the era that's ending? Are people still seeing that title? No, all three of the streams are titled Dugans. How are people still seeing the old title? Unless you saw it from Discord's thing, which doesn't update. 
It might be that. Yeah, on Discord it doesn't update. So maybe that's what it is. The era that ended was farming. I never have to farm ever again. This jazz music is going unnecessarily hard right now. That was the weirdest phrasing for a sentence I think I've ever said. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's good music. I kind of like it. It's kind of chill. From notifications, I think. Maybe. Wand of Atonement is such a good item. I think I really discounted it back in the day. What? What? Isn't there supposed to be a chest back here? And there is. What was that? Oh, it's already been searched. When I got one of Atonement, I didn't really think much of it, but it's a percent, right? Oh, it's not. Oh. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. What is wrong with me right now? Can I, like... It's like I short-circuited. <laughs> Do you have a guide for Iron Man that's still working for today? I just started. Uh, not a fully up-to-date one, but if you want the most up-to-date that I can offer... Um... Chat, did I stream bingo on YouTube or was that Twitch only the most recent time? Like a month or two ago. Was that... It was Twitch. Oh. I guess if you go to my Twitch channel, go to the VOD section, and then you can watch those. But if you want a video, then my bingo video is probably the best resource on my channel, which is severely outdated even then. I think I might need to just make an early game tutorial for Iron Man and otherwise. Adaptive helmet. Ooh. Also, I should warn you, chat, there's a very high possibility <laughs> that as these streams progress over the next week or two, from days like four to seven, I might be really grumpy. <laughs> I might be really grumpy. Because, um, like I said, tolerance break from the marijuana. My tolerance got absolutely out of control. Like, I was at a point where, like, one gummy was enough for me to be fine for, like, a day. And let's just say my tolerance got to the point where yesterday there were... I think I consumed five? Five gummies? So. So we have a bit of a problem. My habit was starting to get a little expensive. He's 420 friendly? Absolutely. That said, I'm not friendly towards the concept of people that are underage partaking because that's how you break your brain. There are many studies that have come out that say if you are below the age of 21, then weed will permanently and negatively impact your neurological development. But with that understanding, I'm 26. I don't have to think about these things anymore. <laughs> so, you know. With a healthy amount of nuance, yes, I am 420 friendly. I'm also absolutely skill issuing the crap out of this dungeon right now. Isn't it more something you become dependent rather than addicted? Yeah, so in my experience, when it comes to, like, dependency, 
when it comes to like happy chemicals, in my experience, I haven't really noticed a dependency in that front, but I have noticed it with sleep. Like in scenarios like today where I just cold turkey it, just decide, you know what? I'm not having any for a month. Like it's gonna be the worst with sleep. And I'll get a little cranky, but mostly because of the lack of sleep. <laughs> So, isn't it 25 when your brain stops developing? It is, yeah. But when it comes to marijuana, the, the research is mostly looking at 21 and under being severely bad. I would imagine from ages 21 to 25, there is still some negative effect. I just don't know. We don't know. There's not enough research. So, I guess if you're between 21 and 25, then use at your own risk even then. No, the crime has been committed a second time. Nope, can't find in the menu. Nope. Nope. Wait, can you do a P warp? Does that work? Try P warp. Also, Looter, I hope you're watching on Twitch. So the wait. Literally, just watch on Twitch. The delay is like negative three seconds. Like, you'll know when I picked an item. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, then what's the problem? Why are, we, why are we leaving before I got the thing? You can clearly see it on screen when I got the thing. Oh my god, I'm being such a fish brain. Here we go. Item. I never said a thing on YT. Hey, I'm not accusing you of anything, Looter. I'm just saying. Also, I, I see all three chats in one feed, so forgive me for being confused with platforms. Even though I can see the icon from where the chats are coming from, I still mess it up sometimes because dumb. You saw nothing. Are you doing M3s for collection? No, we're collecting Master Stars right now. So considering we have a Master Star in our term, we're also gonna need, and we already got one more. So we need three more first Master Stars before we move on to M4. So I guess the goal is gonna be to get as high a level of Master Stars on like my entire armor set and my term. Although, getting it on the hype would be very nice. Getting a second Master Star. That, like, plus 1% stats. Mmm. Delish. You need stars on equipment also? I mean, we don't need it. It's not as important. Oh, is it a personal best? Oh, two minutes, seven seconds. New record. Let's go. Yeah, I think stars and equipment doesn't really... It's, it's not going to make it any difference, really. It's a very, very small difference. Do I even have it, like, regular starred? I do. It's not master starred. So far, my speed in this room isn't that bad. So 
Six out of six, let's go. Do you encounter, do you, hey, do you encounter the thing, Hypixel, where Hypixel just won't let you in sometimes? Yeah, getting booted. That is a cloud flare problem. I, to be honest, if you're not YouTube rank, I wouldn't suggest what I do. I use a VPN, but for people that, you know, are just players of the game, it's used at your own risk. The VPN is kind of cool because it, since I essentially teleport locations, it means that I get around like whatever Cloudflare node issues are happening that kicks me from the game. But I would not officially endorse it for everybody else to use. At least not for this purpose. I mean, if you want to get your US Netflix shows in another country, then like go for it. But for Skyblock, it'd probably get you banned. Oh, that was my bad. Why is the VPN used at your own risk? Because think of it this way. VPNs essentially convert your IP to a different IP in the eyes of Hypixel. And when let's say a thousand players are all using the same IP and like one of them's cheating, what do you do? right you still have to ban the cheater but you can't just ban that account because they're a cheater and they're probably going to use like you know alts because that's what cheaters do so you, if you try to ip ban then every single person that connected to that node of the vpn would also get banned and i'm not sure if hypixel officially does that but i just want to risk it How do you prevent lag on Skyblock? It's kicking me every five to 10 minutes. That's, well, what kind of lag? Is it frames or is it network lag? Considering you're getting kicked, it's probably network lag. In which case, the only way to fix that would be either you're having that issue and then like would have to teleport with a VPN at your own risk or your internet service provider is dropping the ball or <laughs> you're too far away from Hypixel. If you're like in the, if you're in Australia, then you're probably not gonna have a good time. I don't know what's happening right now. It appears that the party has an issue for some reason. I don't know what that is. Might as well sell the garbage while we're here, while we're waiting. Don't forget security, security bands. Yeah. Really? Really? <laughs> this chest is locked, bro. Pain. Yeah, I think these routes need to account for that. If there's a dungeon, where, or if there's a secret where the, what am I trying to say? If there's a secret where the chest has like a random chance to be locked, that's my understanding of it, is that there's a random chance that they're locked. If there even is a chance to lock the chest, then don't include it in the route in such a way where you can just insta open it from behind a wall. Include the lever, like we need it. <laughs> my mouth is so dry right now. 
Yo, thank you for the raid, Izzy. What's up? What were you guys doing? We are doing some very skill issue dungeons right now. Why barely ever ether warp? Because I am, I don't know. I, I don't have an answer for you. Sometimes I just do things and I don't really know why. <laughs> Yeah, on YouTube, we have the lucky sevens for our view count there. Our concurrent viewers, 777. What are your plans for Derpy? What I'm hoping happens is that I drop enough master stars to the point where I've got at least my armor and weapon up to like three master stars. That's the plan. Is to have at least everything on three Master Stars. And then whatever recoms I pick up along the way, I'm going to obviously use on Talismans. Although, there's a few things I'm tempted to use it on. I don't know why I just bought that, but whatever. It's all garbage. Or first some M5 for Legion. I mean, the order doesn't really matter. We have to do it anyways. And we're going to need M4s anyway, because, I mean, we still don't have Bone Meringue. We still don't have Felthorn Reaper. There's a few other items that use Enchanted, or not Enchanted Bone, but the whatever that item is called. Spirit Bone. No, no, no. Wow. And that right there is why I run dungeons with a spirit mask. That is exactly why. Can I just get through the stupid room? Oh, this room. Gotta love when it doesn't register that I stood on the block. Love that. This is a way faster way to do it. Wastes a lot of soul flow, though. Maybe if I just use it on the corners. If I was mage, this wouldn't be a problem. I swear if they enter before I finish this, that'd be sad. I got it. Let's go. Soul flow waste. Yeah, a little bit. Just a bit. I thought you hit one mil subs. <laughs> no, we didn't even hit half a mil yet. That video has been a work in progress for two years. 
Well, I use work in progress lightly because it's not like we've been actively working on it. I collected the clips, put together the folder, and then just we never hit the milestones, so it's still sitting there. The project. I'll take a few, man. <sighs> what armor is better than young dragon that'll cost below 10 mil bro just get the 10 mil getting money in this game has never been easier like genuinely you can get um you can get like 20 million coins in an hour just walking into rift and slapping the stupid shadow mobs like really i honestly it is so easy to make money like for like one hour you just slap the whatever that mob is and then buy reflection book sell night on AH. Most rift related things, you just walk in, kill some stuff, and then sell what you got, and then you'll just make money. Like you print money. It is stupid easy. I don't know what the hell. How's your 420? Eh, it was pretty boring, not gonna lie. Was hoping I'd be invited to a social gathering, but it didn't work out that way. So I just kind of stayed at this desk. You know what's cool though? Me and Fezzi managed yesterday while partaking in our 420 activities. We figured out how to get Llama 3, Facebook's open source model or Meta's open source uh, LLM. We managed to get it to run locally on Fezzi's computer. Like he, to prove that it worked, he disconnected his internet and was getting responses from a chat bot on his computer. Which by the way, for those that haven't been following AI, that's the moment everything changes. A few days ago, when they uploaded this model for just anybody to download and put on their PC and disconnect it from the internet, it's over. This is like, there's like, you know, when people talk about that big moment when things go parabolic, it starts here because now what's going to happen is every single person on the planet that has access to a graphics card worth more than a grand can suddenly have access to a full fat AI language model and a multimodal one. So it, it's, it's over, dude. It's gonna, this is, this is crazy. We, we didn't get 70 B to work. A llama 370b we got 8b to work because it's just so complicated to download it like it's the, it's not simple it's not like oh just install a program it's like ugh. it's pretty awful there were like seven different things we had to download just to like request the model and then not only download it but get it to display in a chat box window that isn't a command prompt But no, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. Within six months, we're probably going to just straight up have <clears throat> robot butlers. Because all you got to do now is take, and here's, the, remember the Boston Dynamics video from just a few days before that, bro? Like, imagine you have this Boston Dynamics electric robot that's humanoid. You stick a 4090 in its chest and then just boot up Llama 370B <laughs> and then just have the model. Well, you'd have to, there's a few other things you'd have to do. You'd probably have to code some kind of movement engine that's calibrated to take commands in English. <laughs> Cause then what you could do is have the LLM be like, hey, move the um, left wrist by four degrees. <laughs> And then the motors would recognize that chat message from LLM from the LLM and then actually move the motor by that much. And then what I think would have to happen, you'd have to have two models running. You'd have one for like the movement. So you'd put like 8B and then you'd have like the more complex computationally difficult tasks like doing math or like coding something and then have that be the responsibility of 70B. 
And then you could just straight up have a robot butler, like literally. It's kind of insane. Wait, was that a vitamin death I just saw? <gasps> it is! Look at that! Oh! I forgot that was the thing that we were collecting. Where is it? There we go. We only need two more. Is it true that you write spaghetti code? Not anymore. I haven't for a while. Nowadays, everything I do is either object oriented in nature or well, yeah, for the most part, object oriented in nature. If the same thing is happening more than once in my code, I'm generalizing the the code. I'm not going to remake it more than twice. No hard coding. None of that. <laughs> and by the way, the reason why local models are so much more powerful than like a cloud model is that suddenly the control is taken away from the big tech company that owns the model. Because like, let's say that works, right? You download Llama 370B, run it on a 4090 and you get a response in less than a second. I don't know if that's true. I even tried 70B. I know 8B is pretty much instant. Like literally like the text, just a whole sentence will appear in a quarter of a second, not even. But let's assume 70B does work. You download it to a little machine, a little box with a 4090 in it and a screen. And then you could just have Yes Man from Fallout New Vegas, like a full on AI character. <laughs> You'd have to hook up a voice model to it though. But at least intelligence wise, there he is. He could be made real. What the hell is it trying to get me to do here? What? Oh, I see. But anyways, a part of me is tempted to get a second computer just to run Llama 3 on by itself locally and then just like have it do random crap. And that's the other thing is that you're not limited in any way in terms of like, well, you're not limited arbitrarily is what I should say. So like as of now, we can tell already how powerful an LLM is, but we're limited because it's like, oh, limit 25 requests per three hours with ChatGPT. I don't know what I'm missing for the record. Is it this? It might be this. Um, but you could just infinitely use it. You can have requests going. Like you can add, have a new request for your personal, personal local bot, like every second of every day, all day, every day. Like you just, it's constantly working for you and you can jailbreak it. That's the other crazy thing. People have already jailbroken it. People have jailbroken Llama 3 and it hasn't even been out for like a day. And that's really problematic because if you jailbroke, if you jailbreak an LLM that's local, it's not going to be able to call back to, to meta and be like, Hey, I've been compromised. Like now you just suddenly have like the genie's out of the bottle. It just is. Like you, what's jailbreak? Taking the safeguards off. Like if you were to go to chat GPT right now and ask for the recipe for methamphetamine, it's going to be like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> if you go to a jailbroken language bottle, <laughs> it'd be like, oh, all right, let's get the cough meds. <laughs> it's not, not, oh, is this starting? I don't know. I, I've seen enough Breaking Bad to know I think cough meds are involved. I don't know the rest of the, 
Maybe not cough meds, it's some kind of... But anyways... You could ask it literally anything, including something illegal, and it will just know, because it has all the knowledge that humans have ever had. Like, so you can ask it how to make any drug. You can ask it how to kill somebody. You can ask it how to start a nuclear war. You, <laughs> like, it, it's, it's insane, dude. The safeguards are suddenly gone. And there's nothing Meta can do about it once it's been done once. Because it's offline. They'd have to go and physically, like, take back the computer. <laughs> They'd have to go to the computer, either take it or wipe the hard drive in person. Like, there is nothing they could do. They, they have given up control of the LLM. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, I don't know. It's going to be scary times ahead. Very scary times. Because suddenly, what used to be forbidden knowledge for the sake of the betterment of mankind is not going to be limited anymore. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Did Rexy just get a 50 out of 50 Dreadlord? <laughs> it's too bad that it's not M7. Oh, my mini-map's not working. Love that. What happened to my map, man? I need it. Reload yourself. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there is not a public playlist for my stream music. I'm sorry. There is an official video on the Epidemic Sounds channel for my top hits. But now what I'm probably going to do is if I... I'm still considering this. I'm not made of money. 4090s are expensive. I wonder how much an A100 chip is. Like, just one of them. Isn't it like 15 grand? It's 10 grand. Why are A100 so expensive? I think that goes without saying because it's a powerful card for AI. It also really matters how much VRAM you have as well. NVIDIA Tesla A100 Ampere 40 gigabyte graphics processor accelerator PCIe 4.0 times 16 dual slot for 7.76 grand. Well, the price has dropped. It sounds like a deal to me, chat. 30% discount? No. <laughs> That's a steal. You know what we should do at some point? You know what we could do? This okay, this is gonna sound a little selfish out of context. You know that system that YouTube has for like charities? How people can donate for like a specific goal? What if they added that, but like for whatever reason the streamer can put? So instead of like a charity, it would be like, oh, let's as a community, let's buy this crazy thing that'll make the streams better. I think that'd be a really cool feature. Because I would definitely have like a goal of like 5k and just have this ridiculous like, oh, let's have an AI, like a separate PC <laughs> that we could just have <laughs> for the streams. I wouldn't be able to use it much for the streams. That's the problem though. I'd, it'd probably mostly be for personal use. I would just be like, a hey, LLM. <laughs> what would I even do? What would I do with a local one versus a regular one? I guess the, the problem is, like, the amount of stuff you can do is so much more. But, like, I'm a civilian that doesn't, like... Like, I'm not military. I'm not a criminal. I'm just a guy that plays Minecraft. Like, how much do I really need an LLM for? <laughs> I, I wish I can come up with excuses. Make a single video about it and you're done. Well, yeah, from a tax standpoint as well if i wanted to write it off on my taxes
Wait until the 5090 comes out. It's not a bad idea. Wait until 5090, then buy a 4090 because the price would go down. I was recently banned for something I didn't do and appealed, but I got denied. Unfortunately, that's where it ends. I, I can't help you. Never could. That's just how it works. <sighs> But yeah, the only groups I can think of that could really take advantage of something like a local LLM would be either military or criminals. Like, with criminals, obviously, they'd look up how to, like, do just about anything intelligently. Insert illegal activity here, how to do without getting arrested. <laughs> that's the scary thing, dude. It's like, that's literally, like, a thing that people are going to ask for from, a, from an LLM. It'll consider every angle of the scenario. God, it's gonna be so weird. I'm not afraid of AI. I'm afraid of people abusing AI. That's what I think the real problem is gonna be. Like, what if it gets to the point where someone could just have a, a computer with a 4090 and then just be like, how do I rob a bank without getting arrested? And then like, it gives them the perfect answer. They execute on it and it works. I'm not suggesting people try that. AI is smart, but as of yet, not as smart as people yet. So it probably still wouldn't work. But it is a scary thought. You look very handsome today. Oh, thank you. It's probably the hair. I actually tried today and I used hair gel a little bit. I never do that. It is surprising how big a difference hair makes for someone's appearance. Like, you wouldn't think. Like, it's just this little detail. That, what big... It's not a big deal. It's just an extra thing on top of your head. But, like, nope. Means a lot to a lot of people. Sorry if you're bald. <laughs> Do you support the LGBTQ? Yes. Because that... Well, it doesn't have to be because. I just do... Mm -mm -mm. And frankly, for a Minecraft stream, does that stuff even, like, that's not relevant to Minecraft. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, just try to make entertaining content for everybody. I don't want to single anyone out. Except for maybe, like, terrorists or something. <laughs> but even then... It's not like I have the power of who watches the videos anyways. <laughs> Do you support the BLT? Vegetables are gross. So I guess no. Lettuce is just crunchy water. A waste of time. And tomatoes are slimy disgusting. So I'd rather just have a different sandwich. <laughs> I'd rather, if I, if I had to have bacon between two pieces of bread, I'd prefer to have some eggs and cheese with that instead of lettuce and tomato, but that's just me. Have you ever thought about doing YouTube shorts for profile reviews? No one would watch that. Nobody would watch that. Sorry. Crunchy water is a nice difference from just water. I disagree. I'm a very textural eater. Flavor is important to me, but texture is even more important. So if something has a texture I don't like, and if two textures clash in a way I don't like, then it's over. Did someone promote me a leader? No, they didn't. Oh, we only have three people in the party. We lost some people. It appears Crimson and Crazy Kid. And, and Stylist. That's an enormous bottle. It's the Chug Jug. It's a joke we have around here because I hate Fortnite, but 
I make the exception for that specifically. Why are there no mods on YouTube? Because most of the mod team on the YouTube side is pre-Skyblock. And those that are moderator are actively playing the game, so they're not chatting there. Most of my streaming culture nowadays is on Twitch. So, there's that too. But hey, YouTube, don't feel left out. I can still read your chats. I still see you. I still see you. You should get a blue chug jug bottle. See, that's just too on the nose, though. Like I said, I hate Fortnite, so a passing reference is acceptable. But having an actual chug jug in my room is where I draw the line. How do you read all three chats? I use um, bot tricks. It is a bot. It is in all of my all of my chats, and it has a feature. Oh, TPS. Hello. It has a feature where you can actually add a widget to your OBS. And that's just all three chats combined. Did I even get that secret? I think I did. Oh, we're doubling up on the room cringe. I <laughs> everyone's just like, nope, not doing super tall. Absolutely not. I heard a bat. I heard a bat. Must not have been a bat. <laughs> I like how I went in there, blew up everything, and then just didn't take the chests. You said AI gear is good and expensive. Look at NVIDIA GeForce Now GP specs. They have a lot of core. CPU is worth 10K and has 24 gigabytes of RAM. You mean GP, right? Not CPU? I mean, yeah, their A100 chip is what I was looking at, the, the 10 grand. I'm not buying one of those for the record. I'm pretty sure they just, I think Intel just came out with something that is like way better. Correct me if I'm wrong, but A100 is already not the best anymore. To my knowledge. I do like the fact that I could just kind of come up here and randomly get a few of the chests without having to go through all this crap. When's the next balloon stream? Whenever Chicago goes down for the second time. How many mushrooms did it take to get burrowing spores? Not much. It was very quick. I got all of my burrowing spores within like less than 20 hours of gameplay. Which in terms of farming is not long bro what am i watching right now what is this would you say llama 3 is the most powerful ai currently 
Hard to say. How do we... I mean, aren't there numbers for these things? Like how many teraflops a model requires? I have no... Oh no, there's um intelligence scores, right? Metrics of that nature. It's either going to be GBT4 or Llama 370B that's the best right now. And they did just give GPT-4 a pretty large upgrade. Mm -hmm. I wonder how long it's going to take to get three more... Uh, first master stores because that's going to be our signal to, to progress to do a different floor i hate navigating dungeons so much oh it's this room again Oh, it's mine! It's mine! No! Fine. You can have it. <laughs> What's your playtime? 4,888 hours. Why does explosive bow do that? You notice that? How it like kind of, like when you switch to the item, it kind of flick, flickers. What's up with that? I mean, I know it's because the Hypixel's plugins I, that much, I knew, but like, why specifically? How do you feel about YouTube versus ad blockers? I mean, there's a clear bias because I'm a YouTuber. But what I will say is, um, YouTube as a company needs to make money. And ads, unfortunately, are a necessary evil. It is pretty bad, but like, it is what it is, I guess. I don't think a service as valuable as YouTube has to be free. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've been a YouTube Premium subscriber for like nearly two years now, and I have zero complaints there are very reasonable it's well at least for me it's reasonably priced and it has a ton of features that honestly are like i don't know it completely replaces spotify for me and i get to play my youtube videos while my phone screen is off while i'm biking like that those two things are insanely valuable to me But no, I would just say that if the ads are too much, then get YouTube Premium. And if YouTube Premium is too expensive, then I'd make it not too expensive. I don't know, man. It's one of the few subscription services I'd actually vouch for. Is it weird that I sometimes like writing essays? No. Why is that weird? I mean, there's authors, <laughs> there's people that write for a living and it's not because they hate it. It's probably because they like it. Also gives better bit rate on certain videos. I'm a very passive viewer. That sort of thing doesn't really matter to me that much. 
like if all my youtube videos today just defaulted at 480p it would probably take me a few days to even notice because i'm not even like watching the video i'm just listening to it while in the my peripherals i'm see i, I can kind of see what's happening but not really it's kind of like how i can like kind of play the game while reading chat but not really What's your most viewed video? It's probably episode one of Solo. It's got like 1.3 million views, 1.5, something like that. Which one did I miss? This back one. Oh no, there's a bat, right. Or at least I thought there was a... Bro, where's the last secret? What? 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 Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna leave. First episode of Solo what? Hypixel Skyblock Solo. Oh, you must be new to the channel if you don't know what I mean when I say Solo. Did I mention that I hate secrets, chat? Even while I can literally see a, a box through a wall, I struggle. I, I hate secrets so much. It's so annoying. I hate them. Oh, spider room. Okay. Oh, I have the ether warp there. Oh, yeah. Some of these routes just straight up don't work. Like that? You can't even do that. So I don't know what the... Like, <laughs> that part of the route just straight up is broken. You're just aiming wrong? No, I'm not. Like, they're... I like, know. <laughs> the block was red. Either I'm aiming at that block or I'm not. Also, there's a teammate in this room. Is Gemini good? It's fine, I guess. It's all right. I never bothered to use it because I already had a GPT, chat GPT subscription. But if, and here's the thing, I'm still using a 2080 Ti from like four years ago and it probably isn't gonna work. So if I really wanted to have a locally run LLM, I'm gonna have to upgrade my graphics card, perhaps to a 3090 or not a 3090, a 4090 perhaps. Why S plus for M3? Bro, I'm just in the... I'm just playing the game, man. I'm just here. I'm not orchestrating any of this. I'm trying as hard as I can to not pay attention to the fact that I'm being forced to play dungeons because of where I am in the progression. You're not contributing. I'm getting secrets, looter. That's what I've always done. I'm just going for the first room I see because these runs are so fast that if I, by the time I find the pr proper room for me to do, the run's over. So I might as well just start getting secrets. You skipped trap and don't do stuff during boss? What are you even on about, looter? Skip trap? I haven't seen a trap room in like six runs. 
You should do a couple of days solo clearing floor seven, make it in a video to improve. You know what's funny? I already did that twice. And guess what didn't happen? Me getting better at the game. <laughs> Also, it seems like we're down timing right now, so I might as well take advantage and organize my crap. Chad, I think the party needs people if you want to join. The party's not muted. What do you use GPT-4 for? for? Mostly coding. Typically what'll happen is I'll have like a vision in my head of like how I want the logic of something to flow. It's like, okay, I'm gonna need a method that does this, this, and this, another one that does this. I need this variable. I need to call it here. I need, like I could literally just take that process that's going on in my head, type it out, as a request and then it'll just make the code and it's not going to be perfect it, it never almost never is actually but it it's usually close enough that the grunt works done and sometimes it'll do something really freaking stupid but luckily i've been coding for like over 10 years so i'll notice actually at this point it's almost been 15 years oh my god i don't even want to think about that <laughs> Imagine being 26 saying you have 15 years of job experience. <laughs> I'm that guy. I'm the I'm the mythical person that actually fits the requirements that these jobs are looking for. <laughs> wow, isn't that crazy? Oh, uh, Gogeta. Uh, sorry, I missed that. Thank you for the... Uh join in becoming a member much appreciated on youtube and i should probably also point out while we're talking about that uh midas ee -E, thank you for the prime sub and pick six thank you for the prime as well you stream more often i am trying to i am trying to but what i will say is that we need we need to prep for um derpy we need to actually play dungeons during derpy and then there's a bingo so i think it's safe to say i'll be streaming a good bit the next couple weeks and now that farming is not a thing anymore i don't have something that i could no brain grind off stream really anymore so Oh, you can eat the warp there. I knew that. It wants me to ether warp into a spot that I cannot ether warp into. What is this? Hello, Duncan. I find it a bit goofy that there's just like living people in the catacombs just chilling like running a business there's a shop there like that this is normal why is the room not 
registering his trap room in the minimap. There it goes. Only took like seven years. Oh. Got it. I'm not even gonna... Are we doing S plus runs? If we're doing S plus runs, I guess I need to do this. And I think I missed a lever. It's been so long, bro. I don't understand how I managed to forget how to do dungeons every single time I stopped doing it. And it didn't matter. Okay, we're just doing S again, it looks like. Unless... I don't know. I think because of the sheer speed of the runs, I tend to agree with S, at least for this floor. Also, sleeper pulse. We got a little bit of leeway. I'm thinking about starting coding. Any tips? Um, Code Academy Python is the go-to answer whenever somebody asks me that question. And then making Minecraft plugins. That's what I did. It, it's probably it's finicky, but it's also probably the best way to actually learn how to make a tangible, like. Not literally tangible, but a piece of code that actually works and does something interesting that you could say is yours. And you could visually see what your code is doing. That's Im that's really important for at least people like me. I don't know for the rest of you guys. Do little projects that interest you? Exactly. If at any point you had the urge to make a Discord bot, you're like, you know, it would be really nice if I had a bot that did, like, whatever. Then, like, learn to make a Discord bot. You can make them in Python. And using ChatGPT to fill in the blanks sometimes isn't a bad thing. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed to tell ChatGPT to code something for you because you know what happens when that when it codes it for you? You could still read the code it made and try to understand it. I would say that you should have a baseline understanding of how programming works before you just have ChatGPT make stuff for you because it'll probably make learning harder. But once you have like a baseline understanding, you've made like a few Minecraft plugins that actually work and you could without a guide, then I think it, you'd benefit a lot from just having a, a little language model buddy just there at all times to help you code. Mm -hmm. Bro, where is the stupid door? Let me... What? <laughs> I'm confused at what happened, but fine, I guess. Bro, the TPS is not bad. A bunch of complainers, man. We're fine. I hate this stupid lever. I don't know why I haven't thought to use a pickaxe on that, actually. <laughs> oh, I was reading a chat message that wasn't meant for me. I was very confused. Waypoints? Hello? Oh. Oh, I changed to a different room without even noticing. What the hell? What are we doing? 
Oh. I forgot. <laughs> we downtimed a lot because of that uh, Rex who dying behind the wall thing. However, that happened. What's one thing you would change about Skyblock? Make farming into an idle game. Dear God, please just make it an idle game. Make Heyday the farming skill. Just make it so that <laughs> you have little stations that you go to every now and again. And they just do stuff while you're offline or not on the island. Like, honestly, that's what farming should have been since the start. But we're too far gone. So just minions. No, it'd be much more visually interesting and strategic than that. But it wouldn't be a thousand hours of pressing two buttons, that's for sure. Do you give political opinions on stream? Uh, sometimes, but not really for the sake of it being politics. I'll just talk about a topic because it's interesting or I have thoughts on it. I, I don't really like politics in general because it's just a bunch of bickering. It's not actual progress. It hasn't for a long time. <laughs> And I don't belong to a political party. And honestly, it surprises me how many people just straight up are like, oh yeah, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Republican. Like, really? You believe in all of the... Like, you could just openly say that and not be like terrified at the implications that people would tie you to? Like, no, bro. I'd rather someone have to ask me my opinion on a specific thing instead of oh what political party do you belong to and then just make a million assumptions about my character and my no i hate it man why does the map break why no Minimap, what happened? BLC. I'm sad. Also, there's no check mark in this room right now. Is that because we're missing a kill? <laughs> and I like how immediately I'm just like, yeah, I don't really like talking politics. And some guy goes Palestine or Israel. You know what my answer is? I don't know. I don't involve myself in this crap. I live in Florida. Do you know how far away Florida is from those two places? There's not a single thing I could say or do that would change how that out is going to happen. You know what I mean? The outcome of that conflict is not going to change because of what some Minecraft YouTuber has to say. So I'm going to say nothing. Mm-mm-mm. Bro, my mini map. Why? BLZ. Why? You have to cut me off from the the mini map. I can't function without it. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't I genuinely don't have a take. It's not like oh I refuse to speak on it because I'm streaming. Like I just don't have a take. I don't <laughs> I haven't done the research and I don't really want to, to be honest. I have a really weird point of view on this. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's funny. The more I talk, the more likely I get in trouble, right? But like, I don't know. I think about things as if they've already happened while they're still happening. It's like we are living history, if that makes sense. Like... Does it matter what my opinion is on a conflict from hundreds of years ago? Probably not, right? Because it already happened and the outcome is the outcome. And since I don't really have any power to change the outcome of the current conflict, I almost see it as if it's already something that already happened, if that makes sense. It just isn't relevant in my life. That really is the true answer. Is that, yeah, obviously people are dying. That's really not good. And I would obviously advocate for people, especially innocent people, to not die. 
But, like, what am I gonna do about it? So, like... Whatever, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's my stance, is that there is no stance, because I kind of refuse to have a stance. Because I've already seen how heated people get with either answer to that question. So I'd rather just not participate. And that's a lot of politics. Well, actually, that's not a lot of it. Usually I will have an opinion. This one I genuinely don't, but usually I'll have an opinion that's pretty level-headed and not, you know, doesn't indicate any political affiliation, just raw logic problem solving. There are small things you could do. Yeah, don't give me any of that. Oh, I don't think doing a virtue signal tweet is doing anything. You know what I mean? Why that finger crack was so loud, bro? I cracked my wrist too. That was a good one. I don't know. Why. That was so loud. <laughs> What would you add to Skyblock if you can add anything? Hmm. I talked about a pirate island, like a literal sand island in the middle of an ocean. And it had spear fishing, it had the abyss, it had the mechanics of like drowning having like air bubbles diver armor having actual purpose because like it actually works like diver armor in real life having um a pirate sword i forget what the weapon's called but there's a specific weapon name for the pirate sword or it's like the ottoman the ottomans also have a sword with like a curved blade or whatever kind of like that so that update that I talked about that one time and have it in a video somewhere. Cutlass? No, it was it was something else. It's like a rapier or something. I, it sounds it sounds like how do you pronounce rapier? It, that doesn't sound right. It was in Hexit back in the day. Back when there were actual pirate ships in the mod pack that you could, like, raid and kill NPCs that were pirates, it was cool. Ray Pierre? Yeah, one of those. That could be a weapon category. Also, the blunderbuss could finally be added as a weapon category. So a handheld dispenser, you throw items in it, it uses it as fuel and chucks them. Could like chuck anvils with it. <laughs> Be cool. How to see member specific live chat asking because I can't find it. I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Not for you. That's something I can set, like member only chat, but I don't think you can just filter the chat for yourself to only see members. Mm. I need three more master stars, not four. I already have one on my turn. And I already have one in the ender chest, so we need three more. If you want my full armor set and um 
term. I think it's so funny that these routes, like, literally take longer if you follow their instructions in some of these things. I like how the route just died. Love that. All right. Mm How many hours do you have in Sheep Wars? <laughs> Zero. Nutella bread with or without butter? Man, that's like a level of gluttony I don't think I've ever hit. There was a point when my taste buds were so broken that I had to dip like Pizza Hut breadsticks in icing. Not even breadsticks, like like garlic breadsticks so it was a weird flavor combo but that's what i did because i was very over my genetic set point weight wise so my taste buds were just not working i've never like just straight up spread nutella on a piece of bread i've never done that it would probably taste pretty good although i'd I feel like the, the bread would have to be toasted, right? I mean, otherwise, it's just going to be a soggy mess. I, I don't get Nutella very often because I know how dangerous it is. I love hazelnut flavored things. Like Ferrero Rocher's are S plus, bro. They're so good. Poutine, also perfect. It's such a good food. I'm not much for gravy, but in the context of poutine, it's fine. Like, I'll never put gravy on, like, mashed potatoes or, like, turkey. And texturally, it's just gross to me. But, like, on some fries... Orange, you meet a reselected first master star. Hmm, I wonder what's in this chest. Oh boy, would you look at that? It's a master star. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> there we go. Two more to go. Is it two more to go? It is two more to go. Are you doing Paul because... Ugh. Are you doing Dungeons because Paul is mayor? You see how that sentence just completely fell apart because a word was too soon? Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm uh, I'm doing this because Derpy is about to be mayor and my goal is Cat of 50. And in order to actually have like really good fast progression, I'm going to need to play a high level of master mode during Derpy, which is... Dangerous because of that double health. So that's why I'm getting master stars so I can chew through that um, a bit better. Just absolutely annihilate everything. It's probably not going to make that big a difference if I'm being 100% honest. It'll be like maybe 15% more damage. <laughs> it's not going to be much. It doesn't matter as long as you have Soul Eater term. Why well, is what I have? Oh, 
Oh, this stupid room. Yeah, no. Haha, <laughs> no. That is the only room I will skip 100% of the time. Every time. Because the solver for BLC has been broken ever since it's been made. And I cannot be bothered to do that without the solver. Also, where's the stupid door? Where? How do I leave? I want to leave. I want to exit the vicinity. Where is the door? Here it is. So annoying. Actually, I probably shouldn't even be in this room now that I think about it. So, you know what? Never mind. <sighs> Go to the other door. I checked about member only live chat. It says for base members, it might be just a typo, but don't mind having it oh so apparently that is a thing yeah i mean i haven't this man's posture is insane right now is it it is pretty healthy there's none of this going on <laughs> You know, if I really wanted to be comfortable. Here, hold on, watch this. I could pull the chair forward, kick up my feet on the foot hammock, and then just lean back. Here, hold on, I have to. <sighs> you don't see it, but I'm completely lounging right now. <laughs> Here, hold on. Can I. Can I sit this? No, that is as upright as the chair gets. Another master skull. Mm. Click on the block just to get the route to update. There we go. I'm getting in, Rager. You know, if I could, I would. But statistically speaking, very unlikely. Boom. I know you probably won't care, but would you green bandana every single farming pet? Definitely not pig because the best pet item for pig is flying pig as an exclusive item. Um, chicken doesn't matter. It's never going to get used. <laughs> There's a few pets I put it on already. 
I mean, I have a literal row of overflow bandanas, so maybe, I guess. You look like a psychopath when you concentrate. Really? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I don't think that's a setting that warrants a thanks, but I just don't know what to react to that with, so. Yo, thank you for the five, Hammer. Hello again, Tony. I sent five earlier, but I had to go because family stuff. Oh, I did end up reading it. Thank you for the other five. Thank you for the 10 total. Much appreciated, Hammer. I'm sorry I delayed it because I was in content mode at the time you sent that. Um. Anyways, I'm back now, so hi. Well, hello. Why am I stuck in the floor? What time is it where 30 is? It is 4.30 p.m. It's kind of early still. Yeah, I'm going to start losing my mind, dude. It's been a while since I've gone off of the gummies. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the last time I did that was almost five months ago. So these next couple days are going to be interesting for sure. Out of memory, reload page then. What? That was weird. All the secrets are done. I see. If you could bring back one weapon into the meta, what would it be and why? Anything that's just big damage in one shot and that's all it is. So giant sword, um, claymore, reaper scythe to some extent. I think there should be some kind of grind where it's valuable to do a lot of damage in just one hit with melee. Like, I don't know what the meta would have to change to, but I think there should be a carve out for these like high damage one tap weapons that have nothing special to it other than just big number, essentially. So I don't really know. Ghosts? I mean, yeah. But that's already the thing. And you can do that with other weapons too. You can easily one tap. I don't know. What's your favorite video you ever made? I don't know about favorite ever made, but I do know that like the most YouTuber video I ever made, like the most on point, like I know what I'm doing type video was probably the pickaxe, the obby video, the obsidian video, yeah. Insta mining obsidian. This one came out recently within the past like four months. Everything about that video was literally perfect. It was made to just like, I don't know. Everything was textbook. It's like exactly what you're supposed to do to make a video successful. And then it, sure enough, it was. So that was when I, I felt the most like in tune with YouTube as a job where I felt like I know what I was knew what I was doing. So that one was my probably objectively highest quality video in terms of like what the algorithm likes in terms of like, oh, you know, another one I'm really happy about how I did on it. The where is Hightail video. That one equally was like very, ooh, recom. Ooh. 
but the um the where's hightail video equally was like okay yeah like the commentary on point the topic on point everything was paced perfectly like spaceman video i think spaceman video had too much yapping i talked for literally 15 minutes straight before even showing a clip but even then it was still obviously it did really well half a million views almost like yeah was still objectively a very good video but if i had the chance to do it uh, if i had the chance to do it again i probably would change nothing just because again half a million view video but i'd be too scared to make any changes but i do think that if i didn't know that i probably would have wanted to have a video with a bit less yapping Okay, I know I still to this day do not know what they expect of me when I do this. It's so stupid and annoying. Let me out. Terminator, yeah, Terminator video is another one of those that was really well done. Uh, my personal favorite video though is probably still 10 years of 30 virus. It, I think that video has an unfair advantage in the fact that it's like the story of my life. I don't know like there's just a level of how special that is that it's all the meaningful moments in my life visualized for me to personally go back and look at like it's a really weird dynamic when you get to just do that <laughs> like a whole production is made about your life so yeah it's a weird dynamic but i absolutely love it i it's just so I don't know, it's just cool to have the 30 virus lore just out there like that, you know? My background, my history, what makes me tick. What my videos were like before I was famous. I'm not famous, by the way. I want to make it very clear that was a joke. <laughs> Pass some life advice in one sentence. In a single sentence? In a single sentence, that's hard. Um, I'm trying to think of how to phrase it if it's one sentence. Hmm. Life doesn't happen all at once. So try to savor the present. Don't try to prepare for your entire life all at once. You'll figure it out. Future you will figure it out. That wasn't one sentence, but that was something I still have to reassure myself constantly. You don't have to have it all figured out right now. Future you will work in your best interest, hopefully. Don't stress about the future too much. <laughs> I don't know how to phrase all of that. Like, cause the, the, the quote life doesn't, life doesn't, <laughs> the quote life doesn't happen all at once. Enjoy the present. Doesn't make any sense in isolation. In context with everything else I said, it makes sense. <laughs> future me can deal with it. Well, the thing is there's a balance, right? Because there's people that chronically think that future me can deal with it and then future them can't deal with it. And then there's people like me that are stressed about like, oh, but I didn't prepare for this thing that could happen five years from now. Like, bro, that's five years from now. You have five years to prepare for that. Stop freaking out. Just enjoy the moment. Like, geez, man. What's going on? Oh, we lost a man. Oh, it was Rexu. All right, see you, Rexu. What keeps you motivated when you have long grinds ahead of you? Uh, again, taking it one day at a time. But no, what I typically try to do is, um, at first, 
I'll look big picture, the whole scenario. For example, with farming, right? I'll look at the whole grind for what it is and I'll try to lay out the most efficient way to get the task done. And then I'll look at the overall amount of time that it'll take. For example, if it's a few hundred hours, then I'll try to like break down, okay, what's the most efficient way to not only get this task done, but to also multitask other things. So for example, farming isn't the greatest example because it's a thousand hours. Let's use what's about to happen as an example. On my to-do list right now, I basically have play dungeons until you get master stars, like at least like up to three master stars on your whole armor set and weapon. And then when derpy happens, just play all of derpy and hopefully if the math works out, you'll have Kata 50 through master mode, double Kata XP for five days straight. So I've taken a grind that normally would take months and then found like a single time frame where it's the most efficient to do and then just degen during that time. Just put the maximum possible hours in during the most efficient time to get the task done. I min max it is the that's the short answer. I min max it. I try to find a way to spend the absolute minimum amount of time to get the task done. Also, I missed a chest apparently here. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Holy moly, 30 virus. I could beat you in Fortnite. You probably can. I, I can't stand battle royales. Did you ever look smacks? I very briefly was consuming that content. I even own some Air Force Ones. <laughs> I've worn them like three times ever. But no, I don't, I don't mew. I don't, uh, what, what's looks maxing? You know, there's, there's just generally taking care of yourself and then there's looks maxing. Where's the line? Like, yes, I shower, I shave, I put gel in my hair if people are gonna see me like what what else is there like maybe add a few inches to your height sure that's what the air force ones are for i guess <laughs> mewing in that doesn't actually work yeah based on my research it, it seems like if there was an effect it's not very high and it's temporary so like nah i'm good now nah, when it comes to jawline though it's all genetics and weight so if you're skinny and don't have uh, a pronounced jaw then that is unfortunate genetics kind of did you dirty there but if you're overweight and don't have a jawline you might it might just be hidden though so i guess try to lose the weight to find out if you have a jawline <laughs> That, that was me, by the way. I didn't know I had a jawline until I lost like 60 pounds. And then suddenly I had a jawline. And I was like, huh, look at that. And then I make it more pronounced with the way I shave. You see how I, I do that? Like I shave everything under the line. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a hack there. I wouldn't call that looks maxing though. That's just my root. This is my routine at this point. Maybe it's looks maxing. Who knows what people call it specifically. You done with trophy fishing? No, not even close. I've intentionally been putting it off until I have max lava fishing speed. Is it harder to start skinny or fat in the gym? Strength wise, it's probably harder to start skinny. Progress wise, probably equal, honestly. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend the gym if you're overweight, to be completely honest with you. I'd, I'd steady state cardio, which you don't need the gym for unless you live like in the city. And even then you have, it depends where you live is the answer to that question. And find a way to get your steady state cardio in. And if you want to, 
if people want a tutorial on weight loss, I made a whole video about that. So there you go. But I don't know. Rejuvenate. Ultimate wise. Ooh. You're jumping around like you're in the hub. Well, it's because I'm not. <laughs> it, all this is happening instantly anyways. So like what difference is it making if I'm. TLDR doesn't matter. Doesn't make a difference. Where's the best place to mine coal? Technically right now, the best method to get coal is routes in the Crystal Hollows. BLC has a feature for ordered waypoints, I believe, or folders of waypoints. There's also mods like Coal Weight that have uh, waypoints that are numbered and like we'll play them one after another and there are certain communities that'll share the coordinates with you and essentially what you do is you have a bow pet you go into crystal hollows you go up to cold main number one just absolutely destroy it and then go to the next one the next one so on and it should be infinite you need to get a lot of coal <sighs> I want to start a scathe the grind. Do you have any tips? Yeah, turn off mole perk. You want perfect two by one tunnels or one by two. And I've noticed a lot of people mine on the edge of the crystal hollows for some reason like where the bedrock is i don't know why that is might not be a reason also i am skill issuing so bad with this room wrong 30 virus you need to mine in the west direction with mole why does that give you an increased chance for scathes? I've never heard of that, by the way. <sighs> it spawns from the number of hardstone blocks you break. Mole activates in that direction. That's a, with max mole perk going west. It spawns two tunnels, so more spawn chance. It spawns two tunnels. Weird. I did not know that. These chests are garbage. Well, there you go. That's the official answer, I guess. I like how in the chat he's just like, wrong, beep. <laughs> a bit dramatic, but I see why you said that. He's a bit funny. And then you ether warp back to the start and keep doing west tunnels. Hmm. There's a whole discord just for farming scathas. Damn, I didn't even know that. How do you make an account in Skyblock that's Iron Man? It's a profile that's Iron Man. So you'd have to go to the menu to start a new profile. And then in that menu, it'll have an option for what type of profile it is. And then you can put Iron Man. Ow. 
I like how I clicked once on the zombie sword and then spam click the Wand of Atonement. I am so stupid sometimes. I think my brain needs to be studied. Not because I'm like crazy intelligent or anything. Because of just how atypical my thought patterns are. <laughs> and how like consistently backwards it is with navigation. Oh my God. It's like the left side of my brain is on the right side and vice versa. The two halves have been switched and I just don't know how to deal with it. Everything is reversed. After all these years, you still play this game. I have a solo profile OG, but I quit years ago. Well, hey, I appreciate the fact that you came back. Hey, you know what? Even if you didn't, just the fact that you were there, much appreciated. Just the fact that you played a part in like the thing that pulled me out of where I was in life before all this. Yeah, I'm grinding stars out right now. You're slow is because because you keep killing unnecessary mobs. I mean, here's the thing. You're probably right. There's probably many correct criticisms that have been made about the way I play in the history of dungeons. But anyone that knows me knows that the simple fact that I'm playing dungeons is so rare in itself that like how efficient the grind is I don't know man just the fact that I'm here the fact that I showed up <laughs> is already spectacular let's not ask too much of me because it's not just my I, I can't just decide to be better like I've determined at this point it's really just this mode, I've tried for years. I've literally tried for years. This mode is just not made for people that think the way I do. It just is incompatible. It, there's nothing else, to, nothing more to it. That's it. Also, what am I doing? Bro. You want to know how discombobulated I am? My muscle memory, supposedly muscle memory, there was a thought that popped into my head. Oh, pull out the vacuum so you can press the button on where for it to tell you to go. Like literally in the middle of a dungeon. Like what? This is as far as you can get from the garden. Yet I still am craving a, a button that I press that just leads me in the direction I need to go. Oh. <laughs> uh. I think he's special, probably. There's been many little hints over the years that would lead people to believe that I'm on the spectrum somewhere. Like the texture issues with food thing is a big indicator. Apparently walking around on your toes all the time without thinking about it. Like, I don't know if you guys <laughs> can relate. I don't know if anyone can relate, but if I'm not thinking about how I walk, like how I put one foot in front of the other, I'm walking on my toes all the time. That's the default. I don't know why. I like, I don't walk flat footed. Like my, my heels never touch the floor. I don't understand why that happens. I do that too. Yeah, see, I, you see, you see, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You see chat, I'm not crazy. But apparently that's also a major indicator. Apparently even more so than the texture issues. Issues. So, you know, the, and the fact that I can barely string a sentence together half the time because I forget what I'm saying as I'm saying it. That would suggest more so ADHD than autism, but still. I definitely got something. And one of these days I want to get uh, diagnosed. 
you know, it'd be cool to, to understand what's happening behind the scenes, you know, behind the curtain. Why, <laughs> why does my brain work the way it does? Maybe you just have ADHD, ADHD like me. Well, here's, here's a case against ADHD. Caffeine works really well on me. I love caffeine. I am brought back to life when I consume caffeine. Like, <laughs> I don't know. And if you have ADHD, the common knowledge is that caffeine doesn't really work on you in the same way as it does for other people. So if the narrative were to be that 30 virus has ADHD, then by that logic, I should not have a reaction or as extreme a reaction to caffeine, no? Unless that's a myth. Might be a myth. Who knows, man? For the longest time, Fezzi thought he couldn't, or that caffeine didn't work on him, but then it turns out his sleep was just bad. So if your body doesn't have energy to give, period, it's not gonna work just ingesting caffeine. And once he fixed his sleep, suddenly caffeine worked. How much of it do you use? I typically, on a day-to-day -day basis, anywhere from like maybe 50 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. It really depends. For example, today I had a uh, Coke Zero as soon as I woke up, which is a really weird thing to do, by the way, but that's what I did, which is like 50 milligrams. But no, caffeine, I get jittery. I almost had a panic attack when I had 400 milligrams of caffeine by accident. <laughs> so I, I definitely experience the intended effects of caffeine so that would be my point against having adhd unless that's just a rumor maybe it's not true there is a genuine chance Four hundred milligrams is like three Red Bulls. I normally drink between five and six a day. That's not healthy. <laughs> Four hundred milligrams is the um, generally recommended maximum dose per day of caffeine. Yeah, tolerance is a crazy thing. I would I would try to ease off of that a little bit because. You may think it's not affecting you when you have like 600 milligrams of caffeine in a day, but it definitely is like, again, tolerance is a crazy thing. You know what sucks about most substances in general, including caffeine, including weed, including a lot of the harder stuff. What tends to happen is that let's say you take something and you haven't for at least like a month, like your tolerance is baseline. You get all the good, very little of the bad, with caffeine. And then the problem is you take it again, let's say a day later, and you haven't fully removed all the caffeine from your system from the day prior. So you've just built a little bit of tolerance, which means to feel the same way you did the first day, you have to take more. And the problem is the way you feel doesn't really change if you up the dose and your tolerance goes up, right? It's just another day, but your body is still feeling every last extra milligram that you ingest so your heart rate is just going to keep going up even if it doesn't feel like you have energy and you have low tolerance for caffeine it still will it's not it's not good for you it really isn't the response to your tolerance going insane and it not working on you anymore is to take a tolerance break not to just up up it even more you know what I mean? And again, this applies to not just caffeine, but I mean weed too. Is, I'm taking a tolerance break now. Like I'm not having any of my typical gummies for at least a month. Not at least, at least three weeks, I would say, at most a month. The intended time frame is a month. Better to cycle. I'm not officially recommending cycling drugs, okay, chat? Jeez, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's your life, do what you want to do, but I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Does weed actually help? Does it help what, specifically? Because there's things that helps, and there's things that definitely doesn't. There's things that makes worse. It really depends. Why stop? Well, because my tolerance was getting out of control and my habit was getting very expensive. When you partake in the stoner life lifestyle, if you're not careful, you, you reach a stage where every time you have weed, you're just kind of mid. You're not like high, you're just kind of like slightly entertained, which is almost worse because <laughs> you're just kind of bored expecting something to happen and it doesn't. So that, that's what was starting to happen to me. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to take a month off. You know, it's not something I need. I never have needed it, but it's not even fun. So why am I doing it? So I stop. Also, perhaps I should go for the secrets instead of trying to kill the ghost mobs. That would be smart. But what is this room? What? Is, I don't recognize any of this. Bro, what is this room? This is new, clearly. Oh, there's a route. I didn't even notice. There's a freaking route. It's right here. God, I need to use my eyes. Chest underwater? Oh, okay. It's just broken. Never mind. Yeah, this room's not going to work for me. <laughs> my mods are broken and so is my brain. So that room's not happening. What's in here? Oh. Why'd you name this name Dugans? Because that's what we're playing. I used to smoke when I was younger, but eventually quit because it was oh it's hard to get stuff that isn't laced in the uk that sucks as someone with adhd and is medicated i find caffeine sometimes works and sometimes doesn't oh interesting there are different ways how it affects the brain and body as a whole well something to do with androgen receptors right my understanding is that it just blocks the feeling of being tired. It doesn't actually give you any energy. It just makes it, it makes it way easier to ignore the fact that you're tired. Which is why the crash happens, by the way, because once the caffeine wears off, then suddenly you're like, oh, like all that tiredness that you haven't been feeling just gets shoved to the end of the the effects of the caffeine you're feeling like five hours of tired all at once that, that's that's with me though and it's it sounds to me at least from the perspective of caffeine that i'm neurotypical but in every other way all signs are pointing towards probably some low level autism probably Bro, why is it the first time I do the swap every run? Is that new? Anyone else noticing that? That when you do your ghost pick swap, the first one in every dungeon, it, it cancel or like the, the item turns back to whatever the other item was. Clear rooms, not secrets. Never. Bro. Oh.
Why is the bat <laughs> waypoint up there? And that breaks the route. Love that. Nice. Unless maybe it doesn't? No, it totally did. GG. It's because your hotbar gets updated when you swap off term getting rid of ghost pick. Because it puts the quiver flint arrows there, is that why? So if I were to... That time it just didn't even... Weird. From my experience with ADHD, neither before or after I started on meds, caffeine has ever worked. Weird. Ooh, recon. Ah. Increases cortisol and adrenaline release and stops ad adenosine recept receptors. That's what I was, yes. That sounds correct. What? How do we start talking about codeine? What? <laughs> How did that get into the conversation? Codeine is a uh, opiate, right? I don't need I don't need opiates for nothing. <laughs> Dergs. <laughs> It's good actually, Sir 30, used for kids as well. All I'm gonna say is that lean is liquid codeine and people don't recommend lean. <laughs> so. Bro, when I had my nose surgery, I think I said this like twice already. I was so afraid that the opiates they prescribed me were gonna become a problem because of my personality that midway through when I was supposed to like just be taking them on a regular basis, I flushed the pills. <laughs> I was like, I'll deal with the pain. I just don't want to risk it. <laughs> like, I don't... I don't <laughs> Lean is abused, codeine is not. No, it is. <laughs> it is. I know a concerningly large amount of information about substances. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but no, it's definitely something that people abuse a thousand percent. What did you get? I got nothing. I, I'm not... I'm not uh, prescribed nothing right now. <laughs> I, I don't, ugh. just the whole idea of opiates, I just don't want to have anything to do with it. It just seems like a really, really dangerous thing for me because I know I have an addictive personality. It's a big reason why I never started drinking. I think the big three for me to never touch in my entire life would be alcohol, opiates, and benzos i should stay the hell away from benzos as well like um like xanax <sighs> yeah no not smoking well i mean yeah i guess four that one i've always assumed i would never do I don't think... Okay, here's what I'll say. I do have an addi addicted personality, which means by definition, smoking would be a problem because of nicotine being one of the most addictive substances, period. So, yeah, that's another one I would definitely never touch.
Xanax is fine if it's prescribed and taken in, you know, acceptable doses. Sure. Here, I'm going to put in perspective, okay? This is a Minecraft stream, so, like, shut your ears for, like, 30 seconds if there's people in your vicinity. <laughs> um, I watched a video about this guy who is a poly addict, which means, you know, obviously addicted to multiple things. He had a court date that he had to be at the next morning, but it was also a raging coke addict. <laughs> And in order to get himself to go to bed, he was convinced that he could use Xanax to calm him down. That's in the same afternoon within like a half an hour of each other. I can't describe how absolutely insane and reckless and dangerous and all of the bad adjectives that is. <laughs> like there are levels of de degeneracy in drugs that we just shouldn't probably should not even talk about but no trust me like you can't just say that insert drug name here is not bad all of them can be including weed including caffeine all of it can be bad are you talking about goblin i am <laughs> yeah I have a friend, or I have a person, so you know a person that goes to my workplace has three different prescriptions for two doctors. Two's, oh my God, bro, that's bad. That's really bad. That is some, getting three different prescriptions. How does that even happen? Do hospitals not like talk to each other? Is there not like a public record, or not a public record, but is there not like a record that they could check? Damn. They abuse private doctors? Oh. I love how you're keeping it real. Well, I mean, if you think about it, right? Like, there's a reason that D.A.R.E. doesn't work. Because what D.A.R.E. does is they just go, Oh, drugs are bad. Stay away from drugs. Like, sure, that's like a good message to put out, but the problem with the message is that what's gonna happen is when you say that, and then some like middle schooler like has an older brother with a, a Xanax prescription and just pops them whenever he feels like, maybe even off prescription, and then you notice that he doesn't die, and you're like, oh, there's a bunch of crap. Even though it's not, but like you think it is because there are people in your life that haven't, you know, become, you know, crack addicts on the street with like teeth falling out, whatever, right? But like, it's still very much a risk. It's still not good. The people in your life that you're seeing that have issues, if they're still going to school, having classes, homework, and like all of this crap, like, they haven't reached the level of degeneracy yet that eventually happens to all people that like don't get off of it you know what i mean so like the only way truly to stop the drug problem would be to explain why it's good and then explain why it's not worth the negatives you know what i mean the positives are not at all worth the negatives a lot of most of the time so like once you understand the true depth of the scenario, then you can make an educated decision about it, which an educated decision would be to not partake. So there you go. And that's what I've done with myself. I, I, I know a concerning amount about pretty much all of it. So. There you go. That's why I keep it real. Because I recognize the fact that me just saying don't do drugs, kids, is not going to change anything. <laughs> and I'm not out here trying to be like, oh, I want to 
be the activist that makes the world change but you know it's just i feel a responsibility every time the topic comes up you know i don't want to contribute to the problem do zin instead no zins is just a straight shot of nicotine bro Look, I'm not going to blame someone if they're already in that world. But if you haven't started yet, stay the hell away from nicotine. Any responsible person that's addicted to nicotine can confirm that I'm saying it's not worth it. Don't get involved with it. <laughs> Too late, GG. <laughs> it has no problems. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, oh, no positives. There you go. That's what I was about to say. It's like one of the least. If you're trying to like min max, <laughs> it's just, hey, here's an addiction with barely any positive whatsoever. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm so excited. 30 go. Oh, did this party make the grave error of making me party leader? They did. Why did you do that? Why am I party leader? No, we don't know. Who did that? Who promoted me? I'm, I'm giving it back. Oh, it was looter. Oh, it was looter that left. Oh, okay. Here, I'll give it to you. You want it? <laughs> oh. Oh, here, I'll... There you go. Vaping's arguably worse. I don't think that debate is helping anybody. You know what that does? Oh, at least I'm not smoking. Like, no. <laughs> like, stop it. <laughs> that argument doesn't work. You know why? Someone could drink a beer and say, at least it's not pure ethanol. Like, yeah, it's not. But like, it's still a beer. Which, in the context of this scenario, might not be a bad thing. But if you're, like, in class, <laughs> you know, if you're in school, both can be bad, and you could choose to do neither of them. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be the buzzkill or whatever, but it just, based on everything I've heard about nicotine, it's just a, it's just a scam. <laughs> you don't... You barely feel anything, and you just feel like garbage whenever you don't have it. So, like, why would you want it in your life? The whole point of drugs is to feel good. I hate to say that out loud, but, like, let's be real here. TLDR, stay away from all of it. Not because, oh, it's all just terrible, but because, like, eventually it does just become terrible. It does. Maybe not with weed if you're responsible. And if you have it when you're young, then yes, it will ruin things for you a little bit. Maybe not even a little bit, depending on the person. I think this topic has reached its end. I think I got my point across. New topic. Hmm. <laughs> Time for Hell Divers too. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it, but it's definitely not my kind of game. It all started with coffee. What was the first? Hmm. Probably the first time I ever had any sort of drug in my system would probably be through IV when I was a young child because I was a I was not very healthy as a kid as a young young kid had some digestive problems because of deformed stuff yada yada the first time i chose to take a substance was probably it had to be caffeine had to be don't vapor smoke by your pc the vapor will be Oh, the vapor gets in the PC and it gets sticky? Ugh! That sounds awful. And, hey, that's what's happening in your lungs, too. 
<laughs> just saying. Um, same with weed, by the way. Just because it's not a cigarette doesn't mean you're not damaging your... There's a lot of negatives in that. It's still smoke. It's still not something you want in your lungs. There you go. But anyway, new topic, new topic. Do you think the air up bottles are a scam? I have one. And... It depends on the expectation. Is it juice? Does it taste like juice? No. Does it taste like just water? No. Really, all it is, is yeah, it, it does exactly what it says. It, it uses air and like smells to trick you a little bit into tasting something. There is a little bit of an actual taste. It's not just a smell, but it's so minor that like, it's like a LaCroix. It's basically a, a LaCroix, but like infinite. I, well, not infinite, actually, not even close. And once you're through like three or four bottles full of water, then the pod is already used up. It is a gimmick. I am not buying more pods. Too expensive. And I, ha I can't even tell you the last time I drank out of that bottle because I was bored. And I was like, why am I doing this when I could just drink regular water? <laughs> And expensive as hell? Yeah. I'm one of those people that needs to be reminded to drink water. When I was in my fitness phase, I didn't need to be reminded because I genuinely get thirsty like six or seven times a day. But when I'm just sitting here, I'll go like 12 hours without eating or drinking and not even notice. I don't have that problem. I'm always hungry. You know what's funny is that... Ah, oh man. I can't even say, oh, I'm always hungry or, oh, I'm not always hungry. Because I know now that that changes depending on your, your weight. Like, when I was at my peak of, like, physical health, like, 170 pounds, fully saturated with creatine, like, hitting PRs, like every time I went to the gym like it was completely different versus when I weighed like 60 pounds more you know completely different the hunger levels like right now I don't I'm at a I'm at a weight I'm at 190 by the way so I've still I'm about 20 pounds heavier now um I don't get nearly as hungry not even close I'll forget to eat Wait, did I not pick a loot chest? Am I dumb? No, I did. What's going on? Oh. Oh, there we go. We're good. Dirty bulk or clean bulk? Be at a healthy weight and go to the gym without eating junk. So clean? I think dirty bulking is really not advisable. You're not really accomplishing much because like what's going to happen is in order for a dirty bulk, in order to perform a dirty bulk, you have to, by definition, gain body fat, which is what you're trying to avoid if you're trying to hit like, okay. The only time a dirty bulk actually makes sense is bench. Because then your chest literally goes out more. <laughs> so it makes it so you have to lift the bar less height. <laughs> so from that perspective, there you go. But no, um, I would not recommend dirty bulk. Honestly, if you're just trying to look good for the ladies, I wouldn't even recommend bulking. I would just recommend get down to a weight that's healthy for your height and then go to the gym just to get toned get some muscle but not like be a monster just look healthy 
I, I've been saying this for years too. I wanna I wanna have that Spider-Man physique, you know? I wanna be like unassuming, just a guy walking on the street. But if someone were to just ask you to flex, it'd be like, oh damn. <laughs> Kinda like um Charlie Moist Critical. There was a moment like that, and I was like, oh, that's what I wanna be like. <laughs> a sleeper build? Yeah. Yeah. I want the sleeper build. I don't want to attract any attention to myself, but I want to just perform when I have to. If someone asks me if they, if they request a foot race, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, not just muscles, but cardio too. I want to be just able. It's generally a lot more fun to go through life when you feel like you weigh nothing. Like, I cannot describe in words how cool it felt after my weight loss was, like, really getting going. Like, there was a point when I lost, like, over, like, 10 pounds in a week. And I, w I literally felt the difference. I was like, holy crap. I'm like, actually, I felt nimble. Like, I could just jump around and maybe gravity wouldn't pull me back down again. Like, <laughs> that's what it felt like. It was crazy. Uh, obviously, gravity pulled me back down again, and it would have even if I weighed a half a pound. But you know what I mean. Compared to how I felt before the weight loss, and like even halfway through, I was like, bro, I, I could run a mile just because. I've dropped 155 pounds. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, like, you know you're not gonna, like, literally float away, but you feel like it. it it's very, very satisfying. One second, no problem. <clears throat> it sounds like gummies well you know it's funny that gets impacted too <laughs> your baseline tolerance actually goes down when you lose body fat so maybe once this tolerance break is over a month from now if all goes according to plan it's not just a tolerance break it's also like getting my diet back in check And all that stuff. So if I did lose another like 10, 15 pounds. Oh, I'd, <laughs> I'd feel that on top of the fact that I haven't had any recently. I would get, it's going to be a special time when I have my next gummy. That's for sure. It's going to be, <laughs> I might green out, which would honestly be refreshing considering it's, <laughs> I've been in the mid range for so long that I just want to like feel something. <laughs> it's bad, man. This is what happens when you take weed too often. Here's one of the downsides is that you just start wasting money and feeling kind of like not even entertained. <laughs> but again, let's not have the topic go back in that direction again, because it is a Minecraft stream. For a Minecraft stream, I do bring it up a weird amount. So I have to curb that. So I do apologize if that's something that makes you cringe every time it happens. Let's talk about the hotkeys you have to make Skyblock easier. I'm not a good source for that. I have one hotkey and it's my side mouse buttons and it goes to one. That is the only hotkey I have because the rest of them, I would forget to press them or not be able to accurately like press the button without looking. So I don't bother. <sighs> Do, you <use> the... <laughs> Do you use any other packs? No, just the one. I have other packs. I don't use them, though. Hmm. Garbage. You need to stop taking. It makes you so lazy that you never stream. No, that wasn't the reason I stopped streaming. It was farming. It all went back to farming. The times when I was taking the most and needed to calm the hell down was during farming. Because think about it. 
if you're obligated to sit there for 12 to 16 hours a day and do nothing but press the same two buttons, like what else are you going to do? Right? So that was the issue. And now that that's over, I can just stream. There isn't much of a need for the gummies anymore. And there never was a need. Let's be very clear. But you know what I mean? I have a condition called hyperhidrosis, which means I sweat more than other people. So I've never struggled with weight. See, that doesn't make sense. That that other half there. That does not make sense. Those are two unrelated facts. Because just sweating a lot doesn't necessarily mean you're burning calories. It just means you're getting rid of electrolytes. And water. But you're not actually getting rid of any body fat. You know, fun fact, take a guess how body fat actually leaves your body. Like what is the apparatus from which the fat leaves your body when you like work out? Like what's going on there? I know the answer, but I'm curious how many people in chat know the answer. Where does the fat go? Mm. When you sweat, you excrete fat. Nope. Using the restroom. Nope. Into muscle. Nope. The answer is breath. When you work out, and your body burns fat for energy, that excess carbon is breathed out in the form of carbon dioxide. You get the energy from breaking the bonds in your fat cells, in your adipose tissue. And then I got to do something with the extra. Crazy kid out here trolling. <laughs> it would be funny if surfaces became greasy when you lost weight. That'd be awful. That'd be so freaking gross. <laughs> Imagine just having like a mucous membrane like a frog. <laughs> Whenever you lose weight, it just comes out of your skin. Ugh. <laughs> that would be really gross. Oh, God. That would be disgusting. <laughs> now that you're Cat of 40, the hardest Skyblock achievement, you should... Go and get the last eight achievements. You can make a video about it. Only 95 people have done it ever. I'm not promising anything. I want to see what those achievements are before I commit to anything. Because I have a feeling some of them are really stupid. Can you not? I'm trying to empty my inventory. We have two necromancer brooches that we can just put there, I guess.
I was eating ice cream, you just said the mucus thing. <laughs> Yeah, that would be very gross. Did you see someone solve the Einstein's equation for relativity backwards and found a way to travel at arbitrary speeds even faster than light? I haven't heard of that. And I also don't fully comprehend what you just said. Well, I comprehend what you said, but I... Hmm. It seems a bit in the theoretical realm. I don't know how useful that is to us as a species. Also, technically, you need less master stars because you shouldn't use one on a spirit mask or a low... Floor golden head. Ooh, recon. Hello. Um, you're probably right. I wouldn't. I would definitely not put master stars on any gold helmet. Not just a low one, but none of them. Why would I do that? So, if we're being technical right now. I only need one more master star. You need LCM plus RCM <laughs> sets plus equipment. You know, I feel like people really don't get that I'm really here for business only. I don't enjoy dungeons. I don't want to spend that much time in dungeons. I'm getting everything required for the Skyblock XP and I am out. There ain't no LCM sets from this guy unless he gets really desperate for content. Which probably is going to happen, to be fair. But I don't want to think about that right now. Okay, other than class average 50, obviously. Bro, if future... Okay. Someone's going to need to clip this. This is in the event that future me gets skill average or class average 50. You couldn't get out of Skyblock, huh? You doubled down again and decided it was a good idea to make a video about the same thing you've been doing for the past three years. Just more of it. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> uh Anyways, I had to get that out. That will go into the archives. Yeah, someone's going to need to pull that up when I inevitably am like, oh, well, I guess it's time for class average 50. <laughs> oh, oh, Cryptics, thank you for the Prime sub. Oh, there's a few of them I missed. Hey, Cobra Live, thank you for the resub an hour ago. Whoops. Keep up the great work. Thing. I don't know how that just randomly happens. How I just miss it despite hearing the noise. Oh, and John4236534, thank you for the prime. And another prime from Nogurt. <laughs> It's a yogurt, but the word no instead of a Y. <laughs> this is a large room. It's 
Twitch got too many ads. Sorry, 30. Not running them. Not running them. As far as I'm aware, clicking an ad doesn't change the rates that creators get. So you don't have to. I'd, I'd suggest you don't. Unless it's something you actually want, I guess. But it doesn't make a difference to me. So do, do what you want to do, bro. I want to leave this. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Looter. We, we need to make it common knowledge that if the ads get too annoying, then Kick has none. And I think, and Kick does have subs enabled on my channel now, but not a single person has done it. <laughs> Which is a bit funny. But we gotta watch them for you to earn money. And I ain't doing that. No, you don't. No, you don't have to watch it. Just the fact that you were presented the ad means I already got paid. Like, I'm, I'm straight up telling you, you don't have to watch the ad. I'd recommend you don't, actually. It, it, the fact that it showed up and you skipped it is good enough for me. I got paid the full amount. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Rate piracy 1 through 10. What's 1 and what's 10? Like, what scale are we working with here? How much do I like it? Or how legal it is? Or how moral or immoral it is? What, what's the scale? What are we working with here? If the metric is how much I like piracy, it's the only tool we have for game preservation, which is worth noting. Um, when I was a kid, I used to pirate everything because I had no money. Nowadays, I don't do it. I, I can't even recall the last time I've been on the pirate bay, to be honest. It was <laughs> years. Mainly because that website in particular, I, I don't trust. It's just nothing but government honeypots, probably. I think it's a good tool for use in game preservation and if you're a young child and can't pay for it anyways and it's like a video game then it's not the end of the world i'm not gonna tell you to go and pirate stuff but i mean it's what i did <laughs> being honest i'd give it like a uh, but the problem is with piracy right is when i become a game developer hopefully within the next few years and actually have a game out there that people can buy i probably wouldn't be happy with piracy on my own games but i should probably acknowledge that they people that pirate my game probably wouldn't have been players anyway if that makes sense so as long as i keep that in mind overall six out of ten maybe in terms of the morality who the hell cares, bro? Just just download it. <laughs> it's a... Uh, uh, bro. It is what it is. Most pirated games have malware. That's the other thing, right? Yeah. How many thousands of hours have you played Hypixel? Because I don't know if I should be scared. Well... <laughs> Just in Skyblock, I have over 10,000 hours. And I played quite a bit of Bed Wars before Skyblock came out. So, uh... Minimum 1,200 hours on Hypixel. Minimum. I'm at, like... Aren't I over 400 stars in Bed Wars? Even now, like, still... Well, obviously, even now. It's not like I got wiped. But you know what I mean. I have a lot of stars in Bed Wars. Oh, chat, would you look at that? We got sub two minutes right there. <laughs> we just got a minute, 55 seconds. Hello. That's... That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Holy crap. Sub two for an M3. Hmm. Bitchy. 
<sighs> check, check leaderboard. We're using 1% power 30. What is the record? I don't know why I paid 100k for a brooch, by the way. That was kind of dumb. Me watching your stream brought me my second precious pearl after 190 runs. Very good. RNG Radius doing some good work over here. See, this is the unspoken benefit of subscribing to 30 buyers. Is that suddenly you just have like RNG. Things, weird stuff. Ah, okay. All right, you, you little crap. Rare events just start happening. Whenever you interact with my content. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hades223, congratulations. You are the first ever kick subscriber. My first one. This is a monumentous moment, or maybe not. We'll see. We'll see where the platform's going. But hey, there you go. This is the first ever one. And you know what's cool? I get 95% of that. 95. No other platform does that. I was going to be your first one, but it didn't let me. <laughs> oh, 21 Tactic. Thank you for the T1 sub on Twitch. And Cryptics. Thank you for that Prime sub. So many subs right now. Holy crap. We're only five away from the, uh, the, the goal on Twitch here. Why did this song just go, woo? I don't like having vocals in my music. I am partner on Twitch, yeah. No vocals? Yeah, no, I don't like vocals in music. There are a few exceptions. I have a subscription on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. Hell yeah. Collecting one of each. Probably not the most economical decision, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Songs are just sped up yapping. <laughs> Actually, it's the opposite. Usually it's drawn out. Like, it's words that they have to, like, if it's bad music, they'll stretch it an extra syllable. God. You know what the first example that popped into my mind was? How bad can it be? Like, oh my god. One of the worst songs I ever had to sit through in my entire life. And I was in a theater, too, with the Lorax. I... Bro, I couldn't skip it. I skip every song in movies that's like just the character singing, like Disney movies, whatever. But I couldn't skip this one. Bro, this is the worst. I hate it so much. The Lorax was a good movie. What do you mean? No, that song. It was the cringiest, most. Oh, I, I felt embarrassed to be in the theater. It was terrible. You know when you get that chill? in your back and like the back of your neck out of cringe like I suffered through like 10 minutes of that because of that stupid song <laughs> this is awful also why is the item not okay Mr. Fun Police hey I'm not policing anybody on what content they watch I'm just saying for me it was torture although I definitely wouldn't mind if movies had less singing in them overall that actually that make my movie going experience a lot better but i recognize i am not a representation of the market as a whole so movie studios do what you want actually don't do what you want because live action remakes are absolute trash and they should never be done now obviously there are a few that were good but overall i hate it Oh, 
Oh. How do you not see a big flashing full inventory message on your screen? And don't ask. I, you know, if I had an answer, I would tell you. I didn't even notice until you said that. You saying that in the chat is what clued me in. That's bad. <laughs> oh my God. It was there for like minutes. Again, not my proudest moment. Should probably buy arrows, you know? There you go. Check the last achievements in the nether star in your player skull. It's the diamond. Ah. Next time we downtime, I'll look at it. Wonder how we've been doing with Kata XP. Are we making like any progress here? Probably not. Eh. Got about half a level today. That's not the worst, I suppose. Does this one tap? Nope. No, it doesn't. Am I like stupid? <gasps> what is going on with the mini map? Wait, chat, look. What am I seeing right now? What is that? What? Ugh. That's gross. The minimap. Oh. That's odd. That's not normal. Nice map. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to clip that for Soupy. <laughs> what the hell was that? Did you see the song they cut from the Lorax? <sighs> it was too anti Megacorp, so it got cut by the Megacorp that's making the movie. That sounds incredible. <laughs> it sounds like capitalism. What do you think about Balpet Nerf? Check my Twitter. I already... I've listed too many things to say it all again out loud again. I said again twice. Very good. What's the best money-making method with a Hyperion on Iron Man? Uh, I don't know. Money-making methods are typically not with hype. I guess technically... I don't know. I don't have an answer. Typically, money grinding is not just a Hyperion thing. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the best money making methods right now are Kudra, which uses a lot of things, not just Hyperion. Um, obviously, mining, which doesn't use a Hyperion. Farming, which doesn't use a Hyperion. Uh, flipping, which requires nothing. Rift, which you can't use hype. I don't know. <laughs> Killing zealot bruisers, I guess. I don't know. I, I I would recommend getting better gear specifically for making money. Can't flip on Iron Man. I know, but I'm just saying. I, I mentioned Kudra. That doesn't make any money on Iron Man. Because you can't sell anything. If anything, it costs money because keys...
chest is locked. Beautiful. Sorry if I'm not talking, this room is just awful and I have to actually think for a minute. There we go. Do you want me to copy paste all my past questions? I do see them in the combined chat. I can't scroll up though, that's the problem. So like, if it's an old message, I won't see it. But I do see kick chat. Let me see. Uh, the profile I spent so much time on. The main, wait. A 30 my profile I spent so much time on isn't on the main Hypixel, but on the alpha server? That doesn't make any sense. What? Is, so you're telling me when you log into Hypixel, your main profile doesn't show up, but when you log on the alpha network, it does? Because that's really strange. I've never heard of that. I logged in and it's gone. I have never heard of that. That is really weird. Definitely open a support ticket on that one. <laughs> Uh, that's weird. I've never heard of that before. Which is scary because it means like you might have got wiped in some way. But the fact that it's on Alpha. Yeah, that's odd. That's very odd. I would definitely look into that. I would be concerned if I was you. And I'm not trying to scare you, but like, yeah, that's... That's weird. Hopefully things work out is what I'm going to say. Want to see my first ever, ah, first ever wild strawberry die. Um, typically on stream, I try not to downtime like that. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal, but it's just kind of how I do things. Ow. My account got banned for suspicious activity. That's the best ban reason you can have, is it not? Security ban? Isn't that a security ban? Typically, if it's a security ban, you just appeal it and then it gets auto approved essentially. So would recommend if that is the reason. Oh, I actually did the thing. Would you look at me? I don't know why I'm trying to do all that crap when I'm already done with the secrets in that room. It's one of the worst. It means you got hacked or something. Well, no, logged in from another location is the one that you need to be afraid of. That's not a ban reason. That's just a thing you see. I got the founder tag. Can you add a kick command with link? I probably should do that. Here, you know what? I'll add it to Nightbot. So we have Nightbot on both chats, right? And while I'm here, I might as well get rid of that command for the stupid <laughs> mods link that is like literally four years out of date. I just got another adaptive chest, please. 
bunch of garbage here. Okay. Uh, let's go to commands. And then we get rid of the one for mods. Did we already, we already got the loot. Oh my God, there's so many. Oh, there's like 50 of them. What the? Ooh. There's some of these I don't even know about. There's so many. You know what? Let's not get rid of that other one because I'm not going to. Oh, he walked through the wall. Nice. <laughs> This gives me time to do this. Uh, command, and it would be at kick, or exclamation point kick. Uh, follow 30 virus on kick. Um, where there are no ads and a 95 five sub split. Let's make sure the link works as I typed it. It should. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't. It does. And submit. There you go. Now Nightbot should have a kick command. So whenever somebody complains about ads, that's a good command to use. And everybody can use it, by the way, not just staff. So there you go. I should probably make sure it works in the YouTube chat as well. Can someone test that? Because I know it works on Twitch now. Why am I wandering? Oh, here we go. Should probably start actually going for secrets. <laughs> and then like seven people type the command. Yeah, that might have overwhelmed it if it is listening. No, I don't think it's working. So here's the question. Integrations, here we go. Oh no, Discord only. I have to I have to re-add Nightbot to the YouTube chat, I believe. We have Botrix there. <laughs> Maybe I should set Botrix up with all the Nightbot commands. Perhaps it'll be an upgrade. Dirty, do you have an email? I want to send you some screenshots so you see what I mean. Uh, the media channel on my Discord, or you can open a ticket. I try not to use my email for anything that isn't strictly business. Otherwise, it just kind of muddy, muddies everything up. Hey, second sub. Oh, who was it? The Inkiest. Thank you for the, the kick sub. Hey. What's your luckiest RNG in this profile? It was probably that time I dropped a Chimera book, Antique Remedies, Plushie, and a fourth thing all at the same time. That was from one inquiz. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't... The chances I've calculated, it's, at least in the US, more rare than winning the lottery. So... Here, I'll put it on my to-do list to set bot ricks up with all the commands. Um, use it in place of all existing chatbots. I think we can get bot ricks working as just the bot for the channel channels since we have multiple platforms. It does seem like just a better version of Nightbot right now. 
three more subs and he goes mauled. No. No. That happened? Yeah, it did. Probably the second rarest thing that ever happened to me was seeing a dark purple die in my dark auction. I could have afforded it too if I really wanted to buy one. I looked it up. The chance of dark purple die is like insane. Like the number is extremely low. But what makes that even more ridiculous is the fact that you're only rolling for the chance of a die like in a dark auction lobby which happens once per hour so you're not rolling for chances very often whereas something like the inquis kill you probably get an inquis like a few times an hour and like if you're in a party more often than that even but like no the dark purple die was very very rare I dropped a phoenix on my solo profile, an epic one. Warden Heart on my fifth ever T5 on this profile is also worth noting. Those are probably the rarest things that ever happened to me on this profile. Unless someone could think of something even crazier, but I think that was it. It was definitely the four drops and one kill. Like, I've never seen that before. It was ridiculous. Bro, why? Why am I getting hit 17 times a second? I don't like this room. Skate the kill eight. Skate the pet eight kills 37 magic find. That is also true. That is a thing that happened to me. I don't like this room, man. It's hard to navigate. I don't know where anything is. The bat? Where's the bat? How am I supposed to even. Is there like a hole here? There is. Or back to back with the shield and handle? Well, it's not literally back to back. They're. Nah, I wouldn't consider that, like, crazy RNG carried. What's a good all-round early game weapon to go for? Aurora Staff. Voodoo Doll. Early mage weapons are just stupid OP for how early you get them. You do so much damage. No dupe scrolls, though? I'm pretty sure I got a dupe scroll. No, I definitely got a dupe scroll. I remember this. I clipped it. I definitely got a dupe scroll. I don't believe I took it. You got dupe shadow warp. If I did take it, I don't know where it is. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember where I put it if I did get it. Am I getting attacked after the fight's over? Out of here. What's harder, M1 or floor seven? Depends on your cattle level. It's easier than floor seven, M1. If you have the stats for it, it's way faster. But if you don't have good cattle level, then you might just die. <laughs> I would say probably overall M1. Oh, my leg is like cramping right now. Ow. I subbed on Switch for three months too and you missed it? Oh, that's my bad. Hey, I'll take your word for it, the Inkiest. I do recognize your name, so I think I've seen it in the feed um thank you for that though 21 tactic thank you for the t1 prime or t1 prime that's not a thing t1 twitch sub <laughs> crazy thank you for the doll the one dollar on um stream labs hey 30 what do you think about val pet nerf again it's on my twitter it's on my twitter 
twitter.com slash dirty virus. I wonder why it's an exclamation point and not a dash like every other command prompt system. Why is that? What made all these YouTube chat bots pick? What made these creators pick an exclamation point as the symbol for a command? Is there a bat there? We're doubling up on this room. But it appears I'm the one that's getting most of the secrets. That was a cool little trick right there. Stream end when? I don't know. Since I'm done farming, I don't really have... My entire ritual is completely different now. What I used to do is I would just try to be productive all day. And then towards the end of the day, I would just eat a gummy and then just sit here and watch YouTube videos or movies or whatever. And then... um just farm <laughs> that was my ritual for the longest time that's why that's why i said farming was the problem because that's really the whole reason i really bothered with the gummies for a while i don't know it was because i was forced to be here for like literally a thousand hours so how do i make it the least awful you know Looking back, I would have benefited a lot from just taking my laptop, plot, plopping it here, press two buttons on that, and then use my PC as a regular PC. But just with one hand, so maybe I would, I don't know. Or I could just foot farm, have a foot pedal, just like Fearless does, or did. Oh, hey, first master star. Let's go. Here, hold on, I need to empty my inventory. First Master Star, GG. You should have done foot pedals. Well, he did get in trouble for it, so I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have. Either way, it's over. We don't have to think about it anymore. Hmm. Six recons, huh? That's not bad. It's about 10% of the way, a little less than 10% of the way to recomming my entire accessory bag. Which is a, a goal of mine. Oh, another fuming. Might have to start uh, doing this. There we go. Why are you streaming so late? I've been live for like... How long? I've been live for 5 hours and it's 6 p.m. I started this at 1 p.m. That is not late at all. That is midday. Oh my god, this room. I don't like this room. Why are you forcing me to do this room again for the fifth time today? Locked. Very good. What's the max powder you need? Im Hotten 7 with 4 meters Mithril and 1 meter gemstone. How much do I need for max? God. Brian just jump scares me every freaking time now. <laughs> Thank you for the 5 the inky. Oh my god. Jump scared the hell out of me. <laughs> no, it's not your bad. It's designed to do that. That is the whole point. Like, <laughs> I did that on purpose. You are fine. It is a bit funny getting jump scared by Brian. What is the max powder you need? Uh, well, for Skyblock XP, the max is 20 mil gemstone, 12 and a half mil mithril, and then another 20 mil for glacite now. 
I'm hard of the mountain seven with four mil, mithril one mil gemstone. Yeah, you got a long way to go. If you want my advice for um, powder grinding, I mean, it kind of goes without saying at this point, but like get mole perk and great explorer, max those both out and then just open every single loot chest. Like just go into the crystal hollows and just dig into the hard stone. Just constantly until max powder. It's, it's pretty simple. You also get a lot of gold and diamond essence, which is nice too. What's a good game you like that's not Minecraft? Let's see if I can think of one I haven't said on stream before. I feel like a broken record now. It's like, I have like a, a bunch of things I always say every single time someone asks. Uh, what's a different game that I like that I haven't said before? Um, hmm. I don't play a lot of games. <laughs> that's the problem. Like we, uh, like that could probably list all the games i've brought up before already 31 of m4 i i need one more master star i believe i could check oh hold on actually oh hold on wait i just realized we have three master stars and we're not putting one on the spear mask right and and this is the go-to setup for the catacombs right even as like a doing what i'm doing i should clarify as just general terminator running around shooting things it's max or boots necron leggings necron chest plate or what also I'm reducing the damage you take by from weathers increases your arrow damage would it be better to... i don't know is this Do you? You're so smart brain, I asked you. But Chad, I need your assistance. Is this my loadout minus the spirit mask? Obviously, it'd be a golden head for whatever floor. Yeah, I'm not going to spirit. I'm not going to put stars in my spirit scepter. So this is good. No changes required. This is the dungeon set for Terminator for me, except for the helmet. Or should I look into max or leggings? Or is that just not a thing people do? I don't know. Because arrow damage, right? So maybe that helps in some way. I'm not sure. I don't know why. I'm just being such an idiot then. No max or leggings. So, so this is the loadout. Therefore, we can start doing M4, right? I wish I could lock the wheels on this chair because they keep on sliding away over time. It's kind of annoying. Now, here's a question. How much more damage would I be doing if I had Necron boots and, uh, and just put all my tuning points in speed? I don't know. How much speed is this giving me? Ooh, that's a lot, actually. It's giving me, like, half of my speed. That might not be doable. I don't know. So I think we could do um, M4s, yes. We can. Uh, let's start doing M4s then. Why not? Well, actually, let me really quickly. I want to check my collections, boss collections. Did I already? I already redeemed that. Okay, so the only. Okay, we don't have to worry about milestones. The next one's literally a thousand. <laughs> so we're fine. Or M2. Yeah, but we need the Master Stars. And Cata XP, to be honest. 
I feel like <laughs> I'll die a lot less during Derpy if I have a, an extra cat level or two before we start. Thirty, you don't need to do that. It's only for people that arch in M7. I don't know what you're talking about. You talking about Necron boots? Gyro and no Florid Sword to get Wither Cloak for Shadow Assassins? I mean, I guess. Mo uh, I don't know. I'm guessing we're trying to figure out who's next party member. <sighs> Where does it have achievements again? It's somewhere in this menu. Quest log. They're in here somewhere. Oh, wait. There it is. What am I missing? I have all of these. Oh, would you look at that? They're all secret, so I have no idea. Nice. Oh, here we go. There's a few of them that I can read. And I didn't have time to read it. I haven't gotten a definitive answer. Do people use Necron boots in dungeons? I need to know this before we apply any master stores. Is this a piece of equipment I'm going to need in the future? The, the Necron boots. Sometimes. I don't think so. Okay. Pretty sure it's only Archer M7. Well, here's the problem. I play an Archer, and at some point I'm going to have to play M7. So you see what I mean? <laughs> That's why I'm like, well, uh, maybe I do need it. I don't know. Bro, the mask popped already? I didn't even notice I was low the hell god i hate this room just where's the stupid door give me an exit i want to leave i want to leave i want to progress to some place other than here where's the door let me out thank you you know what we really need we need a skyblock version of chorus fruit just teleport me anywhere but here. I know why. We're not getting that. We're never getting that. That would be so easy to exploit with. Oh my god. It'd be glorious. But no. Can you not be annoying? When you downtime, can you look at my Discord ticket? I can't promise I can help you at all. Like I said, it's something I've never even seen, and I'm not staff on Hypixel. I don't I don't have I don't have the ability to help you. So the best I really could do is just be like, damn bro, that's crazy. Like <laughs> I, I wish I could help, but I'm not in the position where I could really do anything. Also, is this? 
Oh, we're just showing the right room. Okay. I was pretty confused. What's your Discord server? Discord.gg slash 30 virus with one S. There's another one that has two S's and they scam and rat people. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's very annoying, actually. I, I would very much like to get rid of them, but Discord's kind of dumb. And they don't do anything about it. <sighs> yeah, now is when things get interesting. M4 is where we get a lot of items that apply with our work in progress section. There's like three items in museum that we need. Wow, I just ran into that crowd and immediately pretty much died if I didn't have spirit mask. Is spiritual better than hasty? I think it depends on the situation, doesn't it? I'm trying to think of anything else that I need. It's like three museum slots and then what else? Is it just museum slots? It might be. Oh no, it's second master star, right? That's why we're here. <laughs> I knew that. Because I'm freaking out and it's not letting me sleep, I just need you to need to show you because I can't right now. I mean, I can look, but again, I, I, I get it. It is a stressful situation. I just don't know how to help you, which is really sad. But man, Hypixel really needs to do something about this. Like they say, oh, we can't help you because prototype game. It's been a prototype game for five years. I don't think you can use that excuse anymore. <laughs> there, there comes a point when it's like, okay, at this point, if you don't want to help your players, just say it. Like. <laughs> S plus. And then we just immediately get a recom. Let's go. And a spirit bone. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, I did. Sure, I guess. Hello, RNG. Literally, RNG care. <laughs> oh. That is beautiful right there. <laughs> How many spirit bones do I need? You need five for the bone meringue. You need five for the sword. Two for the necklace. Wait, should I make the necklace? I should probably make the necklace, no? I'm, I'm too lazy to do that right now. We'll do that after the fact. So we need 10 then, 10 of them. Not bad. Do we have two whole pages of enchant books? We do. Ugh. It's gonna be annoying to go through. Don't you need more for Bone Reaver? Maybe. Probably. We have plenty of M4s to do. I'm not concerned about the chances of spirit bones. What are we doing?
Oh. I should probably look at the. Alright, Mr. Hades, I can see your screenshots. Profile Strawberry. Mining level six, combat and farming five, wearing mineral armor. The profile is three months old. That's all I'm seeing right now in the first screenshot. Second screenshot. And then, yeah, that's an actual profile. Orange with like, oh, that's combat 60, mining 60, enchanting 60, taming 50, 51. Yeah. And that's only on alpha. That's very strange. I would make a forum post about that. That might be unique and novel enough that it gets the attention of forum people. Yeah, if you just post saying something like, my profile is only showing up on alpha, That'll probably get some attention. <laughs> That's very strange. Have you seen the Discord 32-bit thing? No, what happened? 32-bit thing. What is Discord gonna stop supporting 32-bit or something? And just be 64? That's my guess, I have no idea. All right, so what is this garbage it wanted me to do last time? It wanted me to teleport like this. Bro, that's like literally not even what they told me to Okay, I did it, but only because I went, like, a way that they didn't tell me to do. <laughs> oh my god, the skull gets in your face and it's so annoying. Okay, I get it now. It's just finicky. What the hell is going on? Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is a crazy route, by the way. Yeah, this route is ridiculous. Like, what am I even watching right now? This is crazy. And I'm missing one. Well, we got eight out of nine. That's good enough. It's Paul. Why don't you use the slow hitting mod? I never understood that crap. I mean, it's not like terrible, but like, why bother? What? Anyway? No way this dude didn't just go to Centauri and max all the skills. Well, no, it's it's a different profile. The other the one is called Strawberry, the other's called Orange. And it's wearing Storm Armor, three fourths of Wither goggles. Yeah, I'm just I've never <laughs> Some yawn was a bad sign. I've never seen that before. How'd you start accepting your visitors for garden? Like how many hours did you farm per crop to max them? 
my process was pretty much i would just i would see a visitor see what they want and then go farm it and then eventually there'd be a little extra after i've served the visitor and what i'll do is i'll i just built up enough extra that i would have like roughly i don't know 10 visitors worth of every single crop and then once i got there then i started just getting a ridiculous amount of each crop one by one while the balances of the other crops would drop slowly but eventually it got to the point where i had like ten thousand enchanted of every single crop and like over two stacks of the double enchanted variant and i just had enough to serve every visitor and then i maxed kane yeah <laughs> And then I had to redo that process because I absolutely completely ran out of crops that were not cane because of the spaceman process. I like how opening the chest forces the door open. <laughs> That's a bit funny. It's like the game knows you did something wrong. Wait, what? Oh, that's supposed to... Oh, I see. Spirit mask popped. Unfortunate. He can't learn. Nope. Not about dungeons. I'm a quick learner with most other things, but man... I've said this already. It's the perfect cocktail of things that I'm bad at. <laughs> Dungeons, that is. It's just... It is scientifically... Proven. <laughs> no. No, they went through a process, man. It's like... What game mechanics mesh together in just the absolute worst way for someone that can't navigate? How screwed would you be if secret waypoints and routes weren't a thing? Well, I just want to play dungeons. <laughs> I mean, I barely play dungeons as it is. Do so you think I'd even play it at all? <laughs> Gauntlet of Contagion OP. I just got rend too. Is that any good? Hey chat, is rend rare? I mean, I know it's not really the greatest. There's like bugs associated with it that could do damage, but like, no. We lost a man. Are we losing two people? Oh no. Hey chat, um. If you would like to join the party, now's the time to say something. Might have to turn on all invite in the party settings, whoever's host. Better not be me, it's not me. All invite is on.
We need one more. Also keep in mind this is M4, Master Mode Floor 4. So I'd say minimum like cat of 40, 38 maybe. Did you know I used air keys for WASD? I do recall you saying that, Looter, and that is unhinged behavior. Oh, dog pirate underscore O2. Thank you for the prime sub. Thirty crazy man. What? What you talking about? That's no. Hades, what are you talking about? <laughs> you hit the goal? Oh, we did. Look at that. Now, like I said, it's not really like the goal because we're just getting back to where I'm supposed to be because I haven't been streaming. So, um, I would even say around 350 is where we actually were. So, let's set that as the goal. 350 is where we literally were before this. So, let's do that. There we go. So 350 is going to get us to where we're supposed to be. And then after that, it's going to be like, okay, like we need goals then from that point. Which, by the way, I don't want to discount so much sub. 250 people using a sub on my channel is absolutely ridiculous. That's a good chunk of change that I could spend on something, all right? So I don't want people to think, oh, he's so greedy. He's not going to do anything if it's below 500 subs. Like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You didn't change the text? No, I changed it in um, stream labels. Maybe I have to refresh it. Once it refreshes, it, it will fix it in like a few minutes. It doesn't change immediately with stream labels. All right. Last time I tried this, chat said I was just doing it wrong. I was. Very good. <laughs> well, there goes that mystery. <laughs> I was wrong. Nice. Ooh, that's kind of sick, actually. What the hell? Oh, my God. Routes are just one of the greatest things ever. Bro, what even was that? That was sick. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, it broke because my teammate's also here. Ether Warp is such a good item. It's such a good ability. It gets you unstuck, and I, I love it for that, because that's one of the biggest problems with Minecraft, especially in the older versions, is getting stuck. Post is made. I'm really hoping I can get help. Otherwise, I'll never play Hypixel again. That was way too much time to spend on it. To lose to a bug? I mean, I absolutely agree. <laughs> like, damn. I really hope they actually do something, but I, I can't turn the tide at all. Why do you waste your time killing use of spider? Be scary. No. <laughs> 5k hours is a lot. Yeah, that's more than I have on this profile right now. I mean, barely over, but still. I mean, this profile has been the last two years of my life, pretty much. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, it's a... It's a lot. It's like a third of my time in the past two years. Like, literally a third of my time. I mean... You could figure out that math if you wanted to figure out the actual percentage. It's probably an average of like eight hours a day or something like that. I think the average was like six to eight hours, including the days I didn't play. Like literally every single day since this profile has started. On average, it was like six to eight. 
seven days a week. My profile is twice as old and you got more hours than me, but I have more skyblock levels. <laughs> For now. For now, you do. My global ranking has been in shambles because of the Glacite Tunnels update. But what people are not realizing is the second I catch up to everybody else in that front, I'm going to be way more ahead <laughs> than where I was pre-update. Because now I have Max Garden. We're going to get a ton of XP from Catacombs related stuff. Like just the Essence we've been getting too. We probably have like a level worth of Essence waiting for us after... Well, after Derpy's over, it might be a few levels of just the Essence. 30, I'm 20 levels ahead. Nuh-uh. Bro, it's like 14 whole levels I can get from the farming update. That's a that's a large amount of your lead immediately murdered. <laughs> Why haven't you tried the max play set yet? Because I wanted to max farming. It was personal. Oh, what's up, Zach? What have you gotten today? Uh, of the drops that matter, uh, this. Not bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. So far, past five hours. Not bad. Yeah, it's all right. Gonna need a lot more if I want to max my, uh, or recom all my talismans. I did the math. There was like 65 or so left. Something like that. It's a lot. I'm hoping to make a, uh, a video out of 1500 MP. Ooh. Hey, another vitamin death. I mean, one more. And then we have 12 skyblock XP right there. Okay. Don't kill me. Let me put this away. Oh, thank you for the five hammer. I saw it. No, I saw your chat message and you were, I see it. <clears throat> thank you for the five. The entire time I played Skyblock, I've never used any mods. So I have every room and route memorized. <laughs> also Rip, I wanted to join party. Hey, I mean, considering the turnover rate of this party, it won't be long before a slot opens again. Can you add extra mods to BLC? No. That's because it has a built-in anti-cheat and it can't verify how legit the mods are that you would add. That's the reason I was told. Makes sense. They removed the anti-cheat? Wait, really? When was this? It must have been ages ago. I haven't heard anything about that. Look at all the orbs that are just floating as we're <laughs> taking pot shots at the, <laughs> at the chickens as they float down. It's kind of funny.
If another slot opens and you're fine with the Kata 34. Ooh. These are M4s, my guy. You would not survive. Well, maybe you would survive, but you would struggle. To speak nothing of your skills, like just Kata level alone. That's going to make it very difficult. <laughs> 30, you don't even survive. What do you mean? I haven't, I haven't died. I popped the spear mask like a hundred times, but that's why I'm wearing one. <laughs> I guess. You know, I, I technically haven't died, I don't think, so far. In the whole five hours we've been doing this, I don't think I've needed to punch a fairy. The spear mask is just goaded. Oh, that's what Ether Warp's about. That's not a chest. I knew that. I started my profile a week before your Iron Man. So I would say that's a little bit of time. And I'm surprised I won't start a YouTube channel, but my social awkwardness makes it hard to talk to people, even to a camera. I mean, that was me too, same. It's a skill, learning how to talk. I was never very good at it. And even now I'm not the greatest, but at least whenever I do talk, I'm <laughs> capable of making it sound like I know what I'm saying. Even though I'm totally just making it up as the sentence is leaving my mouth. <laughs> Which is, I'm assuming, how most people are. Maybe not. Maybe you think through your whole sentence before you say it. That's an interesting question, actually. How many of you think, like, literally before you speak? Like, you cannot say the sentence until you figured out the whole thing first. Is that like, I don't know. I feel like that's just not how people think. They probably are improving midway through the sentence. Are they not? Or maybe you just don't think about it and you just talk <laughs> I've been talking for 20 years depends on the situation that's fair Give me a test drive if I'm bad, kick me. Well, I'm just straight up telling you, the Kata 34 would not work for M4, it just won't. <laughs> like, it's just, it doesn't matter how good your gear is. If you're at Kata 34, you're gonna struggle. Thoughts of the confirmed Hytale release next summer? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be real great. I would be one of the first people to know if Hytale announced a release date. Do you know how many people would be in my DMs, like, screaming, It's finally here! Like, bro. It would be... I would not even be able to see my servers. There would be so many DMs coming in. Like... The entire monitor's height taken up by notifications of people just going, it's finally here. Am I dying? Who? Where the hell am I taking damage from? What? What is this? 
I was just minding my business. I'm just gonna walk in here like a normal person. Figuring out that cheese would take far longer than just walking in. There we go. Do I get hype or term first? It depends how much you value master mode and Kudra. I would probably say, as much as I love the Hyperion, you straight up just can't participate without a Terminator. I think being able to participate is more important than just liking an item. <laughs> this chest is already... Oh, it's six out of six. I knew that. Isn't hype like extremely useful for getting E-Man 7? I got E-Man 9 without having a Hyperion. As a matter of fact, I dropped three cores before having a Hyperion. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's not necessary. It might help a lot if you try to one-shot, but based on some things I'm hearing, that isn't possible on the alpha server right now. Or, hold on. According to some things I'm hearing on the alpha server, you can't phase skip. There you go. Or something like that. It, it like wastes an extra two seconds per phase or something, something. I don't know. Something's happening that changed the way the game works under the hood. And now you can't phase skip an E-Man or something. I don't know. Well, I gotta go for a bit. Be back in a few hours. Have a good one. Yeah, good luck, man. I know it's stressful. I'd be borderline emotional if I lost my profile. <laughs> so. I find it really funny how the people in chat are like, Cheaters, we need a replay. <laughs> when, like, we literally are, like, stun locking it, which is not intended, so technically we're cheating. <laughs> You can't phase skip at least easily on alpha right now because it's derpy. I got the messages about that like a few days ago though. I don't know if that's, I don't know. I got a fuming. Oh, someone got a spirit wing. <coughs> Do you need that for anything other than spirit scepter by the way? Spirit wing? Or should I just not bother? I did get all my first Master Stars, yep. It's for selling on Bazaar. Oh, I'm not talking about uh, you. I'm talking about me. Bone Necklace? Oh. So I'll get one if I see it then. Thought I heard something. And Felthorn, I think. You need spirit bones for that. I don't know about the wings. Oh, hype kind of works a little bit. <laughs>
Okay. That was odd. That was the Creeper minigame display. Are you doing the secrets in this room? You are. In that case, I should leave. You can bomb cheese? Yeah, why? It's not that hard. Dirty accidentally toggling cheats. Oh no, expose. How do I get the sheep as a visitor? You have to finish the entire um, countdown from 5,000 or whatever he does. Unless they changed that recently. I heard they changed the requirement for when you get the contact. I'm not sure. I had to reset my PC and forgot my Minecraft email's password. There's gotta be a way to get it. Well, no, you could just... Do you have a backup email that you can send a code to or... There's gotta be something you could do to get that account back. Then again, it's Microsoft and they're notoriously bad. Ow. The, a chicken mine exploded, hitting you for 400,000 damage. Very good. Do you remember playing Subnautica? Of course I do. I have a very good memory when things actually make their way into my brain. It's questionable my ability to absorb knowledge like in one ear out the other, but once it's in there, I've, I've got some pretty good memory. These books kind of suck. Not going to lie. I like this song. I tried, it said that my verification was my old phone number. So I had to try the don't have access, fill out a bunch of stuff for an appeal, but it's Microsoft. Yeah. I am so glad that I'm the type of person that just doesn't swap things constantly. <laughs> like, I don't know. When it comes to like my account access, I, the only time I ever fully permanently lost access to an account was my first Google account. Like 30 virus at gmail.com used to be a thing and now it's not. I lost access. So to this day, if you do youtube.com slash 30 virus one, then it will lead to my channel. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. You can just do that? Oh my god, these routes are amazing. Oh man. That's just dumb.
Could you just email the Google admins to get it back? The Google admins. I mean, I did ask my YouTube partner manager at one point. He was like, yeah, that account's gone. I mean, I lost access to it literally like 14 years ago, chat. 13 and a half years ago. I don't think you understand how long ago this happened. I've been 30 virus one ever since I've been 30 virus on the internet, at least. My Xbox account is older than 30 virus one, but that's about it. I like how they're asking why carries when I can literally like destroy whatever mobs I feel like on this floor in like two shots, one shot in that case. This isn't a carry, I'm just trying to be an entertaining streamer and talk to my chat while playing dungeons. It's not an easy task, trust me. Something's gonna suffer. <laughs> This loot is garbage. I did, I do have hype, it's right here. How haven't they fixed thorn stun? I feel like there's a bunch of bugs in this game that should just never get patched and that's one of them. At this point, it's just part of the meta. Somewhere out there is <laughs> little me doing skits with Minecraft plushies. Lost access to that account and forgot my username. Forgot your username. Oh, that's the last one. GG. That's nine vitamin death. Let's go. Oh my God. That's so many slots that are free in my under chest forever now. Mm, delicious. I'll redeem that after the fact with everything else. Now we don't need vitamin death no more. Now, what are you expected to do here? Oh, that I see. Wasn't it? Wait. Was that chest already open? What? That's another thing I've never seen before. The chest was literally already open and I opened it again to get the... How does that work? How does that work? The chest was already open and then I opened it a second time and actually got the secret. <laughs> what the hell? It is odd. It is very strange. How long did five Silex take? Not long. It's like two days, three days. Which in Skyblock time is not long. It's very straightforward process. Could you check Thorn Boss Collection? True. We need um, 
13 more runs of master mode and then we get the next one i've already forgotten what the award is <laughs> Are you doing dailies for Heart of the Mountain? Yeah. Yeah. I predict by the time Derpy's over, I'll have Heart of the Mountain 10. Just from dailies. Ooh. Maybe not just dailies. Just like what I choose to do every day, which is like not a lot. Oh, Spirit Stone. Look at that. We actually need that, I think. Oh, I just got so discombobulated right there. Spirit Stone. I'll take that. Technically, that's the best power stone for this bow. And now that I think about it, why are we still using hasty again? If I have the MP tuning points, what have you, to have a over 100% crit chance and a bonus attack speed. Maybe there's some room for MP bad. Okay, then at what MP would I need to be in order for spirit spiritual to be better for the bow? I am pretty rapidly going to hit 1500 MP, by the way. Uh, you. Out of my face. Boop, boop, and... Sorry, I have to keep my inventory clean or I'm gonna lose my mind. It is a requirement. There we go. Where am I? Have I done the lever yet? Nope. I haven't. It's literally better at low MP. I've tested it at like 600 and around 1000. Spiritual is just far better. I just did 91 million damage. Okay. <laughs> That was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of damage right there. Really? That didn't count? Thank you. Now for the one that's a bat. Why does no one play Skyblock anymore? No one. Hey, just because Skyblock lost a bunch of its players doesn't mean that nobody's playing it. We got like... Is someone in a position where they can log off and look at the player count in the menu? Because I can't. I would guess that there's probably around like 15... Minimum 15k people online right now. 28k? Oh, but that's like the whole network though. 22 can skyblock. Okay, I meant prototype menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's still plenty. I mean, 20, 25,000 concurrent players. 22,000. That's not a dead game. Not even close. On Fezzi's secret channel, he made a video for a game that has like not even 2,000 concurrent live viewers and got a video with 100 thousand views on it which i find interesting even for a dead game i wouldn't even consider that a dead game to be honest it just has a really niche community <laughs> this game got years left in it yeah it does Especially if what the admins said in their December um, post was correct. 
if they said that 2023 was like purposefully only QOL because they were ramping up for the big stuff, like we got, <laughs> we've got a lot ahead of us. So really good, really good updates. I just hope that the floodgates open before everybody's left. I mean, chat, if you want, I can try to um, fix the bow, maybe put spiritual on it, and then we'll have to redo our stats tuning and everything. If chat's down for that, we can do that. I mean, we would have to downtime in the party for a little, for like a minute or two, but hey, I mean, if that's what chat wants to see. Oh, someone got a spirit pad. Look at that. You can't spiritual in M4. What's that mean? What do you mean you can't in M4? It places decoy when he's stunned. When he's stunned. What? If the party uses decoys, you can't do that. Oh. So that means I would have to, if I put spiritual on my bow, that means I would have to not participate in boss. Yeah. Is that why that one party told me not to shoot? Because they probably assumed I had spiritual? Not participate in clear. I thought you meant precise is the better one. Bro, they literally... Chat, didn't we go over this when I crafted the Terminator that they made spiritual better than precise? It would throw decoys in... <sighs> in clear. It's specifically worse for M4. I mean, I don't care if it spawns decoys during clear. That That's not a problem. During boss, it would be. It's like 10 crit damage and 5 strength. Yeah, but the decoys could be useful, though. The ones in clear still count. The decoys are fine in boss unless they fix that. Oh, so if I have decoys active and clear, that breaks it? Oh, that's goofy. That's really goofy. Why? So, does no one use spiritual then? Did people say spiritual is better, like, because of the stats and didn't realize how in the field it's just bad and then everyone went back to precise? Is that what I'm hearing right now? Look, I don't give a crap about M4 if I'm being honest. Spiritual's for like M7. Just don't use it for M5. What's the problem in M5? Okay, I have a very simple question that I think requires a very simple answer. The spawning decoys in clear before the boss fight cause problems. Yes or no? And if my understanding is correct, it's a problem in M4 because the limit for decoys is for all players, not just me. 
is that what the problem is that you can't spawn the decoys for bats specifically if i've already been running around the dungeon with spiritual okay i just hate the fact that you have to use a different reforge just for one floor two floors <sighs> it's annoying why can't I just have the best thing in the game? I can't even say that. I was suggesting the exact opposite with mining. But this... It's just annoying, man. I guess if I had multiple bows, right? Whatever one I would use for clear would probably have precise on it. And then whatever one I use for damage in like Kudra. Do the decoys have caused problems in Kudra? I'm just annoyed. I mean, I have, I have an optical lens right here. <sighs> they don't spawn? What do you mean they don't spawn? Do I just not know how spiritual works? I'm so sorry to my party, by the way. It's just that I'm, there's a lot more to this reforged stone, apparently. Okay. The decoys only spawn in dungeons. I'm trying to think because optical lenses are not easy to come by. So I'm trying to think in an environment with multiple terminators. If I want the one with... Okay. Spiritual on duplex. Bow. So precise soul leader. Spiritual duplex. Yeah or nah? Soul leader precise. Spiritual duplex M7 would work. Well, technically it wouldn't be the best though. Because you'd want the best for clear, which is soul leader. In M7, anyways. Yes, for now. Well, I don't want for now. Optical lenses are hard to get, man. I don't want to waste it. When you do M7, you're not the archer. Bro, I wasn't expecting this much. Just go. At this point, just freaking go. I don't know at this point what the hell we're doing. So we're going to make the best decision, which is no decision. We're just doing nothing right now. Just go. I'm done dealing with this. I'll deal with this later. I already one-tap everything. Ugh. This game... Do we not have enough players? Oh, party finder. Anyone in chat want to do M4s? Ooh. I mean, if I could reasonably get more optical lenses, then I'd be more willing to spend one. It's just that I've been doing... After 200 hours of dungeons, I've only dropped one. So, like... I didn't even get the stupid optical lens. It's a rare drop from the Watcher. What's the chance?
it's common enough, but you have to do every blood room. Well, I don't. That's the problem. <sighs> Precise is fine on your soul eater term. Once you get a duplex one, you can just put spiritual on that. Well, that's what I was saying before, but like... All right, you know what? Fine, fine. I'm gonna fold. Let's do it. Optical lens. I'm gonna stop thinking and I'm gonna act. That's the wrong anvil. Bro, how many times do people go to the wrong anvil? I swear. Why does there have to be a different anvil? They're precise terminator. The gear score is literally lower. <laughs> what does Hasty do again? Oh, it's crit chance. Whereas this is crit damage and a bit of crit chance. Yeah, okay. 1.2 mil? Okay. Strangely specific number, but sure. All right, there you go. Precise Terminator. Now... Uh, we need to make sure we have 100% crit chance after that. I mean, bro, we're already at... I mean, look at my crit chance already. It's it's gonna be there. We'll be fine. With the Catacombs buff bonus, whatever, it's gonna be over 100 without a single change, which is actually really nice. What are my enrichments on? Oh, it's on crit chance. That makes a lot of sense, actually. So what are my stats now? They're not that different from before. <laughs> I don't need to change anything. Yeah, let's chat. Uh, if you want to be in the party, then put your IGN. But keep in mind, if you're below cat of 40, you're not going to have a good time. It's M4. Never mind. We already have a person. <laughs> yeah we'll see how big a difference this makes all right let's make sure that we're actually at 100 i mean clearly we're gonna be at 100 right i mean like duh yeah 432 percent chance we're fine now how much damage are we doing that was just a wall of text 52.5 million damage right at 64. 87. 87 is the biggest number I saw. Why is this so different? But that, that was with no blessings straight into the dungeon. 87 million damage. Not bad. Not headshots. Oh, is that how that works? Is that how that works? Where? When you <laughs> you literally have to Oh my god. You can go for headshots. That's so funny. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I wonder how they did that code wise. How do you even test where the arrow landed with spigot? I don't even know. Well, it's cool that my MP is high enough to handle precise. Also, I'm just not at all doing the route. I was just testing the bow itself and absolutely forgot what I was supposed to be doing. That is my bad. Mm -hmm. That is dead. Okay. Don't bother, I'm doing the secrets, it's fine. Okay. What's your favorite exercise in the gym? Incline bench. I like incline bench a lot.
I'm back. Hello. <sighs> Isn't there an option to remove the nameplates from non-starred mobs? Uh... Doesn't look like it. Could request that feature to doors. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Here, I'll, I'll read up my DMs with doors. Um, mod suggestion from chat. Add an option to hide the name tags of non-starred mobs in dungeon clear. Right. Hide non crits. Hide lever waypoints, entrance waypoints. No. No, it doesn't look like it's a feature. Wisdom rejuvenate two. Ultimate wise rejuvenate. It's such garbage, man. Probably takes 10 minutes to implement. Honestly, yeah. A lot of these mods. A lot of these mods. Press N. Yeah, but that disables all name tags. I don't want to do that. I want to still show the name tags, but only for the starred mobs. Because that's the ones you're supposed to go for. And with my fish brain, there's no freaking way. <laughs> like, the way that I play dungeons changes so slowly. Like, it takes forever to teach me to do a new thing. It's awful. And it's because I really am not interested in dungeons in general. But it's something I have to do to be a well-rounded Skyblock player. So here we are. That was really clutch for no reason. <laughs> if you saw that. <laughs> Soupy's on it? Really? Is Soupy in chat? How would you know? Oh, Doors is on chat. In chat. Doors is in chat. Hello. <laughs> on it. You know, another one. Hmm. What's another one? There was something else that came to mind recently, but I foregore. Hmm. Any word on ordered waypoints now that we have um, folders? Now that we have folders, actually, ordered waypoints should be really easy, right? Unless that's already a thing. I don't, I don't know. What's another good feature that we might need? Um, hmm. Oh, did we ever get the livid solver working? Is that a thing? I don't know why I said we, I don't work for BLC. <laughs> it, ordered waypoints might be a thing. It's been a long time. Uh, Let me see, let me see. Place like caves. I 
not in this menu, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what mod it's under. I don't know where to find it. Dungeons need to rework, they're so tedious. I don't know, man. I don't... <laughs> you ever hear the phrase, there's only so much you can polish up a turd? <laughs> and I hate to call dungeons a turd, it really isn't. Oh, hello. Second Master Star, let's go. Hey, and a Spirit Stone. Do I take a second Spirit Stone? No, I don't. I'll get plenty of those. Hey, but yeah, second Master Star, not bad, not bad. I think we're gonna need more of these than first Master Stars, because I also want my term and hype to have stars. Second, second Master Stars. I didn't need to get first Master Stars for these, so we need five. Ugh. We need five, because we need three more for this. What's your cattle level? I don't know. 40, working on 41. By the end of this stream, hopefully 41, but we'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you could just do this? Ooh. You would get like two skyblock levels from cat of 50. That's good. Two whole levels. Oh my gosh. Two million. Two million. Two million levels would be a lot. Two levels. I'm a bit spoiled because of how much cata XP, not cata XP, how much skyblock XP I've gotten in the past like week because of the update. No! love when that happens like I'm just not doing the route oh hello dungeon chest key I bought 30 Fermento helmet skins, and since then, they are only going down in price. I thought skins were a good investment. Ah, you see, you have just experienced the free market. <laughs> the free market is a fickle thing. It's hard to predict because there's not just you predicting what the market's going to do, but there's like everybody else, right? So, like, you bought a bunch of them with the intention of selling them later, and you're not the only one. A lot of other people did that. So, what's going to happen is that prices will probably get worse before they get better. There's going to be a lot of people asking that exact question you just asked me, and a bunch of them are just going to cash out, right? But if you really want to profit, assuming it's a rare skin that's actually good and limited, then hold it for a year and then we'll see what your prices are more like three years is it that bad i've never invested in skins but i mean i have invested in stocks and that's how it kind of can be with stocks well not well it wouldn't be like that with stocks it'd be more like that with a collectible no 
I mean, kind of. It all kind of loops together, but... Mm. I would say at least wait three months. If it goes down further, I'm sorry, but like, I don't know. I don't like investing in things that have value only because people say it has value. That's risky as hell. I'd rather have something that has like actual utility that like you can't argue. Yes, that has value. I've never owned any Bitcoin or for that matter, any crypto in my life, because to be honest, I don't see the utility right now. Ethereum, maybe, but like, I don't know. We need something a bit more useful, something that can actually accomplish something, something that does work. I want to own that. I don't want to own a coin that is valuable because other people, because I could sell it to some other sucker for more. Like, nah, I'm good actually. Yet you own USD. Hey, you know what? We live in a society, all right? I'm allowed to participate in the society I was brought up in and also criticize it well what i will say actually is that my net worth is like i'm trying to think of how the math would turn out probably like one percent cash two percent cash i have it all in assets stuff with value like a house stocks technology <laughs> a motor vehicle <laughs> all things that have function but no like i do not hold a lot of cash which by the way is also pretty risky i should have more than one percent of my net worth in cash i do recognize that it's just hard because taxes <laughs> this time of year makes it very difficult to save for anything Cause you gotta give it all away to Uncle Sam. If you're self-employed, that is. If you have a normal job, then you don't have to worry about that. If anything, you're hoping for money that you get back from the government, like a return. It is crazy to me how many people just don't understand the fundamental like ways that our economy functions. Like I saw a tweet where someone was like, Oh, are you kidding me, man? And then the screenshots like, oh, your federal income tax return or whatever is $1. And clearly the guy was expecting a return, right? He's like, oh, I'm going to get a tax return. And then it comes out and it's a dollar and he's disappointed. But no, that's a good thing. You want your tax return to be like a dollar because that means you did your math correctly. It means you're paying almost the exact amount you're supposed to as you're getting paychecks because let's say you do have a big tax return let's say you get five grand that means that you technically let the government owe you money for like okay if we're gonna if you're getting paid steadily throughout the year that would mean for an average of six months effectively for six months the government held onto your money interest free you gave them a free loan that's what that means. If you're, if you owe by the end of the tax season, that means that you owe them, but they charge you interest. Isn't that funny? They charge you interest, but they don't give you back interest when they owe you. Hmm. It makes you think, doesn't it? Maybe the government sees you as a piggy bank and nothing more. I think that's been the case for a very, very, very long time. It's almost like our society punishes poor people. It punishes everybody, man. <laughs> it, it, it's just different ways. But yes, it is a system that keeps people down, which I am very against. I think we should have... I, Again, this is starting to this is starting to delve into politics if you say things a certain way. I'm not political. I just like to solve problems. I just think UBI would be the best way forward. There's no other way, in my opinion. Like, if we don't implement a UBI, there are going to be people that suffer. That's just how it's going to work.
tax credit is how much you don't own over the government yes <laughs> which is as good as cash because taxes are there are two what's the quote that there are two truths in life death and taxes something like that i think that was teddy roosevelt that said that i don't remember fully something something like that Mm -hmm. all right i'm going to need one moment f to buy arrows taxes in the u.s look like a real mess coming from a uk perspective i have zero knowledge of how taxes work in other countries but yeah the tax system in the U.S. is ridiculous. You basically need a degree to even understand everything. It's really annoying, actually. It took me months to learn everything that I know about the tax code. Like, I could file my own taxes if I wanted to. And I'm not really proud of that, but I can. I have the knowledge. But it took a while. In this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes, is the full quote. Is it from Teddy Roosevelt? Because I kind of pulled that one out of nowhere. It's as good as a guess. Benjamin Franklin. Ah. 30, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I bought my arrows. The more you talk about taxes, the more you realize government overreach. It's kind of funny to me because we live in a society where, like, there's government overreach and underreach simultaneously. It's so annoying. <laughs> like, no one's going to hold the companies responsible for, you know, price gouging people. And, by the way, a large part of what people are calling inflation is greedflation is what a lot of people have been calling it where businesses charge more because they can there's no real reason right like it's not like their prices it's not like the cost of the goods no it's not like the cost for them to get the goods went up 30 percent it probably went up more like five to ten percent but they're gonna charge 30 percent more because they can because they know that you're gonna pay it because you have to with food at least or if it's with like Netflix, they know you're going to do it anyways, just because you're looking for something to make you happy in this world. <laughs> oh, there's a dono. Hello. Thank you for the 10 bucks, Jack. Hey, 30, I uh, haven't caught up. I haven't caught a stream in about a year. How have things been? Also, how would game development go oh my god it really has been a year <laughs> it really has been yeah so that whole thing where i was trying to spend like three months to develop the game i ended up just playing more skyblock i'm not proud of it granted it was a bunch of stuff i would have had to do anyways so it was still helping me <gasps> oh my god the hiccups There we go. But um but no, I didn't I didn't make the game like I planned. Also, I cannot find that last secret and I don't intend on doing that. So, let's leave. But now it is very annoying. So, that's an example of government underreach, right? That companies can just kind of price gouge whatever the hell they want and there's nothing and they'll buy up the competition or let the competition die and then just be the only business in their department or there'd be like one or two companies that in behind the scenes behind closed doors are actually talking to each other probably and they're like it's so annoying so you know that's government underreach and then you have government overreach which uh, what would be a good example of that Making it so you can't buy a, a gun if you have a med card for weed. What stoner do you know? <laughs> if you put a stoner and an alcoholic next to each other, who do you think is going to shoot the gun first? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But no, that, that's definitely overreach in my opinion. 
Isn't the right to bear arms like Second Amendment? I don't know how constitutional it is to limit that. Anyways. <laughs> Warrantless spying? True. Oh yeah, the government forcing their way into people's phones. I was going to give a specific example, but then it would just rile up chat. So let's not do that. But yeah, they have been proven to do that. I don't like the idea that the government can just kind of see whatever messages I send on whatever platform. But I mean, I've acted under that mentality for ages, bro. Nothing's private. So I never say anything that would get me in trouble, even in private, even in person, bro. Like, I don't take any chances. Not that I even really have, like, an urge to say something that would be bad and then would have to stop myself. Like, no. But still like it's something that is always in the back of my mind it's like this conversation's probably not between me and the person i'm saying it to like there's a good chance it's not and with streams that's obviously a given because that's the whole point <laughs> but no it is annoying uh, you know what i've realized so much of politics is just the way you phrase something it really is like if for example i were to ask chat do you think that let's see do you think that the government is overreaching or underreaching there is no right answer to that question that we can realistically get in this conversation right but people are going to ask that and expect a real answer and then have a whole debate based on the answer that answer to that question when it's something that is at the end of the day, I guess, an opinion. Which I find kind of funny. People, it seems to me that people don't stick to the facts very often with politics, which is another reason I just don't want to get involved because like I'm wasting my time arguing with people that are making up their own, like <laughs> their own headcanon for how they think things work. Like, nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was the first death, the whole stream. First one. And it was because of a trap. Big surprise. Why are there vocals in my music? I don't like vocals in my music. It is weird and awkward. Especially <laughs> that kind of vocalization. <laughs> Stop it. Like, I don't get the point of this. Like, what? It, is that pleasant to hear? It's not for me. It's just, if anything, it makes me uncomfortable. This is weird. It makes me feel judged <laughs> that it's a song on my stream. I just, I, there's some things I'm never going to understand. Like giving flowers to a girl. Never going to understand why that's a good thing. Oh, here's a responsibility. Here's a thing that's going to die in like a week. Since the current economic system in the U.S. is fiat, then wouldn't a UBI cause large amounts of inflation? Not necessarily. It can if implemented incorrectly, but so can any system in the government, right? I have the opinion that the government is way too large of an entity, like literally too many people are hired there and are butting heads and arguing. And there's too many people that have what I'll call like leech jobs. They don't really accomplish anything. They fill out like forms and they'll send emails. They'll conduct meetings. But at the end of the day, they're not really doing anything, right? They're just kind of getting paid to show up at the office. So like the more jobs like that, they get replaced by like AI or whatever. I think those are jobs that desperately need to be like 
you know automated out because it's literally just a leech on our system at that point you know it's like literally they're accomplishing nothing they're doing nothing a leech literal leech so i don't know i think there's probably a few thousand maybe tens of thousands it depends i don't know how many here hold on how many people work for the u.s government how many all agencies oh it depends on the state in florida there's ninety thousand people employed by all agencies of the government just in our state damn that's more than i thought it, but does that include like mailmen it probably includes mailmen because that's technically a job a government gob <laughs> I love my brain. Maybe I should actually try the route for once in this room. Let's do that. Oh, what the hell is this? Wait, why does that work? Wait, why did that work? That shouldn't have worked. Why was I able to just walk in? Huh? I'm confused. I thought you couldn't just do that. That is very weird. Hold on. What? 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 Never mind. I'm wasting so much time. You know, at this point, I'm sunk costed. You know, what? we're gonna try it anyways. This is so dumb. And I'm so much of a fan of when that happens. Okay. I keep falling. No. I did it wrong, I think. Hold on. I need to make some blocks reappear so I have something to stand on. It's... Yeah, it's not even going to happen. <sighs> some routes are just not worth the effort. And that is one of them. Two point two five million people work for the military. Two point two five work two point two five million work for civilian employee or civilian employees for the federal government. That's a lot more than I thought. That's a lot more than I thought. So if you were to take two point two five million, multiply it by fifty thousand dollars, you would get And yes, I'm doing this mid run. Stop me if you can. <laughs> wow. So not even counting people that work in the military. Take a guess on average, assuming a $50,000 salary. Take a guess how much the US government is spending on wages just for its civilian workforce. It's a crazy high number. I will let you know. It's a hundred and twelve billion. A hundred and twelve billion dollars. And that's minimum. That's 50k a year. There's some politicians that make 300k a year. Actually, most of them make a lot more than that because they're pretty much allowed to uh, insider trade. Nancy Pelosi. Um... <laughs> See how this is starting to get political again? I hate that. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. I think there's enough money to go around. I think it's not being allocated correctly. That's really all it is. I think everybody should have the chance to make crazy money, but they need to earn it, you know? Like just because you got hired by the government <laughs> and just made like a dozen or so trades you shouldn't have you shouldn't be a millionaire a deca millionaire but that's what's happening yeah and lobbying in general is insane 
There's a lot of waste in the system. I think if removed, there'd be plenty to give people a foundation to stand on. That's what a UBI would be. It's not like, oh, this is your, this is your salary forever. This is just what you make now. Like, no, it's the minimum. It's what you make if you decide not to work. But if you decide to work, then you can make more. I think that's a sick idea. It would give people the opportunity to start businesses because they wouldn't have to be like, oh, I need to save up for a year and a half just to afford the six months of not working at my nine to five to start a business. Like there's a lot of productivity that I, that I think would be achieved if people had like some kind of safety net. And maybe, maybe that's co a controversial take, but to me, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, you can argue with me if you want, chat. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't seem that unreasonable. Like if you were to just remove all the other systems that give money to people and just make it standardized, make it easy, make it so that people, since people know their situation better than any government overreach, right? People would be better allocating money that they receive than the government. So I'd rather be given the choice of where I spend my money instead of like, for example, food stamps, right? because those systems get abused anyways, right? Here's the problem with food stamps. I, I, speaking of goblin videos, there was this guy, oh, this happens very commonly, apparently. It's a very common thing. There'd be this guy waiting outside the, a homeless man, waiting outside the supermarket, waving around his, whatever the um, food stamps unit is, whatever the paper is, I don't know. They'd be, asking people hey can you walk in with me and you can get two hundred dollars worth of groceries i'll buy it with the the food stamps and then i'll give you like or it's like then you give me a hundred bucks so essentially the person that uses the food stamps gets like half price groceries and then the person who has the food stamps that is like issued them by the government gets half the money that the government gave them and then they spend it on drugs which is bad <laughs> which i think a system with a ubi wouldn't fix that problem because they would just go and directly buy the drugs instead of doing this roundabout thing but at least they're not wasting like half of it and then there might be enough in the system to you know put them in a rehab facility so that they don't have the urge to use the drug you know i don't know we should at least know where our money is going. I, I think technically we kind of do. Like they, they give you like, this is how much we spend on this category as a whole, like social security. They'll say like X number of trillions of dollars are spent on that. And you know, it'd also be nice if like the prices for, I don't know, all medications weren't absolutely ridiculous. I'm sure that eats up a lot of the Medicare budget. I mean, who needs... Here's, here's a crazy idea. What if suddenly the free market was opened up again to medication instead of it being only a few companies charging like a thousand percent markup? Medicare ceases to exist, but the UBI could just straight up afford the medical care because everything is reasonably priced. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it crazy how that works? Wow. <laughs> it's like people don't suffer when someone isn't siphoning money out of the system somewhere up the chain. That's really all it comes down to. And right now it's big. In that case, it's big pharma, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These, this loot is so trash. I think lower income tax, higher sales tax. That's not going to fix anything, unfortunately. It, the problem is that people are siphoning money out that shouldn't be. That's the problem. You need to attack that. Income tax didn't even exist until like the 20s. I'm sure it was a bit after that. Why are you so based? <laughs> I don't think I'm that based. I think the difference between me and someone else spouting um, political opinions or whatever would be that um, 
if they haven't done the research <laughs> i don't know i mean granted i don't know everything about this scenario but i know at least enough that there is enough to go around and not in a oh we all make the same kind of way like communism like that that sucks i don't i'm not asking for that <laughs> i just want the bottom not to be zero you know give people a chance to take a risk try something make a business or just not have to stress about how they're gonna pay rent <laughs> you know he's woke absolutely not i think that i think the idea behind i don't know man i just want a scenario where everyone is happy and can participate in the world without getting persecuted but i also don't think that virtual signal virtue signaling on social media and inserting things checking off boxes i don't like when people check off boxes it's like oh our movie needs what's that rule that like if a movie doesn't have a main lead that's female there's like something wrong with it or whatever like there's a there's a name for this term it's the most ridiculous thing ever like just tell a good story i don't care if there's a character that's trans female black white it doesn't matter are they a good character though is it entertaining to watch are they, is the story like good like all those other factors are not relevant you know It's like a test or something. No. Uh, hold on. ChatGPT will know the answer to this one. Uh, what is the name of the concept that a movie needs at least one female lead or character that isn't talking about a man? I don't remember what the, this rule has a specific. It's called the Bechtel test. There we go. Oh, Chad actually got it before ChatGPT. But yes. I think if you're worrying about representation in a movie, you're already doing it wrong. Like, it's the weirdest concept ever, bro. <laughs> if the story calls for it, then sure. But like. I mean, one of the, for example, right? Didn't Black Panther do really well in the box office? Wasn't it a very, very successful movie that almost exclusively featured characters that are African American? Or in general, just black? It seemed to me that was a movie that didn't just try to check off boxes, they just made a good movie. <laughs> right? I mean,. It should be that simple. I mean, alien, right? The main character is a girl. But, like, the story was awesome. The movie was awesome. The franchise is, well, I mean, Prometheus, one of the greatest, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure it's because the movie is good. That should be the, the number one. As a developer, do you feel threatened by ChatGPT's ability to code? No. I personally do not feel threatened by ChatGPT. And the reason why is because if you're a bad programmer, then yeah, people aren't going to want you around the dev team, clearly. But I consider myself a pretty good developer. I kind of know how something's going to work before it even is made. You know what I mean? Like, I can have the architecture of the logic in my head before I even start most of the time. So what's going to happen because of chatbots coding is dev teams are going to shrink massively, but there's still going to be some people left. And if I actually were to work in a job that's tech in nature, then I would be one of those few left behind just because I have, like I said, 15 years of experience with coding at the age of 26. It's kind of crazy. Actually, it's probably almost 16 years then because I, I just remembered I was 10. So like... So it'll make my life easier and I'll get paid more. But other developers that might not be as proficient would lose their jobs as a consequence of that. But to be honest, I mean, let's be real. 
programming is a hobby of mine. I don't think we can truly say that like, oh, I'm a programmer by trade. No, I'm not. I had one programming job ever and they made me use WordPress. Like, <laughs> like sure I've coded cool stuff, but like not as a job. But I have a pretty sick portfolio, I will say, of things I have coded over the years. $104,000 is the average livable wage in America for people to get that. Yeah, but that's not what I'm suggesting. Also that, that number doesn't sound right to me. The average livable wage is, I'm guessing that's including California, right? That's probably bumping the numbers up because here in Florida, you can live very comfortably for like 60K or less. Like there would not be an issue. Also, why is the checkbox not green? Oh, now it's green. That was odd. I don't know, probably. Well, no, the, the way a UBI would work is that it would be not a whole wage. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know, actually. Maybe I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be like a whole wage. You would still need like a job. But like the whole point of the UBI is the safety net. It's not meant to replace a job entirely for everybody. It's meant to maybe replace it for some people that have like other issues. Like maybe they're disabled or whatever, right? But yeah. But I don't know. I. It depends. It really does depend. It's not just add money to the, the federal budget, right? It's add in a certain category and remove from a different category. So yes, the number is massive. But at the same time, there's other numbers that are equally massive that are not well um, implemented, so to speak. And I mean, let's be honest, once AI takes like more than half of all jobs in the country, they'll be forced into UBI. I, I'm calling it now. It's going to happen. I don't know when, but it's inevitable. There's no way society as we know it's going to work without it. Like imagine Subnautica's universe, right? Everybody has a fabricator. Like there's not going to be any manufacturing jobs anymore if you could just hold out like a even like the habitat builder you just beam it over and then you just created a building out of nothing <laughs> that with nanobot tech is probably possible within the next i don't know 100 years or so but we're not there yet but with like ai i mean let's see what jobs are you not gonna need bank teller fast food counter person person behind the counter the people flipping the burgers you're not gonna need accountants you're not gonna need lawyers there's certain machines that can do surgeries now so a lot of surgeons might lose their jobs what would people do then well that's what i'm saying <laughs> probably things that they find enjoyable or fun go to parks hang out with friends they won't need to work all the time because resources will just be plentiful and if they want to get a leg up in life you know up their income then they can go start a business it'd be harder to get money in a ai world but you probably could you know A good 80% of corporate America can be cut out by AI. Well, that's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Life will be like the fat people in the movie WALL-E. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Some people, not everybody. 
the reason okay here's another concept that i think is pretty important when predicting the future right we live in a system that is self-adjusting right it's pretty easy to make a prediction that x event will happen that causes y and z event to happen but like you're not considering the fact that future you can still make further decisions after event x so it's not like guaranteed that things are going to go the way you think they are because like people will change the path I i'm trying to think of uh, what's a good way to visualize it i don't know i'm trying to think of a good example okay here's a great example it's kind of part of the human condition in your 20s to want to have your whole life figured out right at least for me that was the case you want to have everything figured out just in case and let's say i set a goal of saving a million dollars to retire right <laughs> and it's like okay that's the goal million dollars and then it's like well why would i do that why would i set that goal I'm assuming in that moment, oh, a million dollars is how much you need to live out a, a full life. But I'm not recognizing the fact that like, I'll exist in the future and I will make money. How the hell do you get down there? What is this? What is this crap? Where's the egg? How? Where's the egg? Where's the exit is what I was gonna say. How do, how? <laughs> but no, there's, for, in my case, there's going to be a future me that has my best interests in mind. Oh, there's a lever right freaking there. I don't know how this room works. This is, oh, the stairs were right there. It's like, oh, if AI, uh, if we hit AGI, then the world will end. Well, not necessarily. Everyone's going to still be able to react to that. <laughs> And I don't know. It's really, I'm having a hard time actually vocalizing what I'm trying to say here. But things don't just, events don't just happen and then you can't change it. Like it's an ever changing system, an ever adjusting system. You can't just look at a line and be like, yes, that line is going to go perfectly straight in this direction. Like, no, it's going to be every so often changing angle just a little bit. Another, a good, a better example is when somebody evaluates a company from its stock price, right? Let's say that 30 Virus Incorporated, some tech company has a thousand shares worth a thousand dollars. That's a million right there. It would be safe to assume then that the market cap of the company is a million dollars, right? Since the stock is selling for a thousand and there's a thousand of them but what happens when someone sells their one of those stocks for a thousand well suddenly the price is going to go down a little bit it's a self-adjusting system you can't just assume that you can sell every single stock for that exact price the price changes so there you go that's a, that's a better example and i think life is a is how many things I just randomly clicked by accident <laughs> is that it's a self-adjusting system. We cannot truly predict the future based on one event happening because then it's going to just people react in weird and unpredictable ways all the time. The current way the economy works won't work with AI. I mean, that's why I'm saying that a UBI has to happen. There's no other way. Tesla's probably the most overvalued company. I don't know. There's a lot of them. Yeah, maybe. Probably. I was typed horribly. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I paraphrased. Mm -hmm. 
What's better for you, a Twitch sub or a kick sub? A thousand percent a kick sub. I get a 95% split on kick. So if you're gonna sub somewhere. Mm -hmm. Twitch is 50-50. <laughs> that said, I, I do appreciate Twitch subs as well because obviously a donation is a donation. I'm not gonna be picky. <laughs> Zalpha God underscore. Thank you for that prime sub. And unplugged. Thank you for the uh the prime. I don't know why I couldn't speak there for a second. How's your day been? It's been alright. Also, that was a bit old of a message. I'm sorry it took so long to read it, but I promise I'm not ignoring it. But uh it's it's been good. Kind of uneventful to be honest. Like this stream is my day. Like I just kind of woke up, ate some food. I, I no, I woke up, rode my bike, ate food, and then streamed. So, pretty simple day. No complaints, really. Things are going to get interesting once it comes time to go to sleep. Because, like I said, I'm starting a tolerance break. So, um, I have a feeling if I go from having, like, 100 milligrams of Delta 9 a day to zero, my sleep might be impacted. <laughs> So I'll probably try to stay up as long as possible just so that my body like is physically exhausted and I have no choice and then I pass out. Why am I just killing mobs at the secret? So what's wrong with me? It's so easy to default to just killing mobs when you're talking. Kick is uh, debit slash credit card only, though. Oh, I see. That I did not know. I'm not saying that word, no. It sounds too close to a swear. Why does fire tick why does fire tick count as combat that's so annoying isn't that a pokemon it is it is pokemon Mac of the Woods, thank you for the Prime sub. That was a half hour ago. I'm sorry. When I just start talking, I, I forget everything. <laughs> I I just don't see things. Oh, it's a spear pet. Look at that. Too bad I don't need it. Whoa, what the... <laughs> okay. Um sure. Buy the cheap one? Why? They're the same price. <laughs> They're the same price. It doesn't matter. I don't want a spirit pet, but that was weird. <laughs> Wait, did they promote me again? They didn't. Okay, good.
See ya. Oh, have a good time. Thank you for the runs. Yeah, sorry, I had to type out a, a message. Sorry. Oh, thank you for that T1 sub. How do I say your name? Is X K. <laughs> I said that right. Oh, by the way, uh, we need a we need a, a person in party. We are down a person. <sighs> Is that a cat in the background? It is a cat in the background. Look at that, we have two Master Skull. We could combine these, honestly. The two master skull fours might as well welcome to the party I'm not redeeming the beast during milestone until I get one of the new pets. Oh, you know what? I just realized the forge. Your party is full. Yeah, but I'm not party leader. Oh, I just remembered vitamin death. We'll do that later. Uh, been saving up materials. I just got to keep the forge busy somehow. Uh, I've got like no materials, bro. Also, oh, the person left. Or they never accepted. I'm a dumb. That's just a few Jaspers, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I, I was just a dumb. I thought someone disconnected and wasn't coming back. I don't understand why you don't use the better ender chest option. What does that mean? That's not. There we go. Sorry? Oh, you're good. We, um, I was just... Don't mind me. I... <laughs> you probably... I wasn't waiting for you there. I was just kind of trying to keep busy. I... I don't know. It's all good. It's just a video game. And somehow we managed to still have five players. I don't know how that happened. Maybe someone else got invited. I'm trying to actually get some secrets for once so that my party doesn't suffer. It has a storage mod that allows you... That shows you all the items in your ender chest without having to click through them. Yeah, but that mod is currently not working as intended. See, look at this menu. 
and then I click it and then you see what's actually in there. Like it's not updating properly. I think the issue seems to be that it, I don't know. That mod is a bit broken and it has been for a while. I think it has two separate issues. I think issue number one might be that it saves the replay when you open the menu instead of when you close it. So it always shows what it was before you put the stuff in or took out. And I think the other problem is that it just doesn't save properly. Like it'll just not show the preview at all. Or it'll show one that's like really old from like months ago. So I don't know, that, that mod's definitely got some issues, the display. Hey, Yojo is cook, thank you for the resub, the T1. Seven months. Very good. I've seen Swaby use it on BLC. I'll have to ask him if he has this problem. Maybe it's just me. Maybe BLC doesn't like me in particular. <laughs> Which update are you looking forward to most? Oh, forging by far. Because it opens the floodgates for future updates to come out way faster and way easier. And then the game is saved. But until then, I'm scared. The game needs to update to a modern version. Get the new code base together. That, Which, by the way, that wasn't a leak. We've known this for a while. And they even said it in their most recent blog post. So I don't feel bad saying that. Ooh, spirit bone. Here we go. That's something. That's huge. Hello? We need 10 of these, so we're halfway. As a team, we did 7.4 billion damage. Wow, that's a lot of damage. The fact that I need four more of these. Oh God, I have a feeling we're not accomplishing that today. Google not working for me? Oh, Google Pay. It's all good, bro. Hey, I'm... I have no issue with people lurking. It, it doesn't... It's fine. There's no pressure to donate. None. Zero. As a matter of fact, if you're in a situation where you, like, kind of need that money, then I'd rather you spend it on yourself than me. Times are tough out there, man. I don't even know if it's officially a recession, but it's pretty much a recession. So make sure you take care of number one before you send me any donos. Wait, did that count? It did. I really should have just done the route. When is Dungeon Rats coming for free on BLC? I'm pretty sure it already is. And it has been for months. Has it not? I need third monitor for a YouTube stream. I mean, you can do it not full screen. Is it weird that I almost never full screen any content? Like, it is very rare that I full screen something. 
unless it's a game obviously but like movies tv youtube videos if it's on my pc i almost never full screen it why is your teammate using diamond necron head that's a good question that's the wrong helmet <laughs> i don't know if you realize that um you might be, be <laughs> might be better off with the thorn helmet there or which one is that Oh god, which one is it? One of them is one of them has the wrong helmet. They have two different helmets. One of you two. I'm guessing it's the one I looked at, because that looked like a wither. Yeah. I prefer windowed, but when I stream, it's easier to keep the aspect ratio in full screen. Oh, yeah, same. That's what I do as well. Farewell 30, have a good stream. Have a good day. Oh, a spirit wing. Look at that. Oh, now the RNG is happening. Look at that. Oh, all right. Yeah, spirit wing. I'll take a spirit wing. Oh, why not? Yeah, let's um, let's see those recipes. So there's a necklace, and okay, so I don't need another one of these. That was the last one. That's that's just for the necklace. Good to know. <laughs> no text to speech for dodos. There is. On Streamlabs, if it's above five dollars, that way it's not abusable. Uh, Samuel Bass, thank you for the two, or is it Bass? I'm not sure. Thank you for the two dollar super chat. He is lying. Spend all your paycheck or feel shame. <laughs> How do you stop yourself from buying stuff you truly don't need? Ah. Uh... I'll buy the things I do need first, even if it's ahead of time. I don't know. That's not a good answer because I do have the option to spend an obscene amount of money on really stupid crap. I have the ability, but I do hold back. I don't know. I'm just not a very impulsive person. So I'm not sure what knowledge I can really share because my nature by default is to not spend. Like growing up, I was taught that like the dollar is valuable. You don't just waste it because you want something. You have to really like have a good reason. Like if it's something that you're getting because it's like something you want, you have to really want it and have like, like you derive a lot of joy from this item. And it also needs to be like income that's not needed for any, I, I, it's, it's hard. I'm just not, I'm not a source of authority. I don't think on that. I'm just very, I don't know, accountable to myself, if that makes sense. Ow. Like, there was a month last year when I had, like, a, a pretty good amount of, like, excess cash. And I was like, you know what? I might as well. Let's let's buy some, some decently nice things. And I tried. I was like, you know what? Let's just spend money. Maybe it's not a good idea, but I want nice things i ended up only spending like five percent of what i made that month <laughs> like it's, and it's not because i make an obscene amount of money like it's good don't get me wrong but like it's not like I, I just thought it was so funny to me that i just cannot okay if i really wanted to i could spend a lot of money but like i would not need it right like, if someone told me you have to spend $100,000 today or you die, then I'd probably go for, like, and it can't be an investment. Oh, God. Okay. I would get a back addition added to the house, like a whole extra room and a patio and a hot tub. Who cares? I, sure. That in itself would probably be 30 k right there. Like, just... A, all the niceties all the furniture in the new room and like that all that maybe in like a fireplace outside and like a, an actual deck and all that good stuff 
Then I'd get a Cybertruck. Probably the dual motor one. And then boom, 100k spent. Just like that. <laughs> actually, that's a bit more than 100k. But no, I, I wouldn't actually spend that though. Because the hell am I going to do with a Cybertruck that I can't already do with my Civic? Move stuff? What am I going to move? I don't own any heavy objects, really. Other than the furniture in my house. But I know people with trucks that if I had to, I can get it out of here. So, like, there'd be no reason. And the house edition thing someday, maybe. But I just don't have the cash right now, obviously. That would add value to the house. So, in a way, it is an investment. Yeah. See, even then... But, like, you would have a cyber truck. I don't know. I was, like, a fanboy of the concept when it was first, like, announced. But I lost all interest when they put the, the gear shift as buttons above your head. Like, what? When you're driving a motor vehicle, you don't want buttons. You want something tactile. Something where you know at all times... For example, the sticks with the signals. Those are buttons too. Why? Why are they buttons on the steering wheel? It is a spinning object. And you have static buttons on the spinning object. So you have to search for it. No. It's, it's awful, man. So there's a lot of stupid design decisions that have me rethinking it. Beyond the obvious that I don't need a truck at 26 <laughs> at this point everything could be considered an investment I feel like the Cybertruck would definitely not be some people are buying Cybertrucks as an investment but like that's because there's only so many of them that they're sending out right now and they're basically scalping but like I don't consider a vehicle an investment unless it's like I don't know, a 1976 Mustang GT only driven 2,000 miles. Like, that sort of crap. It could be an investment, I guess. But at that point, it's not really a car. It's just a thing that you're investing in. You're not going to drive it because driving is going to reduce its value. But now, generally, the rule goes if it has an engine or wheels, it's not an investment and it's going to go down in value. Boats, planes. I thought I already got this one. I did. Uh, They just recalled 4,000 Cybertrucks because of a faulty accelerator pedal. Yeah, the for those that are wondering, the issue is that when you press the pedal down, it doesn't come back up. So you just kind of infinitely accelerate, which is obviously really dangerous. <laughs> but pressing the brake does have you stop. The only problem is you'd have to sit there and keep holding on the gas or keep holding on the brake until you turn the car off. But still very dangerous. What is this keyboard? Uh, I'm pretty sure in the Twitch stream there's a keyboard command. If someone uses it, I could just say it out loud for the for you fine people over on the other two platforms. Sounds amazing. It really does. The components of this keyboard were suggested by uh, Minute Tech. For those who know who Minute Tech is. Oh, the keyboard command's not working for some reason. Uh, let's see if I can remember it myself. Oh, here we go. Okay. Keychron Q1 Pro with Techno Violet switches and PBT fans Wob double shot keycaps. I built it myself. Saved a good bit of money, but still have a really premium keyboard. 
What car do you drive? Honda Civic. Base model. No fancy anything on it. Doesn't need it. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice car, honestly. It's worth about 20k, even now, despite the fact that I've been using it for the past, like, four years. Four and a half. Oh, never mind. The nice was the response to the keyboard, not the car. <laughs> you should buy a BMW M5 color competition. Uh-huh. I'll put that in my four car garage. No problem. <laughs> that I totally have. Rejuvenate Wisdom isn't the worst. All for a emerald chest it is. Pretty bad. Infinite Quiver. Well, you don't have to drive to work. I mean, if you if you think about it, technically, I don't really need a car. <laughs> I mean, I would want one, heavily would want one, because that's how I visit my, my family, right? But practically speaking, there's a Publix within biking distance, and it wouldn't be the first time I've had shopping bags hung over each handle handlebar, <laughs> and I just kind of brought it back on the bike. So, you know, I mean, technically... 30, you're way too humble. It's crazy. I just rewatched your dropping out of college video. And your college ruined my life. Almost ruined my life yeah, video. I mean, hey, I appreciate the compliment. It's funny because it's one of those things where I can't really call myself humble because, like, what would that say about me? Like, if someone just told you they're humble, <laughs> you'd probably believe the exact opposite immediately, right? <laughs> but hey, if you think that, that's cool. And you know, I, I don't disagree. I tend to think I'm pretty level-headed when it comes to finances. I'm down to earth. I, I know how much a banana is supposed to cost. I'm like, what was it, Bill Gates? I don't remember. There was this like interview <laughs> where I think Bill Gates said something like a banana was like, like $12 or something stupid. Like, <laughs> I don't remember what the specifics were, but it was very funny. I think all it comes down to is the fact that, like, it's experience. Like, I've been there. So, like, I, 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 I know. <laughs> but I also need to recognize that there are certain things that I experienced that expire in the cultural zeitgeist. Look at me using big words. Wow. You'd think I actually have a degree, even though I don't. Um, <laughs> for example, college, right? If I'm in my 30s, like... I kind of stopped being relatable when it comes to college. Because, yes, I went. But it's different now. Like, it, it would be different then, right? <laughs> At least for now. I, I've had a lot of experiences that people can resonate with. And I think it makes it easier to speak my mind and not... I don't know say something really stupid because I actually have the context to know if what I'm saying is stupid. Also, I tend not to talk about topics I don't know much about just because that's the smart thing to do. Like, why would you talk about something you don't know anything about unless it's like a casual one-on-one -on -one conversation, but don't be an authority on something you don't know anything about. Like, right? That's why every time people ask for Dungeons advice, if it's not something very specific that I know, I'll just straight up be like, I don't think you want my advice. <laughs> it was a gallon of milk, I think. Well, no, it was a whole segment with a bunch of stuff. I think um, Rice and Roni was one of them. It was like a whole thing. Another spirit bone. Very good. Very, very good.
How old are you? 26. Do I look 26? Now that I've like more recently shaved, I probably look a bit younger than before. This morning I looked like a homeless person with the... <laughs> I let the facial hair grow a little too much. How explode walls with TNT? Huh? That's just a feature of dungeons. There's some walls that have cracks in them. The, the cracked stone brick. Oh, this secret again. All right. All right, let's see if I can actually manage it this time. We're going to try not the skill issue. Haha! -ha! I actually got it. Let's go! <laughs> No! No! I don't want to die to the hicker. Stop! Leave me alone. Oh, that was awful. Hiccuping and burping at the same time is such a weird experience. For a second, you're just kind of like, did that just happen? <laughs> you're like, that was a thing that I could do? 30 has embodied that 20s tech crazy guy. thing your dropping out of college video is what inspired me to start my own social media marketing company two years ago and now i'm completely financially independent <sighs> damn dude congrats that's awesome dude i haven't even done that technically well technically 30 virus well, actually 30 virus isn't the company it's called button press button press llc so technically i have a a business i guess you could say but hey that's awesome to hear the inkiest thank you for the five by the way hey that's sick when you say financially independent do you mean like paying your own bills or do you mean like you're good like if oh what's up hades welcome back 30 i quit high pixel oh no what happened did they perma delete it I'm guessing they they can't do anything? The forums or the staff or both? Bro, that's so awful. It's so annoying. I've never heard of that bug in my life. They even removed it from alpha? Bro, rip. Hey, you know what, man? Consider, you know what, in the moment, this hurts. Considering you had the same playtime as me and started around when I did, I'm going to act like it's pretty much you went through the same thing I went through. That freaking sucks. That is terrible. But you know what? If they can't do anything about it, then it's kind of already over, isn't it? So I would make the best of it. And not do another MMO, in my opinion. I don't think. <laughs> I think if you've already put 5k hours into an MMO might be time to try something a bit more casual less play time hours if it was me i'd go out and live some more life you know find activities that are not video game related because the amount of time i've spent on this profile has me wanting to touch grass every day you know i want to go outside and be outside all day every day and kind of don't really care about the office all that much but hey it's what i have to <laughs> But no, that's what I would do. So obviously, with your situation, solitaire time. <laughs> hey, you know what, Hades? Try Fallout New Vegas if you haven't already. I cannot give a more glowing review for any other game. It's the best RPG ever made. It'll suck you in for roughly i would say two weeks if like you really wanted to just beat the entirety of the game but i wouldn't try to speed run it just enjoy it savor it savor the content oh, i love that game oh you've already played it crap uh let's see let's go through my whole catalog that i say every time people ask uh subnautica beat saber call of duty 
which honestly I don't even think I'd recommend anymore, but some of the old ones I quite like. Um Splitgate's really fun if you haven't played Splitgate. The game's a little dead, but I think there's enough people playing that you can still get lobbies. It's a very fun game. I love Splitgate. It is a travesty what happened to it. And the answer is like nothing really happened to it. It just kind of stopped getting players after a while for some reason. Did you watch the Russian Badgers Fall in Vegas video? When did it come out? I I loved that game before it was cool, and I was watching videos explaining how amazing it was before that was cool. And now it's very cool, and there's about a thousand videos like that, and I stopped watching them. Because as much as I like Fallout New Vegas, hearing the same, like, 17 points as to why it's awesome over and over again isn't really entertainment anymore. Dude, I love this song. It's just so... I don't know what the... What it is. I think I said this the last time I played on stream. It's just a good song. It makes me happy to hear it. It's very cheerful. <laughs> the stream is so chill. Hell yeah, it is. Wouldn't have it any other way. Unless I'm playing Bad Wars. <laughs> then it won't be chill. That I can tell you. Who would you like to meet the most IRL? Can be anyone living or dead. I had an answer for living, but if it's living and dead, well, hey, you know what? This might make some people mad, but oh, there's so many good choices. Crap. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Who would I? Nah, nah. Okay. P some people are going to get mad, but it's going to be Mr. Musk. If it was someone that's alive, I would, I would like to see how his brain works in first person. I've watched enough interviews to know that we think in somewhat similar ways a lot of the time. Seems to me he's also on the spectrum a little bit. In the same way that I am. I mean, I'm drawing a lot of comparisons in my mind here. And for some people, that might be a bad thing. But I don't know. Ooh. Another skull. I knew that would be your answer when you said it would make people mad. Well, if it makes people feel any better, I, there's a lot of things he's done that I don't really agree with. But at the same time, at his core, I do think he's a good person. Even if he's done some things that are, or allegedly, <laughs> like emerald mines and whatnot, which isn't really a character problem. It's just... It would, I guess, if the Emerald Mine thing was true, it would probably lied about. Even then, he denied it directly. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I don't really. To me, it seems he seems like someone that I would enjoy talking to. Have you watched the Fallout show? Only the first episode so far. It was fine. It was okay. It's not groundbreaking or anything, but. First episodes and shows tend to not be the most insane thing ever. So maybe it gets better. Well, except for Invincible. That crap, like, oh my god. What a first episode that was. If you want to meet Musk, you could pull the Phidias route. No, 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 no. I respect the man too much to be an annoyance. And to be honest, I respect people in general enough to not do that. That's just annoying. I don't want to be a nuisance. But if it was someone dead, who would I talk to? I don't know. no idea man i feel like if i were to bring someone back from the dead with a conversation i'd want to just show them what technology has yielded since they died i feel like that would be the most interesting thing would be their reaction imagine showing alan turing chat gpt <laughs> dude like 
Bro, I can only imagine what that reaction would be like. It's like, hey, your innovation leads to this in like... Oh God, I'm really showing how much I don't know about World War II here. How many years? 60 years? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Eighty years ago? Eh, close enough. <laughs> Has it really been that long? Thirty's first idea for conversation <laughs> with someone from the past is to flex on them. Well, no, it would. It's not about flexing. It's not. I don't really. That's another thing I don't really care for. Is like. If someone were to tell me, oh, wow, that, that car is really nice. I'd be like, yeah, man, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Like, I don't really get anything from that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really, I get, I get compliments a lot and uh, across the board on a lot of things. And I'm not saying that to brag. It is what it is. For me, the satisfaction comes from the fact that it's a thing I accomplished just inherently that is satisfying I don't need to be told that you know what I mean spear boots <laughs> do I have spear boots in the museum oh god I don't know uh spirit it's not on my list of things I need for the museum, so I'm gonna assume I already have one. Now, no. Another spirit pet. <laughs> I don't know, Chad, I don't know. Does this have a museum spot? Do I grab it? I don't even remember if I have one. Uh, how rare are spirit boots? Not that rare. All right. In that case, I'm not going to bother. I have a lot of, I have a lot of runs after this. I don't know. One in 72. I'm doing a thousand of these. You're missing spirit boots? <sighs> I have money. You know what? Fine. If I end up getting a duplicate, it is it is what it is. All right. Give me a moment. I want to see if it goes in museum. We're about to find out if I made a W decision or if I wasted some money. Or I think I wasted some money. Oh, it's new. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, GG. Hey, you know what? While we're here, never mind. We entered a new catacomb. <laughs> okay. Hey, good call. Good call. See, Hades, I don't know what you're trying to... Uh, grass keyboard? How much you want to bet someone's done that? Linus did the potato keyboard, didn't he? Or something like that. <laughs> was it potato? I think it was. Somebody made a... I don't remember. Somebody made a potato keyboard. I'm that person. A literal grass keyboard would be weird. And it would only last like a, a few days. <laughs> Someone did make a grass keyboard. It's probably Glarses. That's my guess. He's the only YouTuber I really know of that does keyboards. I know Minute Tech used to. That's why I asked him his opinion on what keyboard to get.
What the hell? Oh. Ow. I only got three out of six secrets. Might as well kill the bat. Or not. How difficult do you think it would be for me to acquire every die in the game? Um, how many dies are in the game, chat? It's a lot. And many of them are worth billions. And I'm pretty sure there's some that haven't even been dropped yet. They're that rare. I would not go on. I Let me put it this way. If you did manage to do that, you would be the first. Yeah, no, don't. Not on... Well, no, if it's on... Okay, if it's on Iron Man, then you're just... Okay, yeah, no. If it's on Iron Man, I would dare say that is not possible in a human lifetime. If you could buy it from people that just got lucky, then probably, yes, you could have a collection of every die in the game. But you would need a lot of money. Like, a lot, a lot of money. I'm talking... However many dies, there are times like 750 million. Hey, probably. 30 house life. I just started getting back into Skyblock and I am so stuck. I'm trying to start dungeons and I can't figure out what to do. I'm stuck on floor three. Is there any way you can check my Skyblock profile and help me out? BTW, it's a new profile, Lamau. Well, hey, thank you for the five. <laughs> Novice Witch TTV. I do find it a bit funny that novice is in your name, considering the message you just sent. Um, okay. You're stuck at floor three. You know what's funny? I don't even need to look at this profile to know. Okay, so if you're getting stuck at floor three, I'm assuming that means you can't beat floor three. In that case, you're... Yeah, uh, we don't even know what class. Okay, let's... My two recommendations have different classes associated with them. Uh, solution one would be the cheaper one. Um, uh, it depends how much money you have. Like, how early are we talking? I mean, floor three is early, right? So, like, I mean, dragon short bow with, like... If you can afford young dragon armor, I would highly recommend getting it and starring it. It's good for mage as well as... Well, you can put wise on it to use as mage. Or you could just use it as your damaging set for melee, I guess. But at that point, might as well commit to mage. I would say like three-fourths... Um, like three-fourths young dragon reforged to wise with like shadow goggles. And then if you were to use... Um, Dreadlord sword could try um voodoo doll aurora staff oh yeah talismans will help for any class you could probably get about a quarter of all the talismans in the game for less than like 10 mil total to be honest there's a lot of cheap talismans that you can get maybe not 10 mil like 25 mil maybe but still it's quite a number of them why am i struggling so hard finding these stupid secrets here we go. Wait. Oh, it adjusted the route because I got them in the wrong order. That's kind of funny. Also, it... Wait, did I run out of arrows? I think I ran out of arrows. Yeah, I'm out of arrows. Ah, crap. They really need to make it so the Ophelia contact works while in dungeons. Like, come on, man. What's the point of the contact being that expensive if you can't buy arrows mid-run? <laughs> what did you even do to grind um, Val as Iron Man? I killed, hold on, 
50 bows and I dropped three pets. Okay, technically two pets if you count after they reset the bestiary number. So in 50 bow kills, I dropped two pets. So I would just say, just grind bow, just kill more bows. Uh, and uh, a bow with a lot of arrows is helpful. Get a lot of hits on it. I believe the chance is per hit, not necessarily per kill. Well, actually, no, I can guarantee that. So a bow with... Does the boss have HP or is it just a number of hits? I'm not sure. If it's HP, then get the lowest damage bow possible that you can spam, like a short bow. Um, some people use Hurricane, don't they? Maybe not Hurricane. I don't remember. I have 29 mil. Okay, that's a decent budget. Um, so I guess I'll ask you then. What's um, what's a better? What, what do you think you would enjoy more? Something like what I'm doing with like Archer, or Mage. Like both are legitimate options in regular dungeons. Once you get the Master Mode, Mage is kind of an L. But by then, you'll have completely different gear, anyways. I also have Superior and Strong Dragon. Hold on. You can't get past floor three and you have superior? That's a spear short bow. Um, okay, well that makes the answer a lot easier. Uh, just dungeonize your superior and use that. Or sell the superior. Ooh, you know what? Selling the superior you might get more value out of it as coins than you would as an item you have probably get a lot more value i told you i have no idea it's hard to explain i didn't get any i didn't get any chests because they were all bad whoops that was my bad i feel like if you sold superior you could probably just afford shadow assassin no oh i didn't even get arrows this run I didn't get arrows. Why am I like this? So superior, buy Juju and get a friend to carry to the requirement. I don't know if I agree with that. What's your Enderman Slayer level looking like? I'm going to guess literally nothing. Yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend Juju this early. It's too much work. Honestly, I think you'd have a lot more value out of Mage. I mean... <laughs> Three-fourths Young Dragon, Shadow Goggles, and Spirit Scepter would do you quite well, but you would need a Floor 4 completion, probably. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty useless this entire run because I forgot arrows, so I'm just going to see if I can do a secret route without dying. Yeah, this, this run is a carry because I didn't get arrows. Big sad. I wish I could just, you know, remember to do things. You know, what's funny is I can easily remember facts, data, things that like were interesting to me back in the day, right? I can't control when it happens, right? Some things will just imprint into my brain seamlessly. Other things I have to work really hard and then it just doesn't. And then there's my awful short-term attention span. So I should just sell soup and get what armor and weapon I want to be berserk. Oh, you want to be berserk? Okay, I would just say... Ah, uh, chat, how much is a full set of... Oh, that was good. How much is a full set of Shadow Assassin armor? Granted, that requires a floor 5 completion, which means you're going to have to buy carries. Which, I don't know if I like officially recommending buying carries, but... If we need to work within a stricter budget, then we could do, obviously, three-fourths Shadow Assassin with Zombie Knight Chestplate. Full Superior better than Full Shadow Assassin? I don't know. <laughs> Not in the early game, especially. You'd need to be really strong for that to be the case. It's around 50 mil for Full Shadow Assassin? Okay. In that case, I would say three-fourths Shadow Assassin, Zombie Knight, Chestplate. Try to get a Zombie Knight Chestplate that is legendary without being recommed. I don't know if that's reasonable to request, but you, if you can find one of those, then get it. Um, 
weapon wise, I guess Spirit Shortbow. And then the problem is you're gonna have to buy a floor four and a floor five carry in order to use it. I didn't reach class milestone, bruh. Because I didn't buy arrows. Ah. I hate this. Why, why am I like this? I have so much garbage. Oh, we lost the party leader. Thank you for the runs. Did they say anything or did they just leave? They just left. Strong with AOTD? That is budget, but it might not be good. <laughs> like, it is cheap, but I don't know if it's good for the price. Find a decent mage from chat if you can. Anyone in chat a high level mage? My life goal is to now obtain all dies. Well, definitely don't do it on an Iron Man, but I'm telling you, there's certain dies that literally have not dropped yet and they've been in the game for years. Like, you just straight up will not be able to. Like, it's that rare. <laughs> Not the highest, but capable cat of 42. And yeah, that'll probably work. Uh, yeah. Maybe? Probably? Uh, cat of, no offense, but when a cat of 52 says that they want an invite, I kind of have to. <laughs> Channel points are bugged as a system, like website wide, because that's kind of wild. Maxed adaptive with no, 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 no. But no, if you can manage, um, if you can manage three, four shadow assassins, zombie night, chest play, whatever. Honestly, for the meme, maybe even a Shadow Fury. That, that's probably over budget. And then you could be a Burrs, but that's probably definitely over the budget. Also, there's Cata level requirements, so I don't know if I... Before you actually try to go for something specific, make sure it has requirements that you can deal with. Thoughts on a how to begin Iron Man video? I do want to do that. It's just a matter of actually spending the time to put it together and not being wrong. Perhaps I can write a script and then send it to the Iron Man Sweats Discord and be like, what do you guys think? Considering the name of the Discord, I think they'll have a lot to say. Just be like, hey, does this look somewhat right and then they'll just be like no old man your profile is two years old the meta is completely different in the early game now <laughs> there's a good chance that is what they say well here's the thing about iron man is that it's kind of like bingo you know the best strategies for bingo typically also apply for iron man so maybe my job won't be that hard with that video i don't know why it keeps recommending that i do that when it's locked. Would you recommend Frozen Blaze before Necron and Shadow Assassin? No. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't recommend using it at all. TBH. I already got this secret, but okay. It's four out of five and I can't find five. Oh, wait, it's a lever one, right? 
So that's this. No. How do I get in there? Levers up here, right? No. Doesn't matter. How much longer do you think this game will go without dying? This is one of those scenarios where it's like that thing I said before. It's a self-adjusting system. So can I really make an accurate uh, prediction? Not really. Because if the game starts to really fall off, then the admins are going to reciprocate and do something different, right? We can't just say, oh, this is the trajectory for Skyblock and it's just a straight line. Like, that's just not a thing. Skyblock is ever-changing. The people making it are always making decisions, always changing directions slightly. So, do we really know for sure the future of Skyblock? No. We don't. We can make guesses, I, I suppose. Also, 30, thanks for saving Balpet. I feel like it wasn't just me. I definitely was the loudest voice, but I wasn't the only one screaming. <laughs> you know? Oh, something happened. Class level up. Rend. Well, this used to be good, and it's not anymore. No thanks. <laughs> I wonder when we're getting the cattle level. It's got to be soon. Yeah. This will be nice because that's another eight percent stat boost right there in another 2.2 million xp so those are three tier four master skulls what do i have oh it's a tier five <laughs> We got a little ways to go before we upgrade that. Is the route going to show? There we go. Hello. What are you hoping to drop? Uh, Master Stars. I need enough Master Stars so that my gear isn't trash when Derpy arrives. And I'm also working towards just having all the um, boss collections max. How many months are you away from max skyblock level? That depends. Uh, how long of a grind is skill average 50 from Cata 50? Like starting at Cata 50, how much more play time does it take to get to skill or uh, class average 50? Where is that last secret, bro? This route is not accurate. It doesn't show where the lever is. Uh, why the heck, man? Where, where is the lever? Oh, is it over here? Oh, it is over here. Yeah, I don't know why it's straight. Oh, the route doesn't have the lever because it didn't need the lever before, but now it does. So it's just outdated. 400 to 600 hours? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way it's that much. I mean, it's another 500 hour grind. <laughs> to be fair. 
you have 4.2k m7s to go that told me everything i need to know <laughs> Yeah, it's not happening. No universe. There's no universe where that's happening. Absolutely not. That's insane. I guess the answer is never then. <laughs> I'm never going to have max XP because that's unreasonable. That is not a reasonable request for a brief moment. I thought that was a mine shaft, like the Glacite Tunnels mine shafts, and I was so confused. It is kind of crazy how many videos I've released in the past few months that have like 500 hours, a thousand hours required to actually get it done. Like it's impressive. It is an impressive number of hours. I will say that. Crop milestones literally gives less XP than class average 50. Yeah, but the difference is I don't have to be paying attention during those hours. That's a huge difference. What chat do you read most? Doesn't matter. I'm seeing a feed that is all three chats combined. I just read whatever I see first. And right now, the most chat messages are coming from Twitch. YouTube doesn't have a whole lot of uh, chatters right now. Where are the YouTube chatters at? Oh, we're, we're actually kind of dipping down into the low view counts here. 300 viewers on there. Is Twitch gonna pass YouTube? No, it's not, it's at 190. I was about to say. Where, where route? Route is here. Mm -hmm. And then kick. There's probably like five people there. 14 viewers are there. Hello. Hey, you know what? What I will say is that the kick channel is slowly growing. And if I actually was like streaming on there on all the platforms on a more regular basis, then maybe I'd actually get viewers. <laughs> wow. Crazy concept. Put more hours in more people show up. Now, why is it telling me to... It's not finishing the route. Uh... You should totally do daily 12 hour streams. If I did that, I would suddenly not be a very entertaining streamer anymore. I need a bit of time to recoup. Oh, okay. Oh, there was a dono I missed. Hey, A underscore Numpty, are you in chat? Are you still here? This is 20 minutes ago. Well, thank you for the resub. I feel really bad if you didn't see it. I'm waiting on the chat message, if there is one. I don't know. 
Well, bad streamer SMH. Once you hear me read out the message, you're gonna say that a second time. Oh, Numpty's here! Hell yeah. Hey, I much apologies. <laughs> That's not English. But anyway, so uh, thank you for that T1. I'm glad you're still here. But um, Numpty said that their granddad passed away on Thursday, which by the way, sorry for your loss. Been there. Uh, going back and watching your skyblock vids and watching the streams always cheers me up when I'm down. So thank you. Hell yeah. I'm glad to be that so I almost said substraction. Distraction. There you go. Yeah, I totally get it. I mean, this was my distraction from Ooh. Second Master Star, let's go. Hey, ooh, I'll grab that for sure. But um, no, nah, I was. I mean, people in the people that know my story already know what I'm gonna say, right? Where it's like, I, I, I had a really tough time back in 2018, rock bottom, that sort of thing. And once mid 2019 struck, and all you people showed up, uh, my life got a lot better. <laughs> and just the act of doing the streams was a great distraction from everything that was happening at that time been here since 2019 yep that was five years ago bro we're coming up on the five-year anniversary of skyblock in a few months that's absolute insanity dude i remember watching the video that um jacob ruby made no was it I don't remember. I feel kind of bad because, but who made the the four year Skyblock trailer? It was a year, no, almost a year ago. I remember where I was when I watched that. I was in the um, in the last hotel that we booked for our road trip. Uh, me and my now ex girlfriend. Um, at the time we were doing this big road trip from like uh, Boston to Maine. Might have been Maine, might have been some other, I don't remember. I was in the hotel room watching that video and I was just, since ego virus, I was looking for myself in the video. I don't think I was in it. <laughs> Maybe I was, I don't remember. It might have been. Tips on getting over. Getting over what? Oh, getting over a person? Oh, I'm an expert at that, bro. Holy crap. Tips on getting over a person. Um, It gets easier every time it happens. <laughs> I'm at like fifth or sixth time now. I, I don't know. I, I, at this point, it doesn't really hurt that much anymore. It just kind of is like... Ah, what, what, uh, what's the, I'm sorry. No, no, it's not a bad thing. It, it means that it doesn't, um, oh, that's a weird, look at what's happening to the cloak there. Oh, it's good now. Um, what is the most actionable advice I can give? That's actually good. You know what? I have the perfect advice. Do not isolate yourself. In this state of mind, you're going to want nothing more than to be by yourself with your own feelings, which there is a time for that, like at night when you're about to like, you know, try to maybe not when you're about to go to bed, but like allow some time for yourself, but definitely keep in touch with people. Go to party, uh, maybe not go to parties, but go to hangouts. Like if you got friends where I don't, I don't know if you guys had this, but 
in my friend group, we used to always have that that guy's house. We'd always go to and hang out in their living room and just play video games. It was like always the spot. Like if you have a the spot, then make sure to keep going there. And if you are going to be social, don't just be on your phone while attending an event. Like that phrase of like, oh, 90% of it's just showing up. That is not the case with being social. You need to just be involved, you know, because when left to your own thoughts, your brain will say the worst possible things to you, you know? If you're, if you're anything like me, at least, then the worst thing that could possibly be said to you in that situation is said by yourself, your own brain, your own thoughts. Like, no real person would say things as nasty as you tell yourself after a breakup. Or at least, again, this is my experience. Maybe this is different for everybody else, but... Do you wish anything bad on your exes? No. Even the ones that wronged me, like, what... What's that gonna accomplish? Nothing. They're not in my life anymore, so it's not gonna benefit me in any way. So no, let them live their life. And you know what? What they, the people that have wronged me in the past, probably already acknowledged, hopefully, that they made a mistake and have improved from it. So hey, if I was a part of that process for them to become a better person, that's cool. I don't, I don't wish anything on anyone like that. Nothing like that. But no, don't isolate yourself. Best piece of advice. Surround yourself with um, people, animals, social circles in general. I, I know getting cats uh, was huge for me because it, just having another living thing in the house. Like when you literally live alone and then you suddenly have pets, it's a great feeling. Just having like this living thing that you can like actually like you can see it right there in your face it, it interacts with you if it's a nice cat it'll like rub up against you want some pets you know it's just good what happened with your ex the most recent one um Well, I'd have to go a little bit farther back, right? The reason that relationship even started in the first place is because I was um, recently dumped at the time. Wasn't as upset as previous breakups, but was still not happy. And a girl gave me attention. I liked her. She liked me. Boom. Relationship started. But what I didn't realize until like months and months later was that like i was way too quick to pick someone to call my girlfriend <laughs> like it was it was far too quickly and uh there were some things that like we didn't really agree on but it wasn't like anything bad there were never any fights <laughs> like there were debates i guess but not fights uh never laid a hand on her obviously vice versa she never laid a hand on me in that way. well not in a serious fight kind of way more of a joke kind of way but that doesn't count <laughs> she did to me i never did i i not even as a joke i just don't lay hands on people but um i don't know just incompatible that really is and i'm the one that initiated the breakup and i felt awful for it i, I felt probably the most empathy i've ever felt in my life for a person was in that moment having to do that and just watching someone break down in front of you it's like damn it hurts it hurts to do that to somebody or at least it should hurt um but yeah i don't know it was tough but yeah it was really just incompatibility maybe a bit of fomo there was i mean i'd be lying if i didn't say that like the thought came through my head it's like wow so this is it like it's not a good thought to have but it's a thought you know but it sucks i'm not really it just is what it is. I made the decision where it's like, I I don't know. I, I felt like I wasn't quite ready to settle down yet, you know? Ah, why am I party leader? <laughs> Unfortunate. Thank you for runs. Anyone else want party leader in here? Oh, a Kraken. Thank you for the 10 Australian, by the way. Saw your armor ranking video. Absolute disgrace that you put golem armor in F. 
would you give an upgrade for it? If so, I love how you pointed out golem armor specifically, as if. <laughs> I mean, what's the. What does golem armor even do, bro? Oh, um, P transfer. I don't even know what golem armor does, so I can't even. Me and my girlfriend started dating two days after talking and I've been together six years. And we're getting married on our seventh anniversary. Anniversary. Well, that sounds freaking awesome, dude. I should probably, oh, okay, we're in Party Fighter. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other strategies to get over an ax. Definitely working was a big one for me. That's like half the reason I was able to function at all was the fact that I just wasn't thinking about the breakup because I was like, I need to get this video out. I need to do this homework assignment. I need to do this stream. Like, <laughs> and that had its own problems. I, I'd recommend working as a way to deal with it, but not only working. Cause like I went way too crazy with it. Way, 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 way too crazy with it. Like 18 hour days while the most depressed I'd ever been. It was not good. Golem armor. We gotta look at Golem armor. Oh. I guess we're gonna have to go on the wiki. If I were to propose an upgrade to this set, what does it do? Full set bonus absorption grants the wearer absorption three for two seconds. Why? When they kill an enemy. That makes more sense. I don't know. That sounds pretty trash. I think Golem Armor just needs a complete redo. I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't seem... I, I'd make it more themed towards the pet, maybe. That'd be interesting, I suppose. Your proof men have stronger emotions. <laughs> I'm proof that... No, absolutely not. I am... I can have moments where I am dense. Like, you can't get a smidge of emotion out of me sometimes. I dissociate really easily. And, like... I don't know. This is gonna sound awful. As a kid, I thought I was a sociopath because I didn't understand why people got upset when they saw someone else upset turns out i was just you know brain wasn't done cooking yet and i feel i feel empathy now i can tell you that but you didn't show sadness on stream oh well, it's because it's been like a week at that point and i'm also very experienced i've been through plenty of breakups i i, I understand i i get it i know what the process is like the way I see it is this. When I, I've made this analogy before, let's say a, a, a two-year-old, three-year-old toddler just learning to walk falls on their butt. That hurt. <laughs> they, they felt pain. And up until that point, that was the worst thing that ever happened to that baby. If you think about it, the worst thing that ever happened to that baby is it felt pain because it fell like a quarter of a foot but it did fall and it freaks out it cries right because it hurt because it's the worst thing that ever happened to it that's all it knows in this world that is the worst and then let's say that kid gets to like maybe eight or nine years old learning to ride a bike falls scrapes his knee worst thing that's ever happened to him is really upset cries oh it hurts ow whatever and then you get all the way to first breakup and man it's terrible but once you've done it a few times, then it's not the worst thing you've been through anymore. And then you can deal with it. So, there you go. I've yet to feel anything remotely close to the despair I felt in the weeks following my first breakup. I cannot describe how deep and dark of a pit I was in mentally. 
because frankly i don't i don't know how to quantify it compared to how i feel about things that make me upset nowadays like it's a night and day difference like i felt like my world was over like i thought my entire world was over bro i thought i lost the the one oh here's another piece of advice the concept of the one is for the disney movies man no such thing all there is is compatibility and incompatibility i'm late but question why was it titled end of an era because i finished farming a thousand hour grind a fifth of my profile done and over with permanently so it was a big deal skyblock player has an active love life well not active right now but i'm not i think i said this earlier i'm at like for the first time in my life i'm not upset that i'm single you know like obviously the thoughts come through where it's like hey, it'd be kind of nice if i had a, a girlfriend right now but it's not like i'm devastated heart pain heart hurt depression it's just kind of like ah, well it is what it is and i don't want to say that as a diss to my ex obviously nothing i've said is a diss to any of my exes it just is what it is how many subs gifted for an f ad uh unfortunately i don't do that sorry i don't sell friend requests not for sale Did you know in the Middle East we find a girl at 25? I mean... Interesting. There's a lot of things that the Middle East does differently with dating. I had um, one of my dad's friends growing up. He... Um, this guy's name is Cal. I think uh, his family is like Muslim, right? So they do arranged marriages. That's a crazy concept. That's an insane concept. But it's a thing people do. And honestly, it has some merits. Some. I'm not going to discount it completely. Considering what the other side looks like with dating apps and people window shopping and not taking any of it seriously. And, you know. So there's something to be said about arranged marriage just kind of being, well, direct. <laughs> it works, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. The whole light how does divorce work can you i don't know don't have the knowledge to know but that's the thing people do you know what's crazy chat <laughs> i don't know if i'm even should i even say this on stream hmm and why not there was a point when him and my dad were talking he was so impressed that um he brought up the idea of me being introduced into that world. And then like, I, I don't know how to say it vaguely. I, there was a point when they were talking about how I could potentially be matched up with his daughter. There you go. Which apparently is very rare because I'm not Muslim and I'm not religious at all, really. So, but that was the thing that was in passing conversation. Didn't happen. I didn't even know about it for a while, but. And if it did happen, well, let's just say that family has oil money. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Uh... But I, I guess he was impressed with like the fact that I was able to build this like whole YouTube thing from nothing while doing college, while learning the program, all that. I had a, a, an impressive record, I guess. Oh. 
the one's the worst boss? Eh, it's not as bad as I used to think it is. Once you have the gear to deal with it, it's really not that bad. If they patch stunning it, then yeah, then it would be the worst. I think currently floor seven is the most tedious boss fight to work with. I mean, that's not even a hot take. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just wandering. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think, honestly, when it comes to, like, the dating world, I'm losing hope on the apps. I don't see the apps really yielding anything meaningful right now. I really, to be honest, I really want to meet someone in person. Really badly. I don't want it to be a stupid app. I want to just so happen to meet a girl that I think is attractive and she thinks I'm attractive and then we just hit it off like in person like how crazy would that be <laughs> I don't want to be completely anti-app because I want to have all my options open in case someone does come along that you know it, it would work with but you know apps are L of course they are Middle East is the poorest place in the world, except UAE. I don't know what that means. Uh, I could stupid. Or Dubai and Saudi Arabia. Isn't Dubai also fairly poor overall? It's just that the rich are like really, like they really flaunt their riches. That's what I heard. I don't know. United Arab Emirates. Right, right, right. If you can meet your past self, what would you say to him? I don't think I want to change the past at all I don't know I think the way that my life has gone thus far is a delicate thing there's a lot of events that could very well have gone a different way and changed the trajectory of my life completely so I don't really know if I want to risk it Except for maybe Bitcoin or something stupid. <laughs> like, ooh. Yeah, I can't get any loot with this new party leader. I'm, I am scared for my items 40 runs from now. Dating apps are wild because my wife and I met on one, but at the same time, her brother met two separate scammers on the dating app. I don't think I've... Oh, never mind, I have met scammers. I'm trying to think of the funniest one. I don't know. They're not even that entertaining. It's just, oh, you're not a real person, unmatched by. Like, it's not even entertaining, which is a bit sad. Why did that not? There you go. Crazy how the stream just goes from politics to economics or relationship advice. Yeah, it just kind of goes wherever we feel like. <laughs> okay, that actually isn't that difficult if you just don't break the floor under you and you actually have something to stand on. In a second, we're going to talk about the meaning of life. There's no conversation to be had there. It's pretty obvious there is none, but that's okay. It's like a sandbox game. Do what you want. Do what makes you happy. There you go. You don't need meaning. Some inherent meaning that is like separate to you. Why don't you make your own meaning? Anyways, <laughs> before we actually make the conversation go there. Life's the ultimate MMO. Yeah, right?
<laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna meet someone in person, though. That's the problem. As much as I want to and would really be... That'd be sick. How the hell would I meet somebody? <laughs> I don't go out. I work in my office. <laughs> like, I could walk to my bedroom right now. Like, it's... There's no commute. There's no public place. There's no co-workers that I can meet in real life. I don't know. My friend and I met at an anime club. Well, with friendships is a lot easier. There's not that expectation of, oh, this could be the person I spend the rest of my life with, better not screw it up. And then that thought is what screws it up. I love that. I love that little glitch that the male brain has. That's a recom. Thank you very much. You gotta get that patched, yeah. <laughs> Social anxiety patch. I'm playing on a server and I just got the rarest axolotl. What are the chances? <sighs> Should probably have tried, you know, grabbing some stuff from the NPC before. Uh, Spirit short bow, bank ultimate wise. Free chest. How about these? Wisdom combo, rejuvenate last stand. Yep. You, wisdom, no pain, no gain. Hot potato books. Uh, nope. Rend combo, rejuvenate. Rend, wisdom, no pain, no gain. This is all garbage, bro. Like 0.003% chance? That is insanely rare. How long were you trying to do that? <laughs> what? Do we have... Do we have people? We have people. 0.083%. Yeah, that's definitely impressive. That's like, what? 1 in... 1 in 1200? Thank you for that chat. Save me the mental math. But yeah, my plan going forward is really just to get back into my gym program. So that's at least one thing I'm doing that's social three times a week. So I'll be going to the gym. Not right away. I need to warm up to that because my I'm out of shape again. So we're going to do a little bit of home gym action until I'm a bit better in shape. Then I won't look like an idiot at the bench press. I'd say probably in a month. I'd give it a month of just trying to like get fit, cardiovascular fit, not necessarily muscle fit. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna meet a gym girl? Hey, you know what? I mean, if that's how it's gonna be, I'm not gonna say no. But that's one of the things I'll be doing. And I'm not, I'll make this very clear. I'm not going to the gym to meet somebody. I'm going to the gym to work out. The whole meeting a person thing, if it happens, it happens. It probably won't, to be honest, because when I go to the gym, I'm kind of just in my own world. I got my headphones in. I'm not paying attention to nobody. I'd have to get approached by a girl and that's just not how it works. So <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be where I meet um, my next girlfriend, to be honest. But hey, if it happens, I'm not, again, I'm not going to say no, but it's probably not going to happen. Um, other than that, I have no idea. What was your highest bench when you were in shape? I did everything in four sets of 12 back then, so it's not really the most accurate. Four sets of 12. It wasn't much. It's like 135 or something. It was just a 45 on each side plus the bar. I don't have, like, I, I don't have the thickest arms. Like, they're not 
Like, I don't, there's not a lot of definition in my arms. But I, I am OP when it comes to the, the, the leg strength and leg muscles. I, I don't know why. I'm built like a kangaroo, honestly. <laughs> a little bit. That's probably the most accurate way to describe my body type. <laughs> Is that I, I'm like if a kangaroo was a person. <laughs> Just crazy powerful legs and that's about it. <laughs> What was your best squat? I never liked squat. I always felt like the bar was gonna either roll off my back or something was gonna go wrong. I just don't, I'm not experienced enough to really enjoy that. I, I much prefer the uh, leg press machine when it comes to like seeing how far I can go. And that has its own problems because if you leg like, lock, then you could just straight up snap your knee the wrong way, but I didn't. <laughs> I have some pretty, again, chonking <laughs> infrastructure with my legs like that it would take a lot of force to break my knee a lot <laughs> but um when i was in middle school i was doing again like four sets of 12 at 400 pounds nowadays i could do 450 but not as many i heard diets 80 percent of losing weight ignore the whole percent thing Losing weight is just calories in, calories out. And if you look up, is it easier to reduce the calorie intake or to increase the calorie burn? It's far easier to reduce the calories, but I wouldn't give a percent to it. I, I think it'd be better just to educate yourself on specifically why it's better, not just the fact that it is. That's my advice. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's up, Fezzy? How much can you deadlift? Again, that's one I don't really like. Easy to get the form wrong and hurt your back. I, I don't, people are asking for power lifting exercises, right? I don't want to be a power lifter. I'm not going to the gym to be a power lifter. I'm going for the sleeper build, or at least I'm going to. I haven't been yet, but I'm going to go for the sleeper build. I just want to be fit cardiovascularly. I, You know what? I, I feel like if my thumb wasn't weird, then I'd be into bouldering. I'd be into climbing because I kind of think that's what the... That's kind of the body type I'm going for, where it's just, you kind of just look like a person, but suddenly you can just climb a wall. Like, that's kind of sick. You know what I mean? <laughs> just being like crazy mobile. Wait, I'm at 190 right now. My goal weight is around 165, 170 while saturated with creatine. You know, for the hell of it, I might try to get under 160 just to say I did because that's like for five foot seven. I think it's like 159 is like the, the upper end of what's considered a healthy weight, which is such BS, by the way, because when you have people with a body type that has a lot more muscle, you're considered like obese when I'm just muscular. Like, I don't I'm not in a position now where I would consider myself overweight even in terms of like body fat like if you look at the number like oh your weight is higher than it should be like sure but like that's because of mostly muscle but there is some fat that i don't want that i gotta get rid of i'd say probably about 15 20 pounds of fat which is very doable in a, a month or three a month or two a month or three months You should make a list of what you plan to do at the gym. Oh, I already have a whole program set up. Jawline don't lie though. Honestly though, the face really is a good indicator of like how fit someone is, like in terms of weight. Uh, maybe not actually. Uh, you know, I take that back. For me it is, but there are people that just naturally have round faces. So it wouldn't work. Never mind. Wasn't BMI invented during the Great Depression? BMI is a measure that is useful for um, 
when you're talking about large groups of people, BMI is good. It's something that you can get as like an average, but when you're talking about an individual, it's body fat percentage for sure. That's the metric you should be looking at. Oh, for once it wasn't locked. Would you look at that? You need to grow your hair out and not put it to the side. You'll get more girls. What do you mean not put it to the side? How would that work? You want me to look like Asmund Gold? I'm gonna be honest. I would absolutely hate long hair. I would not stand it. It would be so annoying. Every time it like, I can barely stand when my hair starts to like touch my eyes. Like just feeling that is so, it's annoying. It's very uncomfortable and distracting. So I, um, nah. We need another IRL vlogger a day in the life. We did one not too long ago, but it performed really bad. <laughs> Sorry, it was just the topic earlier talked about my first ex and I was just like thinking Ugh. God that whole thing was I think one of the worst things is that after three years of that relationship being a thing I had one of those weak moments where you text the ex when you're depressed at like Midnight I did that and she actually responded and again, three years after the breakup, we met up in person and it felt like I was getting broken up with all over again. Oh my God. It was, I just, sorry. I was thinking about that and I was like, huh. yeah, here's some other advice. Once a breakup happens, it doesn't matter how the breakup went. The fact that that relationship had ended or lapsed means it's perma broken. Once you shatter a vase, you can glue it back together, but you'll know it was broken. And man, I strongly believe that with the relationships. I, I don't think, and maybe people can prove me wrong, but I don't think it's worth trying to fix something that already ended and started again. Because at least in my case, yikes, bro. It was the most depressing thing ever. I remember at some point the conversation when she came back after three years to talk to me. I remember the conversation got to, oh yeah, so like she asked me like, oh, how have your relationships since us been? And I, I was, <laughs> I was being honest. They weren't great. They were actually pretty bad. Then I, I, I just spoke what happened. I was like, hey, you really want to know? It wasn't great. I don't want you to feel sorry for me, but it wasn't great. And then when it came time, she's like, do you want, do you want to know who I've been dating? And I was like, no, don't actually don't tell me. I don't want to know. And I, I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever straight up told somebody I would not like to hear that. Like you could tell it was a sore spot. By the way, that was another star. I was talking about some depressing crap, but we're going to clip it anyway. Good luck with that, Fezzy. <laughs> but yeah, man. Ugh. Depressing virus. Not anymore. Definitely back then. Holy crap, I was devastated. It was really bad. And it's funny because you think, oh, it's been three years, right? So like, you'll, you'll handle it fine three years after the fact. Been through like four other relationships in that time. No, it didn't make it any less painful. Just seeing her again in person and like thinking to myself, wow, this is a situation I should not 
like this feels wrong it's like i don't know it's a weird feeling i don't know how to describe it it's just is there was this strong feeling of this isn't right it was almost like my subconscious knew that it was over and it was never gonna not be over I don't know. When's the next fan mail video? I would do more of those again if there were enough people to watch it, but I just don't think there's enough. I have not benefited from my 30 bar sub RNG by dropping two recoms and three runs. That is some pretty good RNG. 30 year lead, tank left. Oh. Um. Oh. Here, you know what? I'll transfer it to you. If you don't want it, you can hot potato it to somebody else. <laughs> I don't want party leader, bro. I hate having party leader. Seeing that sucks so much, man. I feel you. My ex got with my best friend a month after we broke up. Mm hmm. You didn't just lose one person, you lost two, didn't you? Cause so did I. But it was actually worse than what you just said. And seeing that we hung out was gut-wrenching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I would not be able to still kick it with a group that has my ex dating some other guy that's in the group. And <laughs> yeah, no, no. But no, one of my best friends actually was messing around with my first ex before we broke up while I was away at college. So that's a, <laughs> there's layers, bro. There's a reason I'm messed up. <laughs> and yeah, holy crap. The more I think about it, like, oh, I deserve to have felt upset in that moment, even though it was the first breakup. It was just genuinely bad. You know, when they say that something builds character, that moment built so much character. Okay, it appears that the party is not progressing at all. Um, anybody from chat? Um, oh, wait, does this person even know I gave them leader? They might not. I was that evil person once. Ooh. Hey, you know what? We live and we learn, right? You're cute? Oh, am I just dumb? Oh, we are. Okay. I, I just can't read. It's all good. Oh, it's Pinkfish. What's up? <laughs> Welcome to the party. 30 had tons of character development. When I say I grew up in like a year, like I went from mentally being the age of like 15 to mentally being the age of like 35 within a year's time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a rough year for me. Oh, boy. Wait, no, not him. <laughs> Very good. The stream's depressing? No, not really. The thing is, I'm talking about it w with it like, acknowledging it's in the rear view mirror. Right? Like, this stuff is long gone. This stuff hasn't been a part of my life for almost five years. Like, it's, we're, we're chilling, you know? We're fine. I don't get depression. Is there a problem with me or I just don't care? There's a big difference between being sad and depression. Depression means that you don't feel, well, it can mean a lot of things, but one of the hallmarks of depression is feeling nothing, being numb. Something really good happens to you, you kind of feel just meh. Something really bad happens, you feel meh. And then when that ha when that moment happens where the bad thing hits and you're like reacting to it like a champ, you're like, oh, I guess I'm just mentally strong. No, you're in the middle of a defense mechanism. <laughs> yeah. So I wouldn't discount depression if you feel like nothing. But if you do feel joy when joyous things happen, then maybe you are just built different. <laughs> but you could still tank the, the bad things. 
I thought I wasn't depressed because I'm numb. See, that's the thing, is that's the, that's the big um, misconstru- nope. Misconception, there we go. How are you enjoying Precise? I haven't noticed any difference, to be honest. Because we're playing a floor where the damage difference doesn't matter. I'm sure I would have felt it if I did that upgrade in the middle of doing M6s. Are you single right now? Yeah, I am. By choice this time. It's very rare that it's by choice for me, but this time it's by choice. But I'll keep my options open. I'm not going to say that I'm completely closed down. <laughs> if the right person comes along, then yeah, we'll see. But until then, I'm going to focus on my, my fitness and my Minecraft. <laughs> Hey, after all, you gotta have something worth sharing, you know? I'm kidding. Don't, don't feel like you can't date if you're not fit. That's not the message I'm trying to say. <laughs> I have depression and it's just you feel nothing all day long. And then when you sleep and repeat. And then you sleep and repeat. Win the lottery, nothing. Dog dies, nothing. It just eats away at you not thinking or feeling anything. That's the thing, right? If you want me to be real for a second, that happens to me a lot. It comes in waves for me. The the numb feeling, dissociative, depressed, just kind of feeling nothing. And then there's other times, like, it'll be for like a week or two at a time, you know? It'd be a, a week or two at a time when I just feel nothing, complete robot. And then another two weeks, where I feel everything, like too much, it's overwhelming. It, it's just so, so inconsistent. But I will say that the numb feeling is far more common than the, oh my God, everything is so overwhelming. I'm feeling so much emotion right now. Like I'm just not an emotional person or spiritual person or a people person. I, I like to stick with things that I like, like things, you know, literally it's like I'll, I'll code all day instead of focusing on like, I don't know, having fun at a party. My fun would be, I don't know, playing Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It depends on the person a lot. But if you're feeling numb and think that you're just a tank for not having depression, um, I have some news for you. <laughs> Someone had to tell me this not too long ago. Those people who fake being depressed so they get more attention than the actual depressed people. I mean, that's, that's not surprising. It happens everywhere in life. Squeaky wheel gets the oil, as they say, unfortunately. You probably don't remember me, but about six months ago, I got wiped and asked you for help and I restarted Skyblock and I'm now approaching a nine bill net worth. Very well done. And just got done hyper maxing mining setup. I just want to say thank you for the help. Yeah, I, I, it, it hurts every time I see someone in chat saying something like that, that they got hacked or banned or their account got wiped or whatever. And I just can't do anything about it. it sucks. I feel bad because it's like, well, you're coming to me for help, but I can't do anything. So like, <laughs> I don't know. That's why you play Iron Man? That is why you play Iron Man. That way, there's less incentive to steal your account and there's less of a likelihood you get false banned for interacting with uh, other players economically. Something that helps me a lot with it is just doing things that make you miserable. That pays off with a little joy. I don't think I'm reading that right. Why would you go out of your way to do something that makes you miserable? Unless it's something that's like gonna make you feel better in the long term. That I can get behind. That concept. 
do the difficult thing now and I don't know. Do you know how to TNT Pearl through Wither Doors? I've seen that, but I don't care. <laughs> That's a level of dungeon sweat that I don't really want to reach. Like I could if I tried, but like it's not worth it. Like I'm just not gonna bother. I'll get my cat of 50, my recoms, my master stars and never come back. That's really as simple as it gets. And for some reason, oh. Wait. That doesn't make any sense, but all right. You got to get the Brad Pitt Fight Club haircut. Fight Club. I mean, when I have a lot of gel in my hair, that's what it looks like. Like if I were to like do this. There's not enough gel in my hair anymore. No, you, no. I would need to put more gel in my hair, but it does tend to look like that if I get it a certain way. Thirty. Do you have treasure artifact? I don't. Stop voiding items. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but like muscle memory just kind of says no. <laughs> That's the problem. Have you ever been approached by Hypixel to work for them? Like Time Dio. Is that what happened? That they reached out to him? I was under the impression he applied, but maybe not. Um, I haven't, no. Although I have spoken with some staff and it's not a 0% chance, but I'd be coming to them, not the other way around. When no one listens to you while you're talking, it makes you feel invisible. Yeah. I hope you don't feel that way about my streams, by the way, because there's only there's only so much I can literally see and speak at once. So it's not like I'm ignoring you. It's just that there's only so much I can read at once. I'm rate limited. If you weren't a girl, I would find you attractive. <laughs> that sentence doesn't make any sense. If I was a girl, I'd look completely different. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> a lot of yawns have been streaming for how long nine out we just hit nine hours of stream Whew. wait am i dumb wait did i get this secret up here oh i could have sworn that had four secrets in this room not five no. all right what was your longest stream ever? Unplanned. Unplanned? Didn't I stream like 19 hours a few months ago? The, the longest planned stream is a completely different story. That was like 46 hours, but yeah, I think the answer is around, did I just say 46? I meant to say 26. I don't remember. Um. Yeah, tw I think the longest unplanned stream was 19 hours.
is there a way to get your bad line profile yeah uh right shift profiles search 30 virus actually don't even search just go to most recent why is it not working search well it's not working right now <laughs> any childhood sports i used to love soccer and i still like i i just haven't gotten the chance to play soccer but i absolutely would if given the chance if there was like a rec league for soccer for people that are out of college i would so do that I like tennis a lot too. Played a good bit of that. I think kickball is just an improvement over baseball. I don't even think that's that hot of a take. Kick kickball is just better, to be honest. <laughs> How's your sleep schedule doing? I guess we'll find out. My tolerance break from the edibles starts today, so... <laughs> we'll see to be honest no idea there might genuinely be a situation where i just get like four hours of sleep a night for like a week that might happen i'm not sure i'm trying to push this stream out as long as i can so that i could just pass out as soon as stream's over because i know otherwise it's going to be really hard to fall asleep at least for another few days or a week i would say probably Ooh, recom yes 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 gimme gimme we love recombobulators. As someone who plays baseball, kickball is a lot more fun. Yeah. I think it's because the pace is so much faster. The pace is faster and you don't need a bat, which is a plus, I guess. And it's more satisfying to kick something, I think. Also, the skill ceiling is a lot lower. I'll be fair about that. There's probably a lot more skill in hitting a ball with a bat than kicking a ball. Well, not probably, definitely. Your life seems so fun, I can't lie. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> At least currently, all my life really is, is wake up ride my bike eat something and then either stream play skyblock or code and you won't be socializing or interacting with anyone except your roommates not a whole lot of leisurely activity other than the streams themselves and to be fair this, i'm not complaining this is all my own doing if I wanted a more entertaining life, I would just do more entertaining things. But I value the prospect of progress and money a bit more right now. Just because anxiety, I guess. I, I just want to be safe financially, if that makes sense. There aren't many downsides. I mean, the biggest downside is probably... You just don't know anybody, don't have a so social circle. I moved to Florida from New York two years ago and have barely met anybody here. So like, I don't have a circle. There's just, there's my parents and like my roommates and like maybe three other people in the entire like state pretty much. Do clubs exist or something like a biking club or something in your neighborhood? Probably. I really wish that I was just that like not so social person that was just adopted by the group of social people that went out and did stuff. That'd be sick. Do you and Fezzy still talk? He was in chat like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, we were in a VC last night. 
Me and Fezzy talk almost every day. And usually it's not about YouTube stuff. We just kind of chill. Ooh, spear bone again. Do you wish you went with something other than streaming? Like I said, I don't want to change the past. I, I, I do like the life that I have made for myself. As much as I do think that I need more social activity in general, I like desperately want more social activity, but like, how the hell am I going to do it? It's like the ultimate problem. This isn't, um, it's, it's partially a me problem, but it's a societal problem. Like, it's not easy to meet new people. It's not. It's because like more and more people are working from home or minding their business and just not interacting with other human beings. You're voiding again? What do you mean I'm voiding again? Oh, items. I mean, I appreciate what you're saying, Jaden, but there's like no way. That, that is some deep rooted muscle memory from hundreds of hours of suffering through this. I don't think that's changing anytime soon. When you think of the boys, what do you think of? That Australian guy being deranged. <laughs> I forget his name. Why is the minimap not... Uh, uh, oh. Oh, weird. The map's a bit broken right now. I thought he was British. He might be. I did a thing. No, not them. Although I do like that channel. Him and his buddy. And that's what the boy boy channel is, right? No, the, the question was, what do I think of when I hear of the boys as in like the show? I think of the, the Australian or British guy, not sure his origins exactly. Live with your second at or never play Skyblock again. I'm gonna sound really dumb for saying this, but like, how do you figure out what your insert number here at is? I don't just randomly see, like, what does that even mean? I typically don't at people when I tweet. Sometimes I do. Is it like the list of people that just show up automatically when you type at the symbol? It's a TikTok thing. Oh, that's why I don't even have TikTok. That makes a lot more sense. I'm one of the few people that have managed not to have their attention span annihilated by TikTok. Mine just came like that. Oh, I picked up Spirit Bow by accident. Oh, there's a few donuts I missed. Oh, Jaden, if you're still here, thank you for that sub an hour ago. It's a T3! I'm a terrible streamer sometimes. How do I manage? That's a spirit sword. How do I manage to miss that? Pope Putis. <laughs> thank you for the prime sub. I'm the ex with best friend guy in youtube chat thanks for sharing the experience with me man glad to hear things are better now hey i mean it's it's a there's no way i have no arrows there's no way 
that I did this again. I feel like relationships and breakups are like the most relatable topic of all time because like 99.9% .9 of people go through it you know <laughs> like it's I get it man I get it and if me explaining my scenario my situation and how I dealt with it if that helps you that's awesome I'm really glad Hence relatable. Yep. I try, I try. Well, actually, I don't. I don't have to because I just am. <laughs> there you go. It's not like I'm trying to be relatable. That's that's kind of not how it works, right? If you try to be relatable, then you get a... Um, what was it? How do you do, fellow kids? Type moment. <laughs> Are you in college? No, no been quite a while since I dropped out was not for me for sure for some reason my school hasn't blocked switch yet oh yeah I can't I'd use my ability to open that no arrows It was locked. Do you ever think depression comes from high pixel sky block? <laughs> In my life? Um. <sighs> I have to think about that. Uh, not in the first few years. Farming? Yes. The rest of Skyblock, uh, I don't, I don't know. I think farming was a net negative on my mental health, probably. Yeah, the rest of the game, I wouldn't say so. No. Use rapid fire so you get milestone bonus. Oh, 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 crap! I just realized. Crap, crap, milestone. No. Give me milestone, please. I want loot for this run. There we go. Good call, good call. I did go to college. I dropped out, though. You were just nuking tank? Hey man, I had to do it. I needed milestone, otherwise this run would be pointless. Thoughts on Windows 11? People just keep asking thoughts on and then insert topic here. Being treated like a chatbot right now. No, um, I, I don't know, I haven't used it. Seems fine. Don't like ads though. I heard there's some of those. That's not pog. All right, let's get some arrows. No, 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 no. Wait, no, stop. No arrows. Desperate need arrows. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Would you ever cheat? Absolutely not. You know what's sad? My go-to line for years now has been like, I know what it's like. I've been cheated on. And I would absolutely never put someone through that ever again. Or I would never put someone through that again. I've never done it for the record. Never plan on doing it either. But I, someone told me, I don't remember who, someone told me that most of the people who cheat were previously cheated on. So now it's like, oh. Maybe that's not a good thing for me to say anymore because I don't want to be associated with cheers. <laughs> You're cooked. Chad, am I just doomed to cheat on somebody? Is that how it works? No, I know myself. I definitely would not. I mean, what is cheating, right? You think you're in a relationship and then you think to yourself, you know, 
maybe i don't know i want more than this and then instead of being an adult and ending the relationship because clearly it's not fulfilling for you anymore so being a child and then just saying nothing to your significant other then going to someone else I'd say it's just a childish thing to do. It's a very immature thing to do. It means that you don't got no spine, no backbone. You can't handle watching someone upset at a thing you said. That's what I think cheating is. So no, I would absolutely never do that because I have actual, like, <laughs> I'm capable, you know? And if I was immature and didn't care for anyone else, then I guess I would have been just <laughs> looking for other people without ending things. I would never, again, I would never personally do that. That'd be awful. It's disgusting, honestly. It's not just disgusting. It's also just dumb. Like, think of all the added stress. Like, bro, I would not want to have to deal with that. Having to hide not only one relationship, but a lot of times two of them against the other. Like that seems being that secretive, you'd have to have like either two phones or like have your notifications set off or make a contact that's a different name or that. Bro, it's awful. So much work. Everything I've done in the past five years since my rock bottom has been made with the intention of making my life easier. Like, <laughs> so that would just be so anti what I want. <laughs> it would just add infinite stress. <laughs> you would know? Well, the thing is, it was a lot easier for my ex to cheat on me because, like, I had infinite trust because I'd never even considered cheating as a thing that she could do. And then obviously me being five hours away makes it pretty easy to just text somebody and meet up and do things because I'm not checking phones. I never would check phones even in person. I've never requested to see a girlfriend's phone. I think that's ridiculous. Oh, another spirit wing. How do you feel about having the other person's location? I still think that's a breach of privacy. I would never expect a girlfriend to give me that information and i also wouldn't expect someone to request that info from me i don't care who it is and it's not like i have anything to hide with where i'm going but like if the personality type that would ask for that information is also the personality type that would be really on you about like every little thing you did and then like asking why instead of someone i'm speaking from experience okay chat i had an ex that i'm not gonna say which one but i had an ex <laughs> that i'm sure would have requested location if she could but we were long distance and there was just one time i'll never forget it i wake up and i made the worst sin i did the worst sin chat you know what i did I made a public tweet before replying to her good morning text. That was my crime. Uh, you're on Twitter, but you don't have the time to say good morning. <laughs> I, I just don't like people judging me on little crap like that. Like... It's my life. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'll get to it when I get to it. <laughs> like, you're, you're out here asking for a good morning. How satisfying is that good morning going to be now? Now that you've asked for it directly. I'm sure it's... So, it's just... Uh, it's just, I think that's gross too. Not nearly as gross, but it's still gross. 
<laughs> What's happening? Oh, we're just talking. Just playing some games. Where the hell? Oh. That's honestly crazy. Yeah, well. Crazy people do crazy things, right? And by the way, I hope that she's in better mental health now. Because she had some issues. Never gonna find out, probably. Because I don't, I don't look up exes. I don't do that. In the time since the stream started, I've gone to Driver's Ed... Gone on a six mile bike ride, played two hours of Skyblock and put out, and gone out to a fancy Italian restaurant for dinner. Hell yeah. A concerning amount of the messages are asking if I'm single. I hope you know I'm not. <laughs> I don't online date, sorry. No, I'm kidding. I, I don't. I, my ego would have to be absolutely massive for me to assume that. No. Um, but no, I am. I am single at the moment. That said, I am planning on hopefully putting myself in a situation where I would just randomly find someone in person. I really do hope that happens. It would be so much more genuine than the apps. How on earth can you stand floor four for nine hours? Well, first of all, we started with floor three. Second of all, have you seen my gameplay? Have you seen how often I was looking at chat instead of game? <laughs> Bunch of garbage. Hey, look. My disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. I know that reference. I got that reference. I watched that YouTuber. Shout out Review Bra. This is pre recorded. You know what's funny? You probably could fake a stream nowadays with LLMs. I said this earlier. Me and Fezzi were um, experimenting with them, and we managed to get a language model running locally on his computer. Which makes you think, like, I don't know. You could technically, it was fast. You could, like, that language model was quick. You could make a whole chat's worth of messages pretty easily, I would imagine, nowadays on a locally run LLM, if you really wanted to. Why aren't you re-rolling chests? Why the hell would I re-roll anything other than a 4-7 chest? I'm just laying in bed listening and not watching the stream. I mean, that's kind of how you do it. I mean, there's no gameplay to really look at unless I get a crazy drop, but like, I'll just say what the drop is. <laughs> but no, I consume a lot of content that way too, where I don't even look at it, I just listen. Big fan of that. Mm -mm. I don't know what that message means, and I... <laughs> I'm not even gonna process that, sorry. <laughs> Where is that? Oh. Perhaps if I looked at the game instead of chat, I could actually do something productive. That would make a lot of sense. There we go. <laughs> Rerolls worth and M5 end up. Why M5? Is it fourth master stars? Are they that? Wait, no, third master stars, right? I'm getting them confused. How many Kismets do I even have? I have 37 Kismets. <laughs> All-time favorite show? Probably Breaking Bad. I'm a normie. Sorry. 
Futurama is very good, though. We'll say that. And so was Rick and Morty. <laughs> what? Your Discord said the end of an era and I got concerned and I came here, but you're chilling on Iron Man, so I wondered what era ended. The farming era ended. <laughs> Have you watched the movie Seven? No. But I do recall a very obscure scene from a web series that probably no one in chat knows about. Eh, maybe not. One of my favorite YouTube videos ever made by someone else. Does anyone remember Gmod Idiot Box? God, I, I remember way too much. Way too much from those videos. There was that classical music. Uh, the specific episode that I can remember right now, which is probably episode seven, now that I think about it, because of the intro, it has that stereotypical um, classical music, like the boom, ba boom, 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 ba 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 da ba ba, like that one, <laughs> and then it's just the um, the combine soldier guy that's like the friend to. The creator, I guess, of Gmod Idiot Box. Just pointing at a bunch of the number seven in movies. <laughs> God, I remember that. Oh, no, it was nine. It was it was nine. It wasn't seven. It was nine. It was nine. Thank you for the correction, chat. It was nine. They showed, like, several different movies that had the word nine in its title. And I just... <laughs> yes. Have you ever played Fortnite? I've played three games ever, and of those three games, I won two of them. That was back in like 2018, 2019. My frames are starting to die a little bit. That's how you know the stream's been going too long. I'm probably running out of memory. <laughs> nope, mineral set Devon's gold still worth as I don't know what you mean by a triple M I don't know what that means <laughs> turn off the BCI reminder thing in settings you can do that where How do you manage your storage space? I have a one terabyte drive just for my footage that's almost full. Um, I have a two terabyte, uh, what's M.2 SSD for my OS and games. And then I have another one, another two terabyte for my footage. But what I do is I upload uh, the footage that's relevant to whatever video we're working on. I upload it to Google Drive and send it. Um, and then Fezzi can access the same drive. And then once the video project's done, we delete the raw footage. We don't keep it. If we did, we'd have like... Oh my god. Each video is like hundreds of gigabytes. I mean, at this point, petabytes of data like way way too much data to reasonably store on a personal machine 
Should I ask this one girl on a date? I don't know. Do you like her? <laughs> if you're asking the question, then I guess probably go for it. <laughs> Oh, we got some Twitch subs. Oh, we got a few things. Um, Coda R2D2. Thank you for the two dollars super chat. It's been nine hours. Why are you still on here? Like I said before, I'm uh going on a tolerance break with my my favorite uh substance of choice, which is the Delta Nine gummies. And a, a very large withdrawal side effect is the inability to sleep for like a week. Not like the whole week, but it makes sleeping difficult. So I'm just going to keep this stream going until I feel that my body can pass out without having to force it. <laughs> and her friend says she likes me, but I don't know. Overthinking sucks, you know? Overthinking does suck, but here's the thing. If a mutual friend said that the other person likes you then you're already in literally just be yourself and that's like the most obvious answer ever right but like it really is true don't think about oh, and here's the other thing you need to be ready to give up on that relationship it's going to sound really counterintuitive but walking in you need to have the impression of if this doesn't work out i'm gonna be absolutely fine because you will by the way don't even think a week ahead with this girl. Don't, if you start thinking, oh, what's our, what's it gonna be like when we live together? No, 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 no. Like, like, do not think too far in the future. Do not think about, oh, what happens if I screw this up? You know what happens if you screw this up? Then you get to try again later with a different girl. It is what it is. All right, that's my best advice I'll give you, is that honestly, you just, you cannot show signs of weakness. And you can't actively be thinking that because if you do, you're gonna you're gonna show signs of weakness. They can smell it. They can smell when you're when you're anxious and you don't know how to react. Pickup line. Don't use a pickup line. Don't. Anyone who, like, says that pickup lines actually work unironically needs to not be listened to. <laughs> it should, this should be common knowledge by this point. I'd, I'd even be direct, to be honest. If a person, if, if that girl isn't lying, that she told you this other girl likes you, then just straight up say, hey, I heard you like me. Well, I just want to let you know I like you too. So, you know, there's something like that. What if you're gay? Well, the same, same thing. I don't know. If you like a person, ask. <laughs> I, I don't have as much or any, I don't have any experience with that, obviously. So I, I don't really have much to share that could help you. Uh, good luck, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. The only expertise I have to draw from is being a straight male. <laughs> I've always felt you should be open about your feelings, even the bad ones. Uh, here's where, okay. That's where I disagree. At least early on in a relationship, probably not the best idea to open up completely. Cause it just kind of puts the person in an awkward position for them to just kind of hear out your problems. So I keep that to a minimum, but if you can like build lore if like they ask you and then you, I wouldn't say be vague about it, but keep the details to like a minimum, right? Friends are for ranting, not a girlfriend. I mean, again, if it's been a while, if it's been months, if not like a year and you like are really close, then like, sure but definitely not in the first half dozen times you meet. Damn it, they used to ask 
hand over shoulder hey yep i got that reference for once love from bangladesh oh hell yeah i'll see you pink have a good time Thirty of the therapist. I am not a therapist. I stream Minecraft for a living. If you need professional help, then don't come to me. <laughs> well, maybe come to me, but don't. Ex you know, I, I'm not an authority on mental health. I can only share what I've been through or what people around me have been through. Wiser than me, though. Eh, maybe. basically therapy and I'd be careful with that mindset <coughs> better help me <coughs> sorry need some water yeah I wouldn't recommend based on what I've heard hmm <laughs> That's a deep question, attack. Um, yeah, definitionally speaking, yeah. I never acted on those feelings, but uh, yeah. During my darkest times, I would say the better way to describe how I felt was neglectfully, um, neglectfully so. I don't wanna say the word out loud because algorithm. But no, I've definitely been there. I've had, um, if I'm being 100% honest, um, when my mental health was at its absolute bottom, like the bottom, I acknowledged the fact that I was living in a basement with a gas burning heater that was spewing out like carbon dioxide, monoxide. This basement wasn't safe for people to live in. There's a reason that these laws exist, that you can't just rent out an unfinished basement, but we did it illegally. And uh, I came to find out that, yeah, there's definitely a large uh, concentration of a large concentration of carbon dioxide and a little bit of carbon monoxide. And at any point, that cocktail could have skewed just a little too much towards the direction of monoxide. But TLDR, during my darkest time, I, um, I, I've said this on stream a few times, I, my smoke alarm stopped working or something like that or like the the carbon monoxide alarm that was there was not working and i was in a position where i had to buy a new one and chose not to and just kind of went to bed and, and was like you know what happens happens and that is according to people i've talked to about this that is definitely under the definition under the umbrella of that state of mind <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. It was bad for a while. Not anymore, obviously. Not for a long time, but yeah. I found that a licensed professional puts you in defense mode from the get-go. You might be right. You've said the exact words my therapist has a couple times, but it took me hearing you say it while I wasn't in defense mode to get it through. Yeah, I could totally see that. I'm not going to say that therapy doesn't work because I clearly it does. There's a reason that it's recommended so often, right? But I think people are just different. People are people. So one solution for one person might not work for someone else, you know? I, <laughs> I could tell that I'm definitely not the type of person that would benefit from therapy. <laughs> because just talking to someone, like, it's going to be nothing but them saying something and me going like yeah i thought about that at one point and my logic is this this and this it's like i've already been through it all you know like i like you don't i don't know i don't think there's anything a therapist could tell me that i haven't told myself already good or bad i think about this stuff a lot like i i'm one of those people that can't shut off their brain like i just am always thinking and when i'm in a negative mindset all those thoughts are negative. But I've gotten better at recognizing when that happens. Like, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's like a little superpower. It's like, hey, you know what? I just realized I'm in a mood right now, which means that my thoughts are going to be skewed a certain way. If, you know, in this mood versus if I was in a different mood. 
So maybe I shouldn't take some of these thoughts so seriously because it's more so a result of the state of mind than it is a true uh, observation of my situation. You know what I mean? So that was probably the most recent breakthrough of mine, but it wasn't because of a therapist. It's just kind of a realization I had my, on my own. I think what I did to fix that problem is I just started writing down the thoughts that I was thinking. Like right in the middle of an episode, right in the middle of being like devastated, tears, the whole thing. Let's see if I can find it. The letter's up here, right? I don't remember. But I would just write down every negative thing that I was feeling. And then eventually it felt like when I wrote it down, I didn't need to remember it anymore. You know, it almost felt like this. I, I'm wandering around for this stupid lever and can't find it because the waypoint's not working. But um, no, nah, it just felt like I didn't need to hold on to that anymore because I didn't have to remember it. It's like my subconscious, for some reason, wanted to hold on to an idea of what these feelings are like. I guess so I could describe it to other people. I don't know. It was very weird. But the act of writing it down just kind of took the responsibility away from me. Hey, you know what? Ugh. Chat, you want to hear some of these thoughts that I had? Which seem absolutely ridiculous in a better mindset like now. Let's see. Do I still have it? Disorganized Depressed Thoughts. That is the name of the document I wrote this in. It was on 3-24-24. So about a month ago. So I was having one of those times when your brain is just telling you nothing but negative things, making you angry, sad, depressed, all that. So I said, here's the things I said that some of them might have been true. Some might not. That's not important, but here's what here's what the disorganized depressed thoughts said. And don't take them too seriously. Because, you know, I was literally, it was like middle of the night depressed talk to myself. Like all the awful things you tell yourself every night, or at least me. Um, so I here's what I had said. I said I lacked purpose. That my past was gone. That I alienated everyone in my old life, which is... Not entirely true. It's not like I did something bad and made everyone hate me. It's more like I just kind of vanished from their life. I'm sure that if I reached out again, they'd be happy to hear from me. But like, when you're in that state of mind, you don't really think that way. You just think, yeah, like I haven't talked to this person in like five years and have moved to a different state entirely. They don't want anything to do with me. Like that, that is the thought process I was going through, right? Let's see. I don't know who I am anymore. I felt like 30 buyers ate Brandon. <laughs> I feel like Brandon's gone. Like all what you're looking at, the, the YouTuber man, that part of my personality is the only part that survived, it felt like at that in that moment. I'm not sure if I agree with that now. Maybe. I mean 30 buyers is better talking, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, this is annoying. There we go. You should take a break from Skyblock for a few days. I've already done that. It doesn't change anything. Uh, let's see. What else did I say? I said I'm not doing enough. I'm capable of so much, but do nothing. I feel guilty. Trapped. Yeah, this stuff is sad, man. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what, this is what the depressed mind does. And I think acknowledging it at the time, it was weird how instantly I felt better. It felt like a thing that I had to get off my chest, even though I just wrote it in a document to myself. This is the first time anyone's ever hearing any of these thoughts. Might be the second time, actually. I had I had a conversation with Fezzi that kind of went like this. I'm dying. <laughs> anyway. I don't relate with most people. That one's just straight up true. I don't enjoy what most people enjoy. That one's also true. But it's also part depression, I guess. Like I said, it comes in waves. Right now, I'm not in one of those waves. 
And it, it, they're long waves. It's like weeks. Stop taking the same boxes as me. Well, I I say this because I'm what I'm hoping happens is that some people in chat hear these things and then they go, wait, you went through that too? Like, I don't know. Give it a shot. Just write down the negative feelings as they're happening. Like if it's 1 a.m. and you can't sleep and it's been like two hours of staring at the ceiling or just trying to think of stuff, like just take those thoughts and just write them down. You might be surprised at what happens. It might not work for you because everyone's different, right? It's not the, it's not the universal fix all. But for me, it it made a meaningful change, and that kind of broke me out of that depressive cycle. Now that I think about it, like that phase pretty much ended, like a day or two after that, because I guess I just the I didn't have to hold on to those. I felt like I had to hold on to the feelings, right? Because it was like since one of those things I said is I didn't know who I was anymore. It's like, well, the only thing I know about myself are these thoughts I'm having, so I can't get rid of them. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what my subconscious might have been thinking. I don't know. I don't know enough about the brain to explain why that works, but it did for me. Just got... Oh, hey, look at that cat of 41. Yes, we just got a bunch of extra stats. Very good. And I didn't get the loot. <laughs> Nine more levels. Yeah, the waves happen to me too. I'm depressed thinking these things, but also aware of it, which keeps me from going too deep. Yeah, that's the state of mind I was in when I decided, you know, I'm just going to write down everything. Like, write it down with the intention to not even share it. Like, I'm a YouTuber, so obviously I'm more prone to sharing things. But, like, you can totally just keep that for yourself. You never have to share it with anybody. But I do think that writing it down does something weird with your brain in a good way. I, I, I don't go to school for this stuff, though, so I don't really know exactly what happened. But it was good. <laughs> I know some neuroscience and psych psychology. If you want someone to talk to, you've always... Here's the thing, right? Why am I here? Um, <laughs> when people say, if you need someone to talk to, this might be interesting insight to hear, right? Because this is kind of the default thing to say when someone is upset, right? Like, let's be honest. When someone tells you that they're depressed, like the first thing that comes to mind is do you want to talk about it? Or at least for me, it is. And I'm a fixer. I fix problems. I don't really care much for the being there to, I don't know. It's harder for me to deal with emotional stuff, but I've been getting a lot more experience these past few years, right? Um, I don't know, man. Writing it down to sharing it. But even if you're not sharing it with another person, like I said, I don't know the mechanism that's making that work. It's weird. But also good. I've lost my train of thought, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, all oh, right. So the default thing is when somebody tells you to depress, it's like, oh, do you want to talk about it? And or if you need someone to talk to 99.9% .9 of the time on the other end of that exchange, you see that and you're like, okay. At least for me, I didn't, I don't know. Whenever someone said, do you need someone to talk to you about it? I just straight up am thinking to myself, eh, it's nice gesture, but like, no, <laughs> you know, like, and if I start talking about it with them, it's, I don't know. It's hit or miss. I'm trying to think of like what I would rather hear from somebody than do you want to talk about it? Like what would help me more for another person to say? It's so hard because like if I knew then maybe I, I don't know, then I wouldn't have the issues I have. Writing it down triggers the same mechanism as talking to someone most of the time. 
but that's the thing is when i speak it out like that it doesn't really help me like me telling my chat all of this is gonna change absolutely nothing about my mindset like the second this camera turns off it's back to business as usual which isn't a bad thing obviously right like again i'm not in one of those phases right now but i think just writing it i, I think it really is a preservation thing it's like me not wanting to lose more of myself is what i felt like i guess like if these even though there's like negative thoughts if i lose them or if i forget about it then it's like i'm losing a piece of myself maybe that's my guess i have no idea <laughs> But I think having it in a tangible format that I could always look back at, go back to, is what makes it work for me personally. Because I've never truly lost it if it's right there in the document for me to read, right? Thank you for the runs. Although you have promoted me to party leader. Oh, there's only three people. Oh, call me desolate. Thank you for the prime. And one NDRA8. Thank you for the, the Prime sub. Thank you both. Okay. Ooh. You know what? You're right. Might be that it also triggers something to do with memory. It's somewhere safe. You can share it anytime you want to, just like you did on stream. Yeah. There might be something to that. Yeah. I started watching this stream hours ago before starting my shift. Just got off my shift and you're still on the grind. When I start to get messages like that in chat, then it's then it's probably soon gonna be time to to call it. Hey, you know what, chat? If it makes you feel better, I'm gonna be here tomorrow. Uh, we have to be. We have so much to do before Derpy becomes mayor. Also, we're about to make a Master Skull Five, which puts us halfway to a Master Skull Six. Yeah, it seems to me if the party's kind of falling apart anyways, it might be a good time to call it. All right. I'm going to give my party a thank you for the runs. Did I do that right? Uh, uh, leave. Did you do dailies? Uh, I think so. We could check. Pretty sure we did. Mm -hmm. Yep, I did. Well, there you go. I did all my dailies already before stream started. Well, chat, I think with that, I will see you tomorrow. What a stream. Got kind of personal towards the end there. I don't mind that. I don't mind sharing if it helps people and sometimes it's just nice to have that out in the world you know i don't know i don't like i said with the writing it down thing speaking it doesn't really do anything for me in terms of actual like progress but mm. <laughs> honestly it helped a little to relate yeah and i'm not like telling anybody oh this is how you fix your mental health like no I'm still figuring it out too. You know? This was a month ago. <laughs> I still got progress to make. Lots of progress. Man, I'm literally just speaking like a therapist at this point. <laughs> is he quitting hype? I am not quitting. I'll be here tomorrow. All right, chat. This is every day for me. Relatable. Yeah, it is every day for people that are going through it. Like, during those phases, it is every day. And sometimes even when it's not a depressive phase... Sometimes, yeah. Look at YouTube chat. I'm seeing all chat right now. Is there something I'm missing in YouTube chat? What happened? Oh, wait. Oh, that's weird. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I'm just dumb. What's up, Noodle Place? Sorry, I... The combo chat thing made it so that a bunch of Twitch chatters um, f out uh, overflowed from all these other messages. Noodle plays. I'm not ignoring you. Talking and understanding is just the first step. I want to help you. Just need to understand first. Oh no, I'm. 
I'm very confident in the fact that I cannot be helped. I need to figure it out myself because that's always been the way it is with me. Like someone could tell me how to do something a hundred times, but until I actually like do it myself, it's like, oh, now it makes sense. Like that's just, that's just how it is for me. So, you know, I, yeah, we could try talking to chat and all that, but at the end of the day, I, it's something I have to figure out myself. That's just how my brain works. For other people, that's not the case. Talking to chat is talking to children through text. I wouldn't say children. <laughs> I'm sure there's people in chat that are my age. <laughs> and I'm sure there's some that are younger, a lot of which are younger and some of which are older. It, it is what it is. I, I wouldn't just say that my chat is just some kids though. <laughs> Skyblock players, you know, we're, we're out here trying to do our best. Let's see. <laughs> but no, I, I don't know. That or were just voices in your head. <laughs> I'm 26, so it's not okay. See? <laughs> there's, there's other people that play this game. That are not, um... Children. <laughs> no, I think Hypixel overall is a lot more... A lot older of an audience than just general Minecraft. We've known this for a while. Anyways. I think we're gonna call it here. So, to summarize... We have this much after one one stream that's 10 hours long. Uh, how is that for 10 hours? Not bad. This is pretty good. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five. That is nine recoms. We have three of each master star. We are going to need two more second master stars and then we're gonna need five third master stars and then i would consider us ready for derpy yeah we got a ton of fumings that's enough for two items but yeah the recoms are gonna be really nice for talismans though not bad not bad all right chat let's call it here uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. There's nothing on my to-do list anymore. I took care of that, so. Oh, is there someone to raid on Twitch? This is the last thing I'm going to look at before I... And it's like midnight. It might not be. Oh, Tubbo's alive. He's still doing his subathon? Oh, we got Prince Zam as well. He's doing some lifesteal right now. Hmm. Oh, Ivox is doing a subathon too. Oh, okay. We let's let's raid let's let's raid Ivoxy. Let's support him for his just started raid as of a few as of a day ago. Yes, let's support the boy. All right, slash raid. If you're on the other two platforms, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> His name is Ivoxy on Twitch. Unofficial raid on the other two platforms as well. All right, chat. I'll see you later. And by later, I mean tomorrow. Let's see if we can get everything we got today times two. That would be nice. Another nine recoms would be quite nice. Bye, everybody. See ya. I was about to say there's no music. <laughs>